Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome to Sewing Street. How is everybody? I've not seen you for a week. I feel like it's got so much darker in the morning since I've. Um, it's really wintry outside, blustery and dark, but um, it's so lovely to be back with you. Um, and we've got lots of lovely colour. We've got lots of gorgeousness today. And we're continuing with our team's takeover. So I've not, I've not actually seen any yet. I know Hayley's done one and Ian's done one. And it's Hayley B's turn. We're going to meet her in a moment. We're going to meet her in a moment. But first, um, did you hear her? Hello. 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 She's ready. Mm -hmm. um, but before... We knew that it was Teams Takeover. We knew that we were getting brand new Dina Designs in, and I love Dina Designs fabric. They are absolutely, they're always so beautiful and so colourful, and just what we need this time of year. Um, we have a bundle, a brand new bundle. Now, how often do I start talking about something before an early bird special? I don't do it very often. I only do it if there's something really, really special. So, Hannah and I have managed to do something amazing for you. Now, bearing in mind, this is, look, it's brand new and it's adorable. There's little monkeys in the trees. This one, let me open this out, look. It's got elephants on. It's just the most gorgeous fabric. So we saw this ages ago and we've been waiting for this to be booked in. So before we knew it was Teams Takeover Week, we actually nabbed this for our show. We decided a Hannah and Vic special is in order for Adina Designs brand new collection. So, bearing in mind the fact that we've got a bundle of brand new, I think is already a treat in itself. Uh, this is something to shout about all day though, because you're getting three meters of fabric in this bundle. So you're getting six different half meter cuts. They're all quilting weight cottons. They're all absolutely beautiful. Now, always a brilliant price at 7 dollars a half meter. Whenever we launch, you know, new designer fabrics, Dina Designs is one of our favorites. 7 dollars a half meter is the price by the half meter. Look at that. Oh yes, they are, Hannah. They are. These are free spirit fabrics as well. So those of you that love K Facet, if you love Tula Pink, um, Anna Maria Horner, they all teen up with free spirit to produce their fabrics. So you know 
that quality. You know when you feel it, it's absolutely beautiful. So we're at 7.99 half metre, which is where free spirit fabric always is. It always should be when you're looking at K fabric, Tula fabric, Dina Design fabric. It's always very popular. <laughs> Look at what Hayley's done as well. We've literally got a glittery <laughs> crash. We should not be crashing. It's not an early bird special. This is just a little special for you. That now makes it equivalent to £5.99 and a half metre. This is not a clearance. These are brand new in today. Bearing in mind, you are getting, look, 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 half a metre of each. So each one, you are getting a lot of fabric. £35.89 makes it the best value for money. Um, it's £7.99 if you want to purchase these by the half metre on the website. Um, but look, they are gorgeous. Every single one of these. Equivalent to £5.99. You're saving over £12 on this bundle. This isn't even our early bird yet. This isn't even our early bird. But this is a Hannah and Vic special. We had to um, do something brilliant. Because just look at these colours together. Then you've got this lovely blue, which is like tiles. Look at that. Everybody who's got them in their basket, check out now because you are making a huge saving on these and they are brand new just because we absolutely love Dina Designs. Where we can offer you a saving, we will. Last time Hannah and I together, we were doing the clearance show and every now and then Hannah took um, some beautiful fabric to 5 99 and everybody went wild for it. So we thought, you know, we understand it's an expensive sort of time of year and we're all thinking about where we can make savings. So absolutely make the most of it for Dina Designs. I think these would make beautiful home furnishings for bags as well. Maybe you've got the foldable tote. Some of these, I mean, how lovely would this look in um, in, in somebody's little ch a child's nursery? It's so cute, isn't it? This is, this fabric bundle is going to go an awfully long way. If you're thinking of making gifts for people for Christmas presents, how about doing lots of little like toiletry bag, makeup bags, cushions? If you go online, if you go on Instagram, those of you that are on social media, have a look on Dina Designs Instagram. You can see, this is why we love her. I think it really gives you a great feel of her designs. It says, surround yourself with things you love at the top of the Instagram. And there you go, you've got paintings, you've got little doggies, you've got beautiful flowers, you've got just gorgeous home interiors. You can really get a sense for her design. Um, so to be able to drop this, bearing in mind, this is brand new to us today, never been on air before, all of these fabrics, even the ones, look, with the elephants on as well, you're getting so much fabric, so, so much fabric, all today for £35.89. It's very difficult to even show you on the desk how much you're getting, if I'm honest, <laughs> because... Um, you're already seeing snippets of these, but actually, you are getting so much, all 112 wide. Um, what's, what did you say that, sorry, Hannah, you're saving, should be 47.94. Makes it 7.99 half metre. By the half metre, we have a limited number, limited number available, and they are 7.99, you can see them underneath, they're 7.99 each. Today, you're making a saving of over 12 pounds. Look at that. Oh, I love it. 112 wide, free spirit fabric, Dina Designs. Once everybody's checked out, quarter of the stock's gone. Um, it's not even the early bird. Very, very busy already this morning. Right, shall we have a look at today's menu and we'll go over and meet Hayley. Um, we've got a really great show today. Those of you that are joining us for the first time this week, it's our team's takeover week. We've seen Hayley Marshall say, we've seen Ian. We are now joining Hayley Bryant this morning, eight o'clock. She's picked out everything for our first hour, including the early bird. So that's coming up in just a minute. We've also got, um, oh, more Dina, we're gonna show these by the half meter, Dina Designs. We've got brand new Philip Jacobs in. They're all on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. 10 o'clock, first time I'm meeting lovely Sarah and we've got a gorgeous crossover apron, crossback apron um, from Made and Making. That's at 10 o'clock. Sewing room tools, friction pens back in. There's lots of great back in stocks in fact actually. That's at 11 o'clock. And 12, Sarah's gonna be back with a beautiful curvy quilt that's behind me in those lovely solid colors. If you do wanna shop ahead, everything is on the website and you can also message in. Now I really, really want everybody to send all of their messages in 
beautiful, lovely Hayley, because she's a bit nervous this morning. <laughs> she's only been on the once, and that was with Marge. So those of you that have seen already on Marge panel, we've got it in the show if you have missed it. So send in all of your lovely, warm, welcoming messages for our Hayley. It's studio at sewingstreet.com, which is the email address. Or of course, you can jump on the website and message in via the live chat. Um, www.sewingstreet.com. If you head onto the website, Bruce, then you'll be able to see how you can also message in. So if you click on Watch Live, the top of the screen there, um, there is a box underneath the Dina Designs bundle where you can message our lovely Hayley, ask any questions, come say hello. We've got the early bird coming up in a minute. Scroll down, everything is on pre-order. Everything for the show is on pre-order. All of Hayley's specials are there. We've also got, oh, look at these. Some of these prices, by the way, if you've watched the first two takeover shows, I know that our teams uh, in the office have been really, really jammy with the prices, so they're gonna drop some prices as well. Oh, look, you're getting um, half, of a meet, half a meter for free on that one already. Some of these, are, we are gonna drop in price as well, which is very exciting. Everything's there. Sarah's projects as well. Underneath, you've got um, her crossback apron. Oh, just to already warn you that they're going already. The bundles of denim, they're two meter bundles. They are bundled together for the crossback apron, but they are perfect for bag making as well. I know how popular, you don't need me to tell you how popular denim bundles are like that. Um, go for it. Everything's underneath us on the website. There's so much. Right. Come on over. <laughs> hey, Lee. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm yeah. loving this week, getting to know the team. So for anybody who's not met you, I mean, I've known you for how many years now? Oh, over three years, well, yeah, three years nearly. So Hayley, how long have you been in the crafting industry then? So I was at Sewing Quarter yeah. um, 2019. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I was part of the team that set up Sewing Street, yeah. which was really exciting. And then part of the team that set up Hobby Maker. Oh, it's so, brilliant. Yeah. So your role in, in the company, you, you might see Hayley's name a lot pop up on our social media as well as you are marketing manager, are you? Well, head of brand and content head marketing. Oh, okay. So like, official yeah, title. the social and yeah. emails um, and when you go to events yeah. and things like that. I work very closely with Kate. Who will be on on Friday? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to be more of your team on Friday. Yeah, that's exciting. And um, you've picked everything from. Yeah, it's a bit of a random hour. mix, but I've picked what I like, and hopefully everybody else will. <laughs> well, you're a crafter as well, aren't you? Oh, kind of. A very amateur and <laughs> beginner crafter. <laughs> but I love that you've got stuck in right from um, sewing quarter days. You yeah. bought yourself a sewing machine. Oh yes. Not one. just any sewing machine. This is. Oh, sewing machine of dreams. Well, if you're we gonna, love yeah, if you're gonna get one, you're gonna get a good one, <gasps> aren't you? <laughs> oh well, this will last you forever. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, it will. Yeah. So, should we start with, of course, our early bird, and then we'll talk about the machine yes. in a bit. So, now you didn't realise that this was going to be on early bird offer, did you? No, but I did pick it yeah. because I love penguins. <gasps> Oh, this is brilliant. Now, I've never even seen this um, bundle before. This is the first time I've seen this project. So, you picked out Delphine's penguin cushion instructions and the kit, but we have got it as an early bird special. So, you can make two different cushions, I believe, can't you? You can make this one with the three babies in the row, or you can make this one. So, there's two different options. Delphine's instructions are always amazing value for money Anyway, this is what the cushion looks like. We never discount them because, I mean, they're glossy, they're full of instructions and great photographs. You've got so many, um, so many uh, of your templates as well. You've got all of those templates to be able to make two cushions, to be able to do all two cushions. Everyone's loving your choice, Hayley. <laughs> great start. <laughs> These are always supposed to be 9.99. Look, that's the other cushion that you can make. Isn't it adorable? So you say you love penguins. Yeah, well, I went to Antarctica, so <gasps> I've got loads of penguin pictures. You went to Antarctica? Yes. Oh, my word. When was that? Oh, it was, oh I, about seven years ago now. <gasps> yeah. That must have been incredible. That mm. is like a trip of a lifetime, isn't it? Yes. Oh, definitely, yeah. <gasps> it was out of this world. 
But yeah, um, so I have hundreds of penguin pictures. Oh, <laughs> lots of penguin love, lots of penguin love as well. Everybody's getting these. I suppose totally. as well, perfect time. Doesn't have to be Christmassy, but these are going to be lovely around Christmas time as well, aren't they? Six ninety nine. Bearing in mind, that's not the only cushion that you can make. You can make two different cushions. Uh, Delphine designs do not get discounted. If you do want to watch back, 24th of the night, last year this was launched. It's only £6.99. Lots of love for you as well on Facebook. It's very, very busy. Come on in for our Haley's Takeover Day. This is the first of the manager's specials, £6.99. I, I remember when I was talking to Delphine about when she constructs instructions of how much it sort of costs her to put together. And at £9.99, trust me, this is an amazing deal for you to get at normal price. So it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. I know how much it costs her to put together these instructions. So make the most of it. £6.99, especially this time of year when we're starting to think about Christmas as well. You could make, you could absolutely do these in all your own fabrics and make them really Christmassy, couldn't yeah. you? Oh yeah, it'd be lovely. And I'm thinking, if you've got the templates for the um, penguins, you, you could put those onto uh, Christmas sacks. You could make two of them and do uh, make them in felt and stuff them and make little hanging decorations when you've got those templates. So much that you can do, so much you can do. Because look, here's your template. Maybe you collect Delphine's instructions. You know how thorough you are, that they are. You know how great the instructions are. I love this big grown-up penguin. Is there a name for a grown-up penguin? Isn't that an emperor penguin? Okay. I think. <laughs> I, I mean, it might not be. You're the penguin expert, Hayley. Well, I'm, I'm going to really. trust you. <laughs> so this is the... Uh, thank you, Hayley, as well. That's an amazing early bird special prize. £6.99 for your instructions on their own. We do also have a kit, so if you loved the colourway that you saw on the, uh, the picture, that is also available. It's got a batik fabric in there as well. But if you do want to use your own stash, that's your chance to go for it. In a second, Jill, thank you for sending in your photograph. She's used this template. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Look, so can you show it on the preview, please, Bruce? Thank you. Look, it says Kerry and Kieran, 30th of October. Oh my gosh, this is for a wedding gift. Oh, that's so sweet. They're romantic uh, creatures, aren't they, our penguins? They, are. they, they make, make for, for life. life. Oh. <laughs> oh, love it. Just six pounds, 99 for your insurance. It's a great idea, really good idea. Not just for Christmas. Carry on going through. Um, how often do you see Delphine instructions discounted and penguins as well in the run up to Christmas? We do not do that discounted, no way. Um, just £6.99. You having a read of the Facebook? Yes, I was having a look at the comments. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's lots of lovely there's comments. We'll have a read of them. Yeah. We'll have a read of them in a moment. Um, just six ninety nine for your instructions. Delphine Brooks applique. There is brand the uh, the big roller bond was back in stock. By the way, speaking, have a look on the website if you've opened your order this morning. Right, everything is there. Also, we're going to quickly do the bundle. Now, we're just going to flash this up. There are now less than twenty available. If you want it, we weren't supposed to be crashing this, but we're going to do it. We are going to do it. It's supposed to be £20. Today you can get the bundle. So if you want to make the cushion on the front of the instructions, you do get your instructions included. It's enough to make one of the cushions. Um, you do obviously get your instructions and templates for both, but you have your batik fabrics there. You also have your teal solid. You have your white fat quarter. You also have your yellow and you have your half a meter of cream, all £16.99. So you can make either cushion or the other one, that's the one that you can make with this bundle. Perfect, but you get instructions for both. £16.99, single figures on that one. Grab the instructions on their own as well. Right, Hayley, let's yes. start with the sewing machine as your bundle has also arrived. Yeah. Now, am I right in saying this is for today only? Yes, yeah, so this is for today only. I asked for a really good deal uh, for my day because I wanted to treat you guys. Um, and I have this sewing machine, so I wanted, a bundle with it and Hayley has um, 
I might need to do grab it. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't, can't even reach see it. it. Can't even reach so it. There's over £100 worth of goodies <gasps> with it, so oh, it's very oh, exciting. Oh, oh, oh. But it's only for today. So, why this machine? Is the 680 that you've got, I hope? Yes, it? this is the one I've got. Um, I'm very much an amateur, beginner, sewist. And do you still um, find that it's quite user friendly? Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, that's why I love it because you just type in the like the stitch, and it tells you what foot you need. There's a, a needle threader. There's a little s the snip. You don't need the snips because you've got your thread cutter. Oh, game changer! And yeah. you don't even use it with a foot pedal, do you? No, I use it with a start stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how amateur I am. <laughs> Oh no, but, yeah. uh, there's a lot of pros that like to use that start stop button, yeah. I think it really helps. But I mean, my mum borrowed this the other week and she's much more advanced than I am. Um, and even if you're a bit more advanced, because you can, you can change like the length on the stitch and mm -hmm. the tension and all that, like, I have no idea. Um, oh, it's <laughs> one you can really grow with. Yeah, so you can grow with it, yeah, so that's why it's a good machine. Oh, this is the one, John and Scott's John's got, got this, mm. Joe Carter's got this, this is the one that if you are, like you say, a beginner sewer or whether you sew for a living, if you sew every single day, this is the real workhorse, it's the one that's always been our staple machine, um, our flagship machine, and it's Fabulous. So you've got all of your uh, all of your feet, everything included. You get an extension table. We can go through. But remember, today and today only, you're going to get threads. You're going to get instructions. Loads of instructions. You've got some Delphine in there. We've got some Helen Newton instructions. Uh, Lee Brampton instructions. Two meters of cream, two meters of red. So you're always going to need this, aren't you? Christmas colours. Look, a massive Guterman thread bundle. You've got a little um, tin as well. I love these. Oh, is this um, the Ruby Star Society? Yes, love those. They are gorgeous. Your little snips. You've also got. Is this to keep all your bobbins in? Spools. Yeah, spool case. Spool case. Storage. All of that included, and it is on split pay today. So you are getting, is it on five split pays? Mm -hmm. That's a game changer, isn't it? Especially, you know, with, sp we're all aware of what we're spending at the moment. So just to be able to help you out, 250 pounds and 80 pence, 249 to be exact. If you pay that one, payment today you'll receive the machine from Elna you'll then also receive all of these goodies from us after that one first payment it's completely interest free and you can start sewing you can start making you can start making to sell there's no credit checks um, yeah just absolutely make the most of it that is a brilliant way you don't have to use the split pay but why not it is interest free free payments and we don't very we very very rarely do five payments it's normally three maybe four but a five way split pay is amazing Michelle's messaged in saying, morning ladies, I have the 680 um, about six months ago and I love it. I call myself an advanced beginner. I'm still finding new things with this machine. Well, you've yeah. had it for a few years, haven't you now? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of years at least, yeah. yeah. And I'm learning with it. Not that I sew very often, but when I do, yeah, I'm finding different things. Working new too stitches. much. Working too much. You just get so involved. Um, you do get a walking foot with it, you get a free motion foot with it, so you can you absolutely... Get the, the, the buttonhole foot thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do all your dressmaking with it as well. Absolutely. So, any questions that you have about it, get them in. Shall we have a look? Good morning from Judith. Um, Beth says, Hayley, you're doing great That's job. That's my friend. Oh. <laughs> She's paid so all her friends to message in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My friends messaged in as well. Hi Sue, morning mum and crew. Thank you. Um, Margaret, good morning. Coming in and say hello to us today. Any messages that you've got about the machine, any questions you've got about the machine, get them in and we can ask them on air. You come on over this way, um, Hayley, because we're going to do, bring your tea, tea bring your tea. So we start with your Marge panel, oh, yes. just because this is something that the last time you were on air, it was with a lovely Marge. Yeah, so I was trying to stop her from escaping off the desk because I, I was panicked that she was going to fall off. <laughs> Marge is your baby. She is, yeah. She's back in bed. She's probably tucked up still, isn't she, in bed? Probably. She's probably ruined my maid bed and got back into bed. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's a bit lazy. So, yeah. what does she do when you're at work? Is she good at work? Most of the time she's, she's at daycare, but <gasps> daycare on holiday this week. So, she's not been there, but um, my mum's going to see her oh, today. She so she'll be fine. This is yeah. Marge. Yeah. This is Marge. I bet it was very exciting. Obviously, this is the Dog of the Month panel, but how does it feel about seeing Marge on... Um, on oh, here she is. Marge on fabric. Um, oh, yeah. It's, I mean, Lou's done an amazing job. I love the uh, the style of it and how you know how she's drawn her. So yeah, I love these little cute ones actually, these li the little strips. But um, yeah, it's uh, now you amazing. had to pick this, obviously. Oh yes, obviously. You've got quite a few of them, haven't you? What the the panels? The yes. panels. I've got a couple of panels, but I don't know what to do with them. Oh, do you know, I have got the sample upstairs that Stuart made, the <gasps> cushion cover. Yeah. I should have brought that down. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do with them. So any suggestions, please? Uh, oh, me message know. in, message <laughs> in. Let us know what you've done. I think maybe bags. You could do a lovely yeah. gift bag, couldn't you? Like Marge could, could do Christmas presents for people. Yeah. She could. Yeah. Gift bags, tote bags. Yeah. <gasps> Only nine ninety nine, and you get, by the way. All of these strips, which we've only opened Halfway. part the way, they're really wide strips yeah. as well. So you've got lots of fabric. And if you want to subcut these, you can. Like you said, these little cute marks. Look yeah. at this. The little ones. Oh. And you've got your labels as well. So in the photo, we also saw Marge sitting on a little blanket. Oh, we've got the fleece. We have got the fleece. We've yes. got that blanket, haven't we? Yes. She loved this. I think this is one of our favourites. Whenever we get this in, this is always popular. It feels really nice. Well, you could back a quilt with this and keep yeah. it nice and warm. You wouldn't even need to put wadding in it, would you? Or what did you what did you just use it as a blanket then? Yeah, I just use it as a little bit of a blanket for it to sit on. Well, it's not fraying, is it? It's not going no, to fray. No. You could overlock the edges, but you don't even need even need to. Half you would, yeah, a you wouldn't need to, but you could, yeah. Do you want to hold this out with yeah. me? Look at how much you get. That is one half meter. So it is a lot of fabric. Um, half a meter <laughs> looks like that, but we are cutting this off the bolt for you. Pauline said uh, a Marge walking doggy yes, bag. I do need one of those actually. That's a great idea. Make a little doggy yeah. bag. That's a good idea. Oh, you could do, this could be like the front, you could do like a crossover bag, couldn't you? These could be the straps. Yeah. The, mm. when, um, I'm Rebecca not sure Reed. what my skills are up to that, but oh, they I'll are. give it a go. They are, with your 680, <laughs> no problem. I've got a couple of panels, so. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, the fleece is only 2 99 Can I just say, even if you are getting a, a metre of this and putting this in the back of your boot yeah. of the car, you know, if you've got a Be dog nice, yeah. or if you're going walking, Hannah's come in today in her walking boots. Um, if you if you just, in the winter especially, I've got uh, Maisie's pram, which is gets so muddy now if we go out and about, and I'm putting it in and out of the car. At 2 99 it's a fleecy blanket that you could just have in the car, ready for on the go. Mm. Rosemary said, morning Vix and Hayley, how about a small lap quilt? Perfect. Oh, yeah. You could back a small lap quilt in this and it'd be super cosy. It is very cosy. Or a doggy bed. Uh, another idea from Michelle saying, I've made the Marge panel into a tote bag. It's quick and easy. Oh, brilliant. P.S. My princess Alexis uh, likes the nap, a few naps too. She gets out of her bed and messes up mine. Yeah. Yeah, so you said I you left really thing. early, so made the bed. And Marge was like, hang on. Yeah, there's just no point. No. <laughs> just get back in. Just get back in. It was very early this morning. Oh, yeah. And dark. Should we go a bit rogue? Should we go a bit rogue? You've what got the gonna... Batik Fat Quarters next to you there. Yes. Right, why did you pick these? Um, just because they're bright and fun, aren't they? I love a bit of colour. So, yeah, I love the colours of them. We don't often very, very... We've had a couple of design roles of Batik Fat Quarters, uh, of, of Batiks, but we've never actually... Well, I very, very rarely see Fat Quarters in Batiks. Yeah, normally it's the strips, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so you could do a lot with those. Yeah, you could probably make tote bags. Like I, I've got a tote bag in a similar sort of print. They're lovely, aren't they? Look at that one. Right, now you've got a special price for us as well, haven't you? Of course. This is £41.19 normally. Normally, £41.19. Look at the crash, by the way. Hayley, you've done that, haven't you? 
the oh, glitter. Yeah. Just for this hour. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have control over the graphics. So Amazing. £34.19. £34.19. £34 These are all fat quarters. Big saving today. Less than £3 a fat quarter now. <gasps> and they are true boutiques. They are true yeah, boutiques. So those lovely. of you that love confetti quilting, this is a really good stash builder. That would make a lovely cushion front, wouldn't it? Yeah. £34, 19 pence. Huge saving. Huge, huge saving. Bearing in mind, you're getting 12 fat quarters. What does that make our price per fat quarter now? £2.84. Wow. For batiks, that is really good. I know that some people just solely use batiks for quilting and it looks beautiful. If you've seen any really modern, lovely batik quilts. <gasps> yeah, with a white background. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it just yeah. makes the colours pop, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't think I could pick which is my favourite, actually. I keep changing my mind. I like that one. Yeah. And the limes. <laughs> that one's really nice as well, isn't it? They're yeah. all gorgeous. All gorgeous. In fact, the quilt behind us, the curvy, um, oh, if you just do a white background and these colours on top, it's going to really pop, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Take the take advantage of the fact that it's massively reduced today as well. It's normally over 41 pounds it's the first time that we've taken it lower it is a manager special i'm so pleased you picked these Haley. this is something completely different by the way isn't it yeah this is very different to everything else i've picked actually <laughs> oh, i, I told you it was a random selection oh no it's great start of october you know when the weather starts to get a bit dreary i mean these are lovely autumnal tones you yeah. could do autumnal you could then save some of these for your summer projects You've got beautiful blues. Look at those. There is a problem. There are now less than 20. And I think there are a lot of you have got these in your baskets. If you do want them, it, these are normally over £40. Wow. I think we should all do a trip to Bali. Yes, definitely. Educational, obviously. Oh, yeah. To see the traditional <laughs> dyeing techniques of your batiks. Because it is so interesting, isn't it? How they do this resist technique. Different to your printed fabrics. It's lovely. But don't worry about... I think a lot of people potentially worry about uh, how the colours may run. or it, I don't know whether you know it's worth potentially pre-washing. It's worth doing a little bit of research. But because of the quality of these, you won't, you won't lose all the colour. It's so beautiful. When we've had these with our designers, they've absolutely mixed these in with their regular quilting weight fabrics and it's been absolutely fine, no problem. And so Marion's watching. Oh, Alison, it was so lovely oh, to hi, see Alison. you back. Um, she's put Morning Vix, Hayley and crew, uh, both looking fab takeovers are great. Oh, aren't they? <laughs> they are brilliant. So when you're not, you know, picking products for today's show, what do you do sort of day to day? What's your day to day? routine oh, it, it's so different every day i mean i know a lot of people say that um but it's you know things like organizing the events so like festival of quilts um and we're also coming to creative craft in november um, so is that so what you're focusing on at the moment focus at the moment um looking at the brand and refreshing the brand which is probably boring to people but is really that's exciting to me um we're also looking at um creating well getting a blog going so getting more content on so some tips and techniques getting to know like people like yourself yeah um so yeah if you've got any ideas let us know oh, what, nice. you know or anything you want to see more of uh, technique wise mm -hmm. um we're open to ideas did you say you you have sort of control over the graphics then as well um, yeah, you do well, the glitter. I'm, I like the yeah. glitter. Let's keep the I glitter. Always, I, I'll always pass it by Hayley because obviously she's head of TV. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to get shouted at by Hayley. <laughs> but um, yeah, like the different colours and stuff. But Oh, I love that glitter. The glitter drop is lovely, isn't it? Just for this hour only. Just for, just for this hour. <laughs> um, 34 19 Remember, these should be over £40. So big, big saving. 12 piece fat quarter pack, all true boutiques, fewer than 20 of these bundles now. Make the most of that because we never see boutique fat quarters full stop, let alone discounted. That is a really, really good buy. I mean, I know that Hayley and Ian have, uh, have had hugely successful takeover ads. Yeah. Is it quite competitive in the office? 
when you're doing these shows when you're prepping is everybody trying to get the best deals yeah but <laughs> Ian and Hayley have an unfair advantage because this is what they do they they plan the shows day to day <laughs> so I was just picking what I liked Aww. and then I was like, oh, and then you're I don't, think, I don't know whether I've got any enough products to show you, but... Oh, no, we've got loads, yeah. we've got loads of treats for you, don't worry. Um, right, now, my most... Uh, the one that I was really intrigued about when I saw your, your notes for the show was this one. So we've got a picture to show you. Now, this is your house, Hayley. How amazing is this staircase? I love, love, love what you've done. Now... This isn't something that we normally do, Hayley, is it? No, so this is actually um, from one of the stencils from Hobby Maker. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, like an A3 stencil. You can see like the bigger one is, the, well, the one on the right is the A3 stencil. It sticks onto the wall and it's, you know, it comes off and you can stick it back on again. And then you get a little roller, um, but that's a William Morris pattern because oh. I love William Morris. It's a William Morris. Yeah, William Morris um, fabric, well, wallpaper is so expensive. It's a fortune. Well, that's as soon and as I'm not I saw sure your picture. Hang wallpaper, so. so you've done this yourself. Yeah, it took it took a while, like, but I'm quite slow at things like that. But um, it's dead easy to do because you just match it up, um, and there's instructions of how you match it up. I'm going rogue here. You might yeah. tell me if I'm incorrect, but I wonder whether. You could do that with fabric paint. I wonder whether you could get a piece of fabric actually, and stencil you could, onto fabric. I don't see why not. That would be I mean, amazing, wouldn't it, as well? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Um, so what do I get in the packet? Because we haven't physically got it yeah, here. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, so you get the A3 stencil, which is like um, like a plastic, well, it's like plastic and it's sticky, you know, sticky backs. And can you plastic. kind of see through it a bit so you know where you're positioning it? Not really, but right. you see that you can see where you match it up because... It's, well, it's a repeat pattern, obviously. So you mm -hmm. match it up with those bits that stick out the end. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get the strip as well, which does like the bottom, um, yeah, the bottom of it. You also get a little roller. Okay. A little paint roller, so that, which is, yeah, a little mini one. And you just use your normal sort of normal paint. paint. Yeah. 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 Oh, it looks brilliant. We found yeah. a video of how it works, oh, yes. so, so got, we can show yeah. you here. So you begin with a top edge stencil close to the ceiling. You can find this on YouTube um, if, if you get this, but it's something we, we, we've never done before at Sewing Street. Um, you get the little roller and everything. Yeah. This is brilliant. What a great idea. <gasps> so clever. Oh yeah, we've got those, um, the demonstrations of them. I mean, the, um, it's Stencil Up, so the lady who works for Stencil Up, like she, has been and done some demonstrations. Oh, she was maker. on Hobby Maker. Yeah, and we've got the the these little videos on YouTube, but it is dead easy to do just from the instructions as well. To be honest, so even it, you know, like you it'd say, it'd be easier on a flat wall like that than going down your stairs because <gasps> I was like navigating the the uh, rail as well. Oh like. gosh, <laughs> yes. But even just a small space, like you said, to wallpaper your 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 downstairs loo, or your living mm. room, or whatever you're doing, can cost a Jim, if you're using William Morris paper, oh, what yeah. paint did you use? Just normal emulsion, white emulsion. Amazing. Yeah. Looks great, doesn't it? On um, a, a, doing it onto a coloured wall as well with white yeah. emulsion. So, oh, it's, so you've painted it grey to start with. Well, it was already painted grey when I moved in, so I. Luckily, all I had to do was do the stenciling over the top of it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? That looks so cool. Yeah. Very creative. And there's, there were different designs, to be fair, on Hobby Maker, but that's my favourite. Oh, because yes. it's the Larks. Oh, William we Morris. love, love, love our William Morris. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure our Ben would love that as well, wouldn't he? Yeah. Our producer Ben, he'll be all over that. Mm -hmm. In the pack, you get your stencil. Uh, you also get the strip then to do the top or the bottom, the edge of your your uh, your ceiling, or um, and you also get your roller as well. Plus, there are lots of videos on um, on YouTube. Quarter of our stock has now gone. We have raided all of Hobby Makers. We've got the lot, and um, we physically haven't got it here. As I said, it's locked away in um, Hobby Makers Studio in their stock room, and we haven't been able to get it this morning, unfortunately. But it is there if you want it grab it whilst you can it's not something we normally have here you could have this in your sewing room uh, uh, um, uh, William Morris theme. I just think it's really nice to have a bit of a nod to your craft in your home isn't it 
Yeah. We all love William Morris. And it's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think if you go to John Lewis, if you go to Liberty, if you go to big department stores, they often have William Morris and even cushions can cost you £60. Yeah. Crazy. This looks amazing. Um, a room divider, maybe. You could just do yeah. a room divider. Maybe your sewing room is also um, a dining room or a spare room. And if you want to just do a divider. This or even just like a print that you hang up, like frame and hang up. Yeah. Do that, yeah. Good idea. Mm. Uh, yeah, just on a canvas, frame it. You could absolutely do it onto fabric. I do love the idea. I want someone to try it out on fabric with fabric, um, fabric paper. You don't even need to. They've put that green tape, obviously, there to um, stop it getting onto the, the, the ceiling. Bit of frog tape, yes. But it's sticky itself, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the back of it's sticky, so that sticks on like, flat onto the wall, so that's quite easy, you know good for use. That's so good and the fact that it's William Morris as well absolutely brilliant like you said there's different designs from Stencil Up did you say they're called? Yeah they're called Stencil Up um, and they're on yeah on Hobby Maker Hobby Maker's website. Well this is the great thing isn't it we're all in the same building I know you're all part of Hobby Maker as well Hayley aren't you? Yes and Jewelry Maker yeah all three so yeah. this is the, the great thing about seeing these takeover shows is that you've got access all areas. I know. I don't even know if they know we've had that stencil, to be fair. <laughs> so they're Ooh. probably, probably going to get told off. Because we it's physically it. haven't got it here. We can kind yeah. of keep this on the down low, can't we? They'll just realise when there's no stock left. <laughs> Look at how amazing this is looking, though, now. Oh, oh and yeah. a large wall. Wow. Um, 44.99. Choose your colours, whatever colours you want. If you want a bit of inspiration on some colours, we've got some fabrics. So, this is a bundle of that very print, isn't it? As soon yeah. as you came in this morning, you instantly were like, oh, I love oh, yeah, it. Stroke, stroke it. it. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, bring it. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, we've got a saving. You have got a 5 99 saving on this. Free half meter for you. So you're only paying for three. Now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Sorry. You're getting all of these. This is the big bundle. So you're getting one, two, did you get eight fabrics? Four metres, that makes a bit more sense. There you go. Four metres of fabric, you're getting half a metre for free. They are lovely colourways, aren't they? Oh, gorgeous. And I do think as well, let me check, but I think these are slightly wider than 112. Can we tell the other end? Yeah, they are. These are wide, look at how wide they are. Give it a good pull, that's it, look at that. You have got a lot of fabric there so if you are doing your own cushions we mentioned earlier yeah because i was thinking i should get some of that to um match my wall in my living room absolutely good idea Again, just making a couple of cushions make some cushions yeah cushions i can do that bags <laughs> absolutely They're, these are things that you don't need to worry about doing full patchwork with but if you are using these for um quilting they're perfect as well Absolutely perfect. Mm. Larkspur, full bundle. I think these were all the colours that we had in stock of Larkspur. Bundle them all together for less than £50. Half a metre for free for our manager special takeover show. Oh, make the most of these deals whilst you can because we don't get to do this willy nilly, do we? Uh, we've got some ideas for you, Hayley. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And lots of ideas coming in of, um, I'd love to learn how the hand quilting techniques, including hand tied quilting and a future show. Loving the show from Nikki. So these are great oh, for the yes. blogs, blog ideas. Hannah, can you uh, write them down, <laughs> please? Yeah. Because I'm going to forget, yeah. Oh yes, any ideas you've got, let us know. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be a great one for a blog, actually, mm. hand quilting techniques. Yeah, keep all your messages coming in. Mm. Any uh, suggestions that you've got for our Hayley? Absolutely, of things that you'd like to see, more content yes. that you'd like to see on a blog. Or even any like, little video tutorials as well. That's, um, we, we're looking to build up that on YouTube as well. So. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, £47.92 for your Larkspur bundle. Grab that whilst you can. Did you say that we have... So are these available individually underneath us or anything? Just a bundle. There are some of them, but this is where you're making your saving. Grab them whilst you can. So little gift ideas. Sticking with the William Morris. Shall we do And as Christmas feet? is fast approaching. Yeah. 
thoughts and gift ideas. These are going to be brilliant for gifts, yeah. aren't they? And I actually bought my mum this for Christmas last year. <gasps> it's lovely, isn't it? It's yeah, really it feels really nice as well. It does. It's like a brushed, brushed sort of cotton. Mm. And especially the fact that it is um, Strawberry Thief discounted mm. today. Discounted Strawberry Thief, just nine ninety nine. That is brilliant. And you get the little glasses oh, yeah, cloth. You get the little cloth as well. I suppose it doesn't need to just be if you wear glasses. It could be for, for sunglasses. My sunglasses yeah. always come in a really, you know, the soft cases that I end up sitting on and breaking or they end up mm. in my bag. I always end up not using a case and they get scratched or broken. Yeah. So I could probably do with one of those. Just keep them in your craft room. <laughs> if you need a pair of glasses that you have for when you, you're threading your needle or your sewing machine or um, just down the side of the sofa when you're doing your hand sewing, it's a lovely quality glasses case and they never when you buy a pair of fancy glasses and they never come in like posh glasses cases like this do they nice gift for somebody never has this glasses case been 9.99 thank you Hayley you're welcome never has it been <laughs> under 10 pounds uh we've got golden lily as well yes golden lily these are all some of the most iconic William Morris prints just eleven ninety nine. You get the little cloth with it as well. Nah, to date nine ninety nine. Another one and never been under ten pounds until now. Great gift idea for Christmas. A nice little stocking filler. Um, if you wear a couple of different glasses, some for distance or some for close up, you end up thinking, "Hang on, where's my right glasses?" You wouldn't be able to miss this one, would you? In your handbag, no. you'd be able to yeah, find which glasses you need. That. Just £9.99 for your Golden Lily print this time. And it is that really lovely hard case, but it's got that brushed cotton, so it's super, super soft as well. Uh, can you make me some cushions, please? Hayley, said Beth. Oh, no. <laughs> Beth wants you to make her some cushions. OK. Well, let me know what fabric. <laughs> Choose the fabric and I'll, I'll try. You've got no excuse, you've got the 680. Uh. Um, Jennifer would like some more short technique videos between yes, shows. Want, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm very because uh, we've got we've got our content studio being built. Is so, that the studio across this way yeah. here? Right. What does that mean? So it, it is <laughs> going to be things like little short videos, um, longer videos as well. So there's going to yeah. be a Don't dedicated know how much I studio. Can say. <laughs> Tell us all, yeah. tell us all the gossip. So we never hear this down here. So the, we know there's been building work going on. You've heard us moaning about it on air all the time, that they're mm. drilling. But next Sorry. door, um, so is that going to be something that people are going to be doing whilst we're on air? Like literally just, you know, doing videos? Um, potentially, I mean, we should be able, I mean, hopefully there'll be a door so it's not making any noise. That's um, really good, isn't but it? Yeah, so I'm hoping we can get loads more video content uh, for YouTube, on social media for you, like in the ad breaks. That's yeah. a really good idea. Thank you for that. Oh, I'm pleased that I was wondering what what's going on in there. I thought, oh, what 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 are the studio we're in? Because we've got loads of studios across the building. I mean, yes. we're all in one big building now. So even mm. though you're you know part of hobby maker, jewelry maker, sewing street, we're all in the same office, aren't we? Luckily, yeah. Because there was a point where I was splitting between two offices. So yeah, I'm I'm grateful that yeah. we're in one building now yeah oh and it is a lovely building mm. it is lovely it's really nice that we're all in the same in the same corridor um, um could you cover an old glasses and glasses case with fabric oh i think it's going to be a bit awkward especially as these are discounted these are a tenner now i think it's mm. i mean you probably could have a go have a go chris says i use uh glassing cases as a travel sewing kit yeah, that's a good idea. Really good idea. Um, I wouldn't like to tell you how you cover a glasses case because I wouldn't know. You can make fabric ones, but I wouldn't know how you cover an old you hard coat. I know Lisa Lamb's made those bags where you, you've used fabric glue. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether it would work, but... I don't know how you'd stretch it over properly. I don't know. It'd probably be quite fiddly. Mm, I'll, for 9 yeah. I'll just buy a new one. Buy a new one. <laughs> um, Thanks for your message though, Judy. I don't know. Have a go. Shall we do the little page markers? I think these yes. are so cute. They are, yeah. They're so like, intricate prints as well. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, what have you got on here? You've got Larkspur, Honeysuckle, 
Oh, I can't see which ones the other ones are. But you've got four really famous prints. And Hayley is taking a pound off for you today as well. Look at the glitter. <laughs> 299. These are magnetic on both sides, so they're, I think they're better than bookmarks. Um, you know, your conventional bookmarks. The reason being, if I just have a look at one of these patterns, if you're following a pattern, you can kind of put them step by step. I'm trying to open the packet for you. Yeah. They're less likely to fall out as well, aren't they? Because they're magnetic. So. Yeah. So, for example, yeah. if you're doing, I know you do lots of knitting, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Again, I try. <laughs> if you're on a certain row or if you're on a, a certain part of it, you could put this across wherever yeah. you want to and you can mark where it is you are on your page, step by step, if you're using these for recipes, cards as well. Obviously, they're less likely to fall out, as you said, as they have got magnetic um, backs. So they've got these little magnet strips on the back of them. But they're just such a lovely little gift idea, especially if you've already paid your posting packaging. Add these to your order. Pound off today. Now just two ninety nine. Unmissable. We used to have these, and they would sell in the hundreds at £3.99, so I'm not surprised. We've got a lot of people who are multi-buying on this one. That's a great special, Hayley. Yeah. Again, Love I think those. I bought those for a Christmas present as well. <laughs> You're just picking just out all the William Morris stuff. <laughs> That's it. You're just picking out all of the things that you want for your shopping, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Um, shall we do the coasters? Yeah. These are limited. These are limited. Thank you. Um, so you got one of each design. Oh, single figures on these, £14.99. If you do want to incorporate a bit of William Morris into your home, in your sewing room, um, just in your lounge. Uh, I mean, uh, William Morris is something that even if, it's like Liberty, even if you're not a sewer, you recognise yeah. it, don't you? Let's show you the different designs. Sorry, my nice cork back as well. These would be really nice for a gift. Um, you've got strawberry thief in there as well. Your pack of coasters, pack of six, £14.99. Now there's only eight of those left. Only eight of them left. If you do want them, grab them. They are about to sell out. Hello, good morning Vicky and Hayley. Um, great show this morning. It's my birthday today. I was going to see if you could buy, if I could, what I could buy myself. Catherine, Happy treat birthday. yourself. Treat yourself to some of these deals. Happy birthday, Catherine. Um, yeah, thank you for your messages. Keep them coming in. Shall we recap the boutiques for anybody who wants a treat for themselves for their oh, birthday, yes. maybe, Catherine? This should be over £40. Um, we never get the chance to see... Uh, we never, ever get the chance to see boutiques in Fat Quarters. So to have them today at 34 19 Single figures. Once everybody's checked out on this bundle, I think these are going to be a sell-out. Manager special today. Guest takeover, manager special. Any excuse, eh? Oh, yeah. To go way too low. <laughs> important people giving you savings. Well, I don't know about important, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, were you, did you ever go on the telly when we were at sewing quarter, Hayley? No, I think I got out of it there. So is this Only like the your first day? kind of full hour? Yeah, yeah, it's my first full hour. It's I gone quick, so nervous. It? Yeah. It's gone quick. Yeah, it's gone really nervous. It's gone really quick. No, you're doing amazing. Um, morning, Maria. Hmm? Oh, okay, right. Now, I mentioned that you love knitting. So, as I said, our Hayley, um, official title, content and... Head of brand and content marketing. Head I know of brand and content marketing. It doesn't mean anything to anybody, unfortunately. It's, yeah. it's technical. It's techy, yeah. isn't it? Um, you love, love, love your knitting. Let me yes. find your blanket here. Now, you did this over a year ago, didn't yeah. you? Oh, it's so, so It has gone gorgeous. quite a bit fluffy. <gasps> but it's on my... Look at I, it. I keep it on my sofa. Yeah. And any time it gets a bit cold, I just put it over me. So oh, I love it. Look, yeah. we've got a photo. Who's this? So that's my nan. Oh! I oh. made that for her birthday as well. So she, hers is in a lot better condition than mine, but she loves it. It's because it's 100% merino wool, so it's really cosy. Oh, I love but not it. not like sweaty cosy. Um, so. And it's really nice to knit with as well because it's really chunky. So it, I did that one for my nan in about a week. <gasps> after work. Really? Bear in mind, I'm, I work full time, so obviously I was doing it after work. So, I mean, you did two of these, you must have loved it. Yeah, because it's, it's dead easy, it's just the knit stitch. 
all along. It's chunky wool, so it knits up really quickly. And I say it's really cosy as well. You get I everything. <laughs> um, do you want me to get the other bag? There's two. Yeah. That's this one. That's this one, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, this is the correct one. You get your little tote bag. You also get your, which is lovely, isn't it? That yeah. You can keep your project. If you're going to a coffee shop or something and you're knitting on the go, you've got your tote bag to keep it all in. You get instructions. You even get um, a sewing needle to sew it together. Yeah, yeah. And then this wool, you're right. It's merida. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely. Yeah. It's so soft. It's called Cheeky Chunky. 100% merino wool. You're getting your cream. You get grey, and you get this lovely rose. Like so how, pink, yeah. how big is it? The finished size. <laughs> this big. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just this big. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's I see. I don't really. You can obviously. It's huge. Yeah. It's a big blanket, isn't it? Really oh, big yeah. blanket. So you get enough wool to be able to do all of. Yeah. Obviously, the whole blanket. So you just knit through the two, uh, like the two balls, and then go on to the next colour. Knit through the other two balls. <gasps> This is so lovely. Where does yours live at home? On my sofa. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, say so whenever it gets cold, I just pull it out and just snuggle up underneath oh, it. Oh, that's what you need, Head isn't it? It's so fluffy. I had an but argument with Kieran about turning the heating on the other day. Yeah. He was like, oh, I said, I could sense, I could smell that it was warm as I walked into the house. I was like, you haven't put the oh. heating on, have you? Do not put the heating on. Where does your nan keep hers? Oh, hers is on her sofa as well. Oh, look, but, yeah, how she'll cozy. Just put it over her Especially because it's merino wool, I bet it's really warm. Yeah, as I say, it's really warm, but not like the sweaty warm that you get from some other wool, yeah, like yarn, so. Do you know what size nice. knitting needles you use? I think that it's about a 10. They're quite big and chunky. Okay. I think it was a 10. Obviously, it's about a year ago, so I don't... About your tension as well, isn't it? Does that make yeah. a difference on your tension? You can change your needle size. Is that right? Or am I thinking crochet? I don't really know crochet. <laughs> I think I'm going to crochet. I'm a beginner though. knitter as well, so... I'm not, no expert. So you can do here. this as a beginner knitter? Oh yes, as I say, all it is is um, the knit stitch. This is a nice gift for somebody who's a knitter actually, isn't it, yeah, as well, it's for really them nice. to, to knit yeah. it. Um, single figures on that one, single figures. We have got another design, I've got this one as well, which is your checkered one. And you've got the grey, you've got your cream, you've got the rose, the two different shades of grey. So is this again knit stitch? Yeah, this will just be knit stitch. Yeah, I'm just trying to think how they've done. Yeah, and then you just join the um, sew them together, like. Yeah, so you just do the. It looks like that all you've done is sew the squares, and then you sew them together. I remember when I was on the knit show the um, with the lady. Oh my gosh, she said how how quickly this comes together again yeah. because it is lovely, big, chunky. We've got it backwards. Let me spin it yeah. over. Um, as you do on this one get your knitting needles as well so don't worry you get your knitting needles and everything that you need included so in the bag look you've got all um that's not this one <laughs> it should have come up don't worry okay. we'll um it's you get all of the right yarn you get your knitting needles you get your sewing um needle as well to sew it all up and you get your instructions and they're really thorough instructions it's not like a pattern that presumes you know everything you get instructions don't you yes because i've never really used um a knitting pattern before so it was yeah, it was very useful for me because i haven't got a clue yeah. so things like the abbreviations and, and all of that it's all um it's all explained in there yeah so it's perfect for beginners love it yeah. Big blanket. I remember, well, it was when I was on maternity leave that I started Maisie a blanket with the fluffiest um, yarn with the tiniest needles. And I remember sending a picture to, um, it was either Kat or Rebecca Reed, and they thought it was a picture of my phone cable that I'd sent. I was like, no, that's my blanket. That's how much I managed Aww. to do. I was like, I've done a couple of rows, I've done a couple of rows. No, but this actually comes chunky, together. Yeah, chunky wall where you've got the big needles that you just come together really quickly. Love it. Message it's in. Um, you're right, Vix, you can change your tension with going Ooh. up or down a size of needles, but it doesn't matter for a blanket. That's what I thought because you're not making it as a jumper or something. You're not having to make yourself a yeah. tension square. Or a hat. Yeah, yeah, that it's got to fit someone. Mm. Talking about hats. Yeah, that's we've what got I was thinking hat. about. We've got a hat. Um, <laughs> we've got one ending in 37. Can you find that one, Hells? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Right, watch this one. What have you picked out? So I bought this kit as well for myself because I wanted 
So with this, you get three balls of yarn. Um, so you, the, with the idea <gasps> that these. Oh, this is your stepdad. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to knit it for myself, the hat, but it came out too big. So I ended up giving it to my stepdad, and he uses it on his Sunday walks when it gets a bit chilly. Um, but I've still got probably half of that left. Oh, amazing. I mean, that is a lot of yarn. You get, yeah, again, it's chunky, so it comes together really quickly. But with the patterns inside, you get a pattern. You can choose which hat you do. Mm -hmm. um, I chose that one, which is, I don't know what pattern that would be. Um, and then you've got a, like a snood. Sorry. Sorry. No, go on. What did you say, sorry? You get a snood pattern as well. So you oh. get the two balls of pink are for the snood. Yeah. And again, you've got different options to choose from. Yeah, I suppose you could do another hat instead of a snood, couldn't you? Could you could do, yeah, you could do, you could probably do three or four hats out of that. Yeah, that is a lot. And it's a lot of wool. Well, do you make yeah. it into a cake first, or can you just knit straight from this ball? I just knit from, straight yeah. from the ball. I don't know whether you're supposed to, but that's what I do. I don't I know, do. I always see um, yeah. Wendy Orlando come in and she's got it all neatly in a cake, and I think, well, I, it would put me off because I think I don't know how to do that. So you can just start knitting yeah, straight away yeah, from the ball. Brilliant. Um, $24.99 and that's for your basket weave snood set two patterns in there and you get all three of the balls in there. Just so you know, the blankets, both kits, um, both kits are the same types of wool. Yeah, they're both, they're both merino wool in both blankets. Brilliant. To answer your question. Um, I've got a snowman family. <gasps> This is sold out, hasn't it? I'm sure this is sold out. Uh, oh, it's back in stock. Oh no, we've got it back. Oh, we've had to ask special permission morning. from yeah. Bex Reed to be oh, able to get this in for today's show. Yeah. It sold out when it was on air. Now I chose this because um, I think it was last year, last Christmas, we had like a little snowman on our Christmas branding motif on the pin badge. Oh yeah. Um, and we asked Rebecca Reed if she could do a snowman, and she was convinced that she couldn't do it. Um, but we pestered her so much that she managed to do it and she did a great job. These are amazing. Snowman family. She was, yeah, underestimating her abilities, I think. This is Sydney, Sylvia and Sam that you get to make. And look, you get your full instructions, but look at the quality of the panel. I love, love, love Amber Makes. Yeah. They do the most amazing panels look. How detailed that is. It's packed full of everything that you need. And that's to make all three. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All three. $19.99. Uh, all you need to add, I think, is like your toy stuff thing. All you need to add is that everything else is included. Embellish as you wish, but you could add buttons and bells and all sorts. But you do even get like the little holly look that the snowman's got on the hat. Been on air once before, back on the 24th of November last year. It completely sold out with our special permission to get this reprinted for today's show. So if you do want these in time for Christmas, I don't know whether we'll be repeating this this year for Christmas. So if you do love them, definitely get them during this takeover show. 19.99. How many did you say do we have, sorry? Oh, single figures now. Single figures now once everyone's checked out. Um, come on back over to the sewing machine with me because we just want to quickly recap Hayley's deal before we say bye to her. Yeah. Um, this is your sewing machine, but you've got for us a deal for one day offer. Yes, so you get £100, over £100 worth of goodies free with the sewing machine, just for today. I mean, that's amazing. It's still on split pay. There are all the goodies that you're going to get. You've got patterns, you've got storage, you've got fabrics, you've got threads, you've got scissors, all of that. I mean, bearing in mind, this machine has already got a huge array of accessories that come with it as standard. It comes with amazing extension table, a walking foot, a free motion foot, a two-year guarantee. We've got it on five-way split pay for you. It's an amazing machine as it is. It's got a superior needle threader. This is your 680 plus. Um, Lynn says, I've got this machine. Uh, she likes the start stop function as well. Yeah. She says, hi all, she has either 680 plus, as a stroke survivor, it's a great machine to use, it's easy to use. Exactly, you know, if anybody has any difficulty, you know, using a foot pedal, it's very, very clear that you can see, here you go, how you can use that start-stop and it instantly reacts. Plus, 
like you would with your, your foot controller, you can still use this variable speed controller and slow down as you're sewing or speed up as you're sewing. So I think that's brilliant. Um, lots of people who are teaching, you know, children to sew as well. They like the start stop button. I liked the start stop button when I was learning as well, as I found it was too much to sort of think about is controlling my foot as well as what my hands were doing. Yeah, I, I found it difficult. <laughs> so I, I think this is brilliant. This isn't your entry level machine, but at all by all means, this is something that maybe you're upgrading to. If you have got a designating sewing space, it's a big machine. It's got great throat space, but also don't be put off as a beginner. If you do want a machine that you're going to be able to grow with this is a brilliant machine that Hayley actually owns yeah and as I say I'm a beginner um, and I managed to get around it yeah and, and use it oh it's so. really user-friendly really user-friendly it comes with a great manual John Scott's got it need I say any more you will have seen lots of videos during lockdown of him on this machine um, if you're a, a, a quilter, a, a, a bag maker, a dressmaker, if you do um, home furnishings, it's it's one of those that's going to suit all. It's got stitches for, I mean, look at how many stitches you've got. Hundreds, hundreds of stitches on there. You've also got an alphabet. You've got pictorial stitches there as well. You've got a straight stitch needle plate, which I bet you haven't even used, Hayley. No, probably not. Straight <laughs> stitch needle plate, free arm. There's so many amazing features. If you've got any questions about them, please get it in. Because even though Hayley's not going to be here, we're going to hold that deal open until midnight tonight. You can only get that deal whilst um, it's today's show, while stocks last. Uh, it's already selling, by the way. Lots of people are making the most of your offer. Good, yeah, make the most of it. Sarah's going to be using it, so if you've got any questions or if you want to see it in sewing action, you'll see it um, in the uh, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock hour. And I can answer any of your questions. Here you go. Pauline, to answer your question, I'll show you. Free arm. There it is. Easy to take off. That's how you'd put your extension table on as well. But it's useful if you're sewing in around. So if you're doing sleeves or um, if you're doing bags, uh, anything that you're sewing in around, that's a really, really useful feature to have. Uh, and there's your straight stitch needle plate in the bottom as well. We don't get to do deals on a 680 very often. And I know that this is your machine. So you said, I want a deal as well. I want yeah. a really good deal. Oh, yeah. Over £100 pounds worth Hayley's of goodies. delivered, so yeah. That is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you for delivering, Hayley. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. You made it. I know, sorry that we've run over. I know you've got your actual job to go and yeah, do today, I've got haven't meetings you? Meetings, and <laughs> it's a busy day today. There you go, you've got a new fan. Good morning, Hayley, and good morning, Vicky. David in Fife. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you don't get deals like this every day. Uh, Hayley, thank you so, so much for joining me this morning. Who Thanks else has got me. a takeover show? Do you know? So tomorrow you've got Ben, producer oh, yeah. Ben. And then on Friday you've got Kate from marketing, which I, people probably know better than they know me because she responds to your social message. Like social <laughs> she <posts>. responds to you. <laughs> Hayley is a response. Yeah, I will do more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Well yes, done. thanks for having me. Thanks for all the deals. Don't forget, you can still make the most of them underneath us on the web. It is nerve-wracking being on the telly, isn't it? For a whole hour, yeah. <laughs> first time you did really well um thank you for all your messages as well check out on the deal we'll leave you over the break with that open if you want to make the most of it we're back with some amazing fabrics we've got dina design bundle with discounting we've also got brand new philip jacobs fabrics coming up in the next hour so stay where you are we're back right after this well done follow sewing string on facebook and instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there!
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Welcome back. Didn't Hayley do amazing? Honestly, she was so, so nervous before the show. So um, she was like, oh, I don't know what to do now. I've got to go and do my actual job. And she's on the fluster. So thank you so much for all your lovely, supportive messages. Um, the main thing is, is don't forget the deals that she brought on with us. Um, I know there was a lady who says, I'm really sulky now. I didn't get those lovely freebies with mine. Um, it's we, we don't get to do. Offers on 680s, do you know why? Because we don't need to. It's one of those flagship machines that is always, always one of our most popular machines. Um, you're getting all those bits for free today. Over £100 worth of goodies for free with your 680 Plus. If you were arming and arming, arming about that machine, um, today's the day. In fact, any questions that you've got, we'll see the machine in action with Sarah in the, uh, the next hour. Have I said that saying wrong my whole life? Somebody said to me the other day, it's humming and harring. Is it humming and harring or humming and harring? Yes, oh, thank you. I'm so pleased it's humming and harring. Um, Sorry, I think my microphone was wrong there. Oh, I'm so pleased that you've said that because I am going to play this back. What's the time? Quarter past nine. I'll watch it on YouTube and show my sister-in-law. She was like, you said humming and harring. It's humming and harring. 
I don't know, but please well Google it because I think she showed me evidence of why it's having in her ring. But anyway, right, that's the 680 plus deal. Do you want another deal? Now, this wasn't a Haley special, this was a Hannah and Vic special. We've been waiting for this deal to we've been waiting for this fabric to come in full stop anyway we weren't necessarily going to do a discount on it but we just decided this morning as it is team takeover and Hannah and I didn't get asked so I was in the email I then rang Kaylee and said oh I've picked this for my show and she said you're not doing a takeover show I felt so left out Ben is doing um, a takeover show tomorrow Hannah hasn't even had an email to suggest that she was going to do a show. So, um, Hannah is not in charge of taking anything over, not being allowed to take over. So we've decided to just stand up for ourselves and do our own deal. So, to any management watching, this is, this is the good, this is a really good deal. This is the good stuff. We've got here Dina Designs, which we all know, free spirit fabric, uh, always one of our most popular designers whenever we get them in. They don't hang around in stock very often. They come in and they disappear because they are gorgeous quality. Now we have these in lim limited numbers by the half meter. They've never been seen on the tallow before. This should be 7.99 a half meter, which is what we expect for free spirit fabric. Um, this bundle, therefore, should be 47 pounds and 94 pence. Not today. We've crashed it for you. We're at 35.89, which makes it 5.99 a half meter. You're saving over 12 pounds. They're half meters, not fat quarters. They are half meters. We love our Dina Designs. Uh, the Sun Sundara Oasis Collection. It's beautiful. The colors are stunning. You've got elephants, you've got little bird designs, you've got little monkeys in the trees. It's absolutely stunning. Even if you're making, you know, little projects, little makeup bags, if you're doing the foldable tote bag, this teamed with, I mean, look at all the colors that you could choose from to mix it with. There's 15 different colors on this salvage alone that you can choose from to mix, uh, to have as your uh, a lining fabric if you want. That is such a beautiful fabric. I can't believe in this bundle you're paying just $5.99 for that half meter. So good, so, so good. It's the best value for money. The best way of getting it is in the bundle. As I said, there's some of these available limited stocks if you do want more of one of them. I understand there's some people who are saying, oh, that would make an amazing um, dress. That would be perfect for a larger bag. If you do want to secure more, they are 7 99 half meter. Look at this. I do think for bag making, I wouldn't cut this up. I'd struggle to cut this up. I think I would just keep this as a big panel in a bag. Um, we were looking at uh, Dina Designs Instagram earlier and there were um, pre-made bags. So with her fabric, she makes bags um, and they're expensive. They're expensive. Uh, they're, they're bags that I know our viewers could do. I know that you could make the bags that, you know, that she's sort of selling for a lot of money, a lot of money. Make yourself. These are absolutely beautiful. Brand new to Sewing Street and we've discounted it today. She has lovely collections of homewares. I just love her, the whole style. I think it's so pretty. All of the collections that she's done have been up there with some of my faves should be 7.99 a half meter even this one look at that with white how classic is this bolster cushions with a lovely white uh piping covering a lampshade you could really jazz up a beautiful spare bedroom uh, with this fabric couldn't you buy a couple of bundles at that rate honestly that price is brilliant we have discounted it as a hannah and vix takeover special Lots of you coming in for these, just £35.89. They are gorgeous, aren't they? That one's uh, such a lovely um, powder blue. Uh, and the oranges are so striking. There's a real mixture of colour. They all work together really, really well, obviously. Different scales of print if you do want to do a quilt. But actually, I'd be thinking of separate projects for these. Especially that one, oh, look, so you've got the elephants on here. 
you could fussy cut these that, because this looks like an amazing border print anyway I mean it looks like you've pieced all of these strips together yourself just that cushion front amazing right don't forget 599 and a half meter at the bundle price 35.89 discounted today I'm just going to move my microphone in case it's making it Sorry about that, if you've um, had a bit of interference on my microphone, hopefully that's better. Uh, right, so there's your Dina Designs bundle. That should be $7.99, remember, $5.99 by the half metre. Should we do them individually? Just in case there's anybody who wants um, more for a dress maybe, more for a, um, a bigger bag or weekend bag, if you want to do the elephants continually on a border of a quilt. In fact, even with this quilt, <gasps> that colour looks nice. Seven ninety nine a half metre. And remember, oh, so the elephants can. It goes obviously this way. So if you want. It will then go elephants again here and can you see you've got this really really beautiful you can see on this part um, this beautiful pattern which is then continued as well pardon i love that i absolutely love it dina designs brand new in today now by the half meter it is 7.99 so you get it in the bundle at um 5.99 oh hey uh, hannah Hannah is um, getting very excited by everybody's takeover shows, I think. $6.99. It is still obviously better value for money if you get it in the bundle at $5.99. But that's just to help you out if you do want more of the elephant fabric. We don't have loads. This isn't a clearance show. This is the first time this has been seen. This is the first time it's come to air. And we have dropped it willy-nilly. Um, if you are multi-buying, obviously it will continue up this way, so you'll get another row of elephants. It will then continue down. Quarter of the stock, gone instantly uh, of what we've got by the half metre. If you are after the bundle, grab that whilst you can. They're all gorgeous. Less than 10 metres, less than 10 metres, which sounds a lot. Sounds a lot. As soon as, you know, five people want two units, it's gone. That's it. And how many people are going to be multi buying on this? This is one that I would certainly buy, be buying at least a metre. I, would, I wish we had a metre of it here so you could see it. Um, it's obviously double this. It's going to look gorgeous. I think a big weekend bag. Now it is in the bundle. The single figures by the half metre, but it is available in the bundle. Okay, right, let's do. Um, yes, 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 yes. This is watercolour, beautiful um, artwork. You can tell that she paints a lot of her designs, can't you? Now this is another one. No, um, no offence, uh, Hannah, but we should have got this in a metre piece as well, because this is another one that I would go again. Definitely, definitely get that metre piece, because I bet this pattern will continue again. Uh, it looks a bit different on the website. This is BRUV15. Right, you'll get this one. You won't get an orange one. I think the picture on the website looks orange. It is an orange one on the website. You won't get the orange one. You'll get this one that's on your screen. But can you see how beautiful this pattern is going to be? If you get a metre piece. Oh, we've done it again. Another one we've dropped a pound off per half metre. 6.99 this is where look we've dropped a pound off a pound a pound but if you think about it in terms of i'm buying three meters that's six pounds difference that's six pounds saving it makes such a difference if you are purchasing more um, by the half meter just six pounds 99 for your sundara oasis collection it's brand new in today we didn't intend on discounting it, but we've got a bit trigger happy with our, of course, um, Hayley being here doing our takeover show. 
just six ninety nine. The blues are beautiful. You've got your purples, the greens. Remember, it's the purple that you're getting. Don't go by the picture on the website. I know it's a little bit confusing, um, as it, they've photographed I think the wrong fabric but it is this one that you're getting I love this sort of feather print it's so pretty isn't it a big mandala style right really limited on all of these by the half meter uh, right my favorite of the collection Hannah's favorite were the elephants uh, my favorite is the little monkeys look at these in the trees uh, problem there's only four meters left just get them all, get all four, because we're not gonna be able to get this back in. We were talking about free spirit fabric, we talk about modal reprinting fabric. Designers like this, big designers, don't tend to do reprints. So what we have is what we have. We did not suppose, we weren't supposed to put this into like a clearance kind of hour. It isn't supposed to be clearance, it's just a special. These are brand new fabrics today, and we're just doing a bit of a saving, a treat for you. Say so thank you for watching this morning. I love it, absolutely love it. I think for laptop covers or iPad cases, kids' bags. Oh, there's only a metre and a half left. It's so cute. So, so cute. Uh, we've got one with an orange background. Now, how much of this do we have? Right, because you need two metres for the lining on the apron that we're going to be doing. Have you got the apron to hand? Because I can put it on, I can show you. Because we've got denim bundles. How amazing would this look with denim? This could be the lining. You need two metres of your denim and you need two metres of quilting weight cotton's absolutely fine. We're doing it again, taking it to 6 99 Definitely get yourself four units of this. And this could be, oh, thank you, Kat. Imagine, let me show you with denim. This with denim would look so cool. So imagine, like this is the lining. We've got this apron coming up next. Liberty, great idea. But imagine, four units, two meters. This would be beautiful. Any of those that we've done, by the way, that would be a really nice one with denim as well. All of them. Go back through the website, any that are available. If there are four units of anything, get it. Yeah. I might have to move my microphone because I'm going to put the apron on for you, but bear with me. Sorry, just putting my, my, my apron on. This is amazing. I love this dress. I say a dress, it's apron, but you could absolutely have this as a... A dress couldn't you put this with a belt and it crosses all the way over so my bum's not showing but I'll flash my fabric Ooh, you could have use Liberty here it would look gorgeous but this again would look really nice love it six pounds 99 you need two meters for the lining if you want to make the uh, the apron I'll keep this around if there's any left for the apron next hour I'll remind you if anybody's tuning in gorgeous fabric I've got two fabrics that are this lovely blue. Again, both look really nice. It's got little birdies on, little trees. Um, this should be $7.99. It's $6.99 on its own. Remember, in the bundle, it's £5.99, a half metre. Uh, so it's up to you. If you want the bundle, go for it. If you want bigger cuts, then this is your chance. It's both brilliant value for money, both discounted today, bearing in mind these are free spirit fabrics. When you think of free spirit, you think of the likes of Kaif, you think of Tula Pink, we think of big designers working with this quality uh, design house and printing company because of the quality of the fabrics uh, that these designs are printed on. You, you can feel it. When you sew it, it's beautiful. When you wash it, washes really well, presses beautifully. All £6.99. That looks so nice as a wash bag set, wouldn't it? Quilted wash bags. Put some little bits in there for Christmas. You've got a lovely gift then. Even if you don't put gift bits in there, but... You'd have to... I, I like to fill it up a little bit. You know, like, just even like a little bit... One of those little squidgies. And, um... Uh, I think that's what you call them, isn't it? What do you call them? Just a squidgy. A squidgy and, um... Maybe like a, a little shower gel or something would be nice. Oils in a circle. 
Panda says, do you remember when everyone used to have balls? Oh, they, they pop. Yes, yes. Everyone used to have them. They're not really a thing anymore, are they? I used to love that texture. You used to have a, a pack of them and they'd be different. Yes, there was a fish shape and you'd put them in the, the bath and they'd dissolve. The outside, the skin, would sort of dissolve in the bottom of the bath. You think, oh, what's this on my toe? And it was the, the dissolving bit. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased you reminded me of those. I totally, I forgot them. <laughs> Do they still exist? Oh my gosh, please get me them for Christmas. If I get them at a file of facts in my secret Santa, it's not the same if you get me a dishwasher tablet, no, Bruce. Sounds the same, but yeah, you don't feel the dishwasher tablet, I suppose, on your skin. When um, Hannah finds them on eBay from somebody's from the 90s. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, I forgot about those. I was thinking about, you know, different things that you used to have when you're young. I saw somebody the other day who was wearing butterfly clips. Like, remember those ones that actually used to flap out? I used to put them all over my head. I used to put about 50 all over my head. <laughs> Hannah said they used to get really stuck in her hair. She has a lot of hair, and she had a lot of hair then. <laughs> Those of you that know Hannah and have seen Hannah on air, she once crimped her hair. I don't need to say any more, do I? That's how badly she wanted to try and fit in. Oh no, oh no, she says it went horribly wrong. Horribly wrong, oh yeah, I used to crimp my hair. <laughs> $7.99, should we crash it? Let's do it. This reminds me of beautiful wallpaper. I think this would be really nice to cover a lampshade. This would be a really nice one to do a little handbag with maybe actually. £6.99. Just with white, white fabric, look really nice. Just £6.99, a half metre. How about this with my denim? So, I'm wearing the apron. That would look really nice with denim. We've got two metre denim bundles coming up in the next show. That's my uh, lining. So, it's got pockets. It's got pockets here. I wonder whether I could do a contrast pocket. So, I've got it in the lining. But if you wanted to do that outer fabric on the top, I'm sure, I'm sure you could. We'll speak to Sarah. Speak to Sarah and ask her. But isn't this lovely? Do, 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 do. Nice in the... Um, Linen as well, nice in linen, nice in canvas. I'll speak to her and ask what fabrics are going to be nice to, to use. But um, Okay, all of those Dina Design fabrics are now 6 99 a half metre. Remember the bundle though, if you do want the whole shebang, you can get them all for 35 98 They should be £47.94. Well done. Well done if you've already got yours. You're getting half a metre of each and they are brand new in. Today, 5 99 and a half metre, which is unheard of for Free Spirit Dina Design fabrics. Love, love, love it. Three metre bundle, brand new to us today. What a great saving. Love those. Um, it's worth, if you're just tuning in with us, having a look back through the website and seeing what is available. We had the takeover show, we had an amazing early bird, we've had this deal. Everything has been a deal so far, hasn't it? Uh, remember, these are individually available underneath us, only small quantities. What's wrong? Very limited now, very, very limited. 35.89. Hannah's now getting very excited about these bath oils. No, <laughs> she's saying, no need to get me any back. I'll just get you these as a treat. She's found some that are little pigs. Oh, turtles. Oh my gosh, no, it, it was either just this. It was just um, like little orbs, wasn't it? Or it was fish. And that was it. And they were either blue or they were pink. And that was it. Now there's all sorts. People are still doing it. Message in, message in if you remember those. 35, or if you still have them, 35.89. I feel like if you had, if you never, I've always got that one pack of bath stuff that I've never opened and I think, well, it's still all right. It doesn't go out of date after 15 years, does it? Do they? Well, what if, you, if it's not been opened? It's not open, I'm sure it's fine. 
Hannah's concerned for my skin. She's thinking that there might be ingredients that have gone off that might not be good on your skin. I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking at now? Retro's 90s things. Right, the bundle's about to sell out. Whilst Hannah's um, shopping for our secret Santa. <laughs> okay, well done if you get that. We were supposed to talk about that all morning, but I think it's going to go. Um, should we do some Philip Jacobs? Right, we've got the new and we've got the parrots and the fish. We'll come to those in a bit. These are brand new Philip Jacobs. Um, hang on, what am I doing? These ones, these ones, these ones. Yes. These are brand new. Six and a half meters. <gasps> Six and a half meters. Um, one, two, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, am I missing some fabrics? Okay, let's have a look at the picture and we'll see what should be in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. It's not six and a half meters. It's one, two, three and a half meters. That's what's wrong is the, uh, the graphics. Ignore the graphics. It's uh, three and a half meters. Six, seven. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we've done. That's somebody you get. Seven half metre cuts. Ignore the six and a half metres. I don't know where that's come from. Three and a half metres for £55.93. and pence. These are lovely, aren't they? Philip Jacobs, obviously, um, very, 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 very famous designer. Um, again, teamed up with Free Spirit. Beautiful. Westminster's Westminster fibers. I picked up the um, cave fabric. I, you can tell that Philip Jacobs works a lot with cave because you can see those colors, you can see the styles. So, if you love Philip Jacobs fabrics when he does collaborate with cave, you'll love this collection too. This is still free spirit. It's beautiful quality. We have it available by the half meter today, but your bundle is 55 pounds and 93 pence. Shall we do these two big floral prints? So we've got one ending in 42, and then one ending in 29. Yeah. This is brand new today. Oh, this would look lovely as a lining as well. Now we put together two Misha denim bundles, but then we left it up to you to choose your lining as it can be quite personal. Um, so you can choose some of your favorites, but just so you can see this next to denim. Nice, that's gonna look fancy, isn't it? We've got Liberty underneath here, but if you want to use your quilting weight fabrics, absolutely go for it with Philip Jacobs. Just $7.99, brand new in today. I know lots of them sold out in the first showing. Lots of them sold out in the first showing. Um, this is the brand new Philip Jacobs collection. Whenever we have a new Philip Jacobs collection, as I say, it's like cave. It just reminds me of cave, those beautiful color palettes um, and top quality quilting weight free spirit of fabric. Just $7.99. You could absolutely use this for dressmaking, even though we say quilting, fabrics, um, dressmaking, bag making, this would be beautiful. Even as we're going into the autumn, I think it's still lovely. Are we officially in autumn yet? Yes. When do the clocks change? When is it going to get darker? It's so dark now when we wake up. Bruce is saying he doesn't have any street lights in his village. Very dark. Um, but this is lovely, isn't it? Even though it's getting, you know, wintry, this is so lovely. We're already in autumn. We're already in autumn. So do, do our clocks change soon? Is that when it goes officially to winter? You could fuzzy cut this, couldn't you? And make yourself a really beautiful bouquet of flowers and, and uh, a plique onto uh, a, a white background or a black background. It's gonna really stand out. October, 13th of October, the clocks change. That's soon, that's really soon. It's next week. You're on holiday next week, where are you going? No, I said the 13th, didn't I? 
I, I said the 30th, yeah, 30th. Anyway, I don't know, isn't it, what I've said. 42. Um, where are you going on holiday, Hannah? <gasps> Amsterdam. Oh, my word, amazing. That'd be so good. Um, look at this. You've got here your greens. You've then got bright turquoise. Turquoise. You've then got your lovely bright pinks. Bruce and Hannah accidentally nearly went on holiday together. <laughs> nearly at the same place, same time. Who had to just, who had to change their plans? Bruce had to change his plans because he's Hannah said, oh, "You're not coming on holiday with me." Honey, honey, and Brucey baby, were you going with your partners? Yeah. So maybe it would have been awkward. Maybe, you know, you needed to change those plans, Brucey baby. <laughs> have you still, are you still keeping up with these pet names, calling each other Hanny? Brucey baby, trying. <gasps> trying to keep it going. <laughs> I'm trying. Look at all of these beautiful colors as well. I always look, love looking at the salvage to see what colors are used in here. So if you're doing coordinating colors for backgrounds or for cushion backs, for linings on bags, this is ideal. Love it. Right, we also have brand new fabric ending in 13, Hannah, BP UV 13. This is lovely to keep in your stash ready for spring. We know the prices of everything are going up at the moment. So whilst we're doing these great uh, brand new fabrics, get them in whilst you can. Pop them in vacuum bags ready for the, um, the spring. This is floating world. This is called Floating World. Westminster fibres, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Another lovely one that would be nice for, for um, little, I'm thinking like little wash bags again, to put all your, uh, your new <laughs> oils in that you're buying hundreds of, Hannah. I'm just gonna start making her own. That also comes in a blue colourway, which would look nice with your denim. If you are getting the pattern, from Made and Making. Um, we've got the cross back apron coming up in the next hour. I think this is my favorite. I love that almost cobalt blue, really bright blue background with your salmon pink flowers and white flowers. That is really nice. Something about having a dark dramatic background that just makes the, the flowers and the designs really pop. Seven pounds, 99 and a half meter. Purchase, remember, as much as you want, it's gonna be cut off the bolt to whatever size you want. So if you want a meter piece, that's two units, and it will be cut for you one continuous meter. Um, we just show you in half meters, but absolutely fill your boots if you want to make a dress out of this. If you want to use the, uh, the fabric for lining of the, the apron that we're wearing today, um, then you need two meters. It's a nice length this is actually. I think it's really handy to have, especially if you're in the craft room, if you're sewing, um, you're always covered in threads, but then if you have to quickly nip out, do the school run, or if you have to go to the shop, um, then you can still wear this and it doesn't feel like you're wearing your pinny. Do you know what I mean? Like, do wear something underneath, but it crosses over really nicely that it's a bum cover. Bruce is saying, don't you tell me what to do. If I want to be nuddy under this, I will. And he said that word, nuddy. <laughs> uh, 799 and a half metre. Yesterday, I was so annoyed. I thought, right, I need to go and post some parcels. So literally, it's a military operation to get Maisie in the car, sort everything, got there. And it was closed. It was a one-stop, like a normal convenience store. And they, they, they couldn't tell me, someone next door said, oh, I think it's like they don't have enough staff. And I was like, but it's a convenience store. This is really not convenient. So I had to yeah, go to the next postman. Maisie was really upset. She stood at the car going, bye, mommy. Like she was going to leave me because she wanted to go see the postman. <laughs> had a full drum. Everyone was like, I don't think she wants to get in the car. I was like, yeah, you're telling me. But I promised her we'd go to see the postman. <gasps> um, okay. Shall we do? This one is similar. In fact, is it the same print? I think it is. It is. It just looks so different in the lime. A bit retro. 
Still going to look nice with your denim, nice with linen. A nice pink linen would look nice with this, actually. If you know you don't feel confident doing the whole apron in this print, but you just want to do a flash of it in the lining or a flash of it with the pockets, that'd look really nice. Had a chat with Stuart Hillard on the phone yesterday. This would be another lovely one for his bags. Bags for Life book if you've got it. But even for patchwork, just seeing um, hints of this colour, don't just see it as a lime green. You could absolutely tie this in with lots of your cave. You could do this with your Dina designs. You could do this with solids. This is a nice solid bundle. That would work quite nicely together, do you think? £7.99. It wasn't meant for that, but I've just seen it. It was actually meant for the Dina designs. Um, but it works with some of these as well. So that one, N61, on your screen, 7.99 a half metre. We also have one other design which comes in two colourways. It comes in a blue and it comes in like a spearmint. We'll do the blue first. Again, I sound like a broken record, but yes, it's going to look amazing with denim. It's going to look really nice with our denim bundles that we have for the apron. 7.99 a half metre. Oh, they're going wild in the aisles, I'm being told. Get on pre-order whenever we have um, uh, denim bundles in. They sell out sometimes before we get to the demonstrations. So just be aware, some of them are the printed denims as well with the lovely flowers on or the different prints on. Um, the pattern's also very popular. Seven ninety nine and a half metre for your Jasmine Serene. Lovely one in the blue. Um, and another bright, gorgeous colour. You can tell Philip Jacobs often works closely with um, Cave Facet, part of the Cave Collective. So if you see these sort of designs, these colours, could have well been Philip Jacobs who designed Cave Fabric. Look at that. Nice. Uh, half metre, brand new in today, only 7 dollars on half metre. Purchase as much as you want off the bolt. Mm-hmm. 7.99. Uh, as I said earlier on, uh, Hannah and I were not partaking in the takeover show. So we decided to go rogue and do our own. Do our own. So Remember the Dina Design Bundle, there's still a couple of chances to get them. It should be over £40. You're saving, I think, about £12 on this. Really good. Remember, all of those half metres, they're brand new in today, um, out today by the looks of things. £47.94 is the price these should be. You're now looking at £5.99 and a half metre on brand new Dina Design fabric. Half metre of each. I know on that picture they look like fat quarters. They're not. At that price, they are half metre cuts. Absolutely brilliant value. Beautiful colours and great discount today if you want to make the most of those. Now, I had a look through the brand new Cave fabrics. I picked up my favourite. Um, now, we've got a limited edition bundle of the Paisleys. So, the blue, this one has sold out on its own. The only way of getting it now is in the Paisley bundle. It's everything that we now have. So if you love this brand new Cave Collective collection, um, this is it. This is everything we have. We've got the bundle of four Paisleys. As I said, the only way of getting the blue is in this bundle. One of my favorite prints, it's Kate's take on a Paisley print. So it's really fun. It's really vibrant. It's got the most stunning colors. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, grab these whilst you can. Had to pick these. Single figures. If you want to make the most of it, go for it. If you want to patch together these to be able to do the lining on your quit on your, uh, your your apron, you absolutely could. You could do a patchwork lining. It'd be amazing. You've got two meters here. Perfect. Um, just enough to be able to do the lining. Once everybody's checked out, we're down to three of these bundles. Oh my word. Right, in fact, let me open up the blue because this is the only chance you're going to get to see it. All of the others we can do by the half meter, but it's cave. It's super, super soft. This is Paisley Jungle. Look at that. There are so many elements to this. If you keep it as one big cut, then obviously you see these paisley sort of designs. But if you were to have this as EPP, if you were to have these as small half square triangles, there is so much to look at here. 
more of you have got this in your basket than we have availability. Um, best of luck if you want the last few. The only way of getting all of those cave paisleys from the new cave collection is here right now. 31.96 and that's about to go. Leave it with you. This one with the dark background, it's got a black background. We've got available by the half meter. Look at this color. Oh my word, I love it. That is so cool. It looks like Kaif has literally just done the most amazing doodling in between it, all of these paisley prints. So you've got gorgeous mixture of florals. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. This is why we had to pick it out as part of Hannah and I's takeover hour. It's not officially been scheduled or, you know, yeah, <laughs> marketed as it, but it kind of is. We picked them out. 7.99 and a half meter, last chance on these. Um, when we launched the new cave collection, virtually everything sold out. What we have is what we have, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to get more. This is the issue, isn't it? Free spirit fabrics or um, you know, larger um, print houses, they don't tend to reprint collections. No. 7.99, um, shall we do? the red remember the only way of getting them all is in that bundle seven pound 99 oh i like this you've got reds this is again paisley jungle beautiful deep claret red in the background or maroon in the background then you've got purples hot pinks greens that's really cool isn't it i'd like to see what delphine would do with this very arty isn't it Cave fabric, $7.99. She'd use this for some of her appliques, I'm sure. That bundle, the two meter bundle, will go such a lovely, go so, uh, such a long way. But even incorporating it into your curved quilt that we've got behind us, you don't need to just stick to the solids. You could have, like you've got your four different shades of pink here, you could have one that's got a cave. Your purple is another one that's got a cape. You, you could absolutely throw in just half a meter, just get one unit and do a few of them randomly and it would really be eye-catching, wouldn't it? Just mixing them with your solids, making them go a long way. Uh, that's coming up with the curvy tool, Creative Grids tool at 12 o'clock with Sarah, so stay tuned. It's the first time I met her and she's so lovely. You may have met her once before uh, on air and she's got the most amazing patterns as well. She's a brilliant teacher, so um, yeah, we'll meet her in a moment. Now we've also got, I think my favourite, this again would look really nice with the colours that are in the, the bundle coming up for the curvy quilt. This would look, again, really lovely for the lining with denim. Because look at the blues you've got here. Well, any fabric, it's going to go. If you've got a love for Kaif. Wow, wow, wow. Just $7.99, a half metre. Oh, right. The only way of getting this fabric is now in the bundle. The only way of getting the blue is now in the bundle. And there's only two bundles remaining. There's more of you have got it in your basket than availability. Only way of getting that bright one. Only way of getting the blue. We won't be able to make the bundle again, obviously, because we haven't got any more of the blue paisley. Sold out. Okay. I've also put together two other bundles of two of my favourite cave fabrics from this collection. So I've got the pink... And I've also got the navy blue. Um, should we do the pink first? This one comes with your half a meter of cave. It's Philip Jacobs again, so it is really beautiful. Designing for cave, stunning print. Look at that. Now, just to avoid, um, you know, any. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? When you look on the website and you're looking at little thumbnail pictures it's hard to pick out what are corresponding colors so we've done the hard work for you so to avoid any mistakes we've done it and we've done it right so you have got here your combination of your two pinks which are going to complement perfectly you've got here azalea and coral so azalea is this one and coral is this one and they go perfectly so you get two half meters it ties in beautifully um now as i said we're getting jealous of all the managers take over discounts so one of these solids is coming to you whoo, for free 
We shouldn't be doing that with the Cave Bundle. You're getting one of the solids for free at £11.78. Bundle, brand new bundle for £11.78. Obviously, when they're gone, they're gone. We can't get more of the Cave. Um, these are lovely, aren't they? Meter and a half, what are you thinking of making? If you want to do some cushions, if you want to do a beautiful big bag, lining and straps maybe. Just a piano keys border would look lovely. Lots of little strips of this would be really nice. You could make um, some patchwork, absolutely get involved with your patchwork, make lots of big half square triangles with this, with your solids, mix and match them in. They are lovely. £11.98. You're getting half a metre for free. In a cave bundle, discount, uh huh. Yep. I tell you what, anything with the word cave involved, you never talk about discounts to you. So enjoy. Single figures on this bundle, it will sell out. Uh, a metre and a half of fabric. Remember the Paisley Jungle sold out. If you do love cave and, and the brand new collection, Oh gosh, it's going to, yeah, it's going to be your last few chances. Don't get me wrong, um, K tends to stick to a certain colour palette, which you'll be able to mix and match with stash that you already have, with new collections that are coming, but um, this particular print, really, really nice. Hannah and I went through all of the different shades of pink um, to pull out, to be able to pick which colours to go for. I mean, you could have gone down the green route or the blue. Could have gone down a maroony route. Six of these remaining. Want to make as many as we possibly could. Oh my word, there's over 20 of you there. We'll leave it with you. Battle it out in, um, in the baskets. I, say, I always have the image of me stealing somebody's strawberries in Sainsbury's out of their basket whenever I say, you know, just battle it out amongst yourselves. There's more of you have got it in your basket. Um, don't go do that around people's supermarket in the supermarket. People don't like it, apparently. Uh, and I said, well, it's not yours until you check out, you know. How would you feel, Bruce? If I came up to you and started nicking things out your trolley in the supermarket. Yeah, he says, well, to be honest, it would be my fault because I hadn't checked it out in time. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, can you see why this is my favourite? I love. It looks three-dimensional. It's so bold. It's, oh, it's like the most amazing piece of artwork. And look, woo, taking that half metre off for you. Beep. Go through the check it, the the check the checkout. Uh, already single figures. People were already checking out before we bought it onto you. Um, all of that for eleven pound ninety seven. If you checked out already, don't panic. You'll also get it at that price. Your card isn't charged till midnight tonight. Everything you purchase. There's only four of these bundles left. Love them. Well, when do you ever discount cave bundles? Anything with the word cave. I know it's the solids that's discounted, but still, fabulous. Yeah. The solid bundle that you're meant to do with Dina Designs, because uh, it was slightly different, yeah. It's a really nice bundle. Let's do it anyway. Um, now, we were supposed to do this as a complimentary bundle to the Dina Designs, but it didn't quite work as well as Hannah wanted. I'll show it you with the Dina Designs. Look, you can make up your mind. This is the Dina Design complimentary bundle. Um, oh, sorry, no. This is the Dina Design bundle, remember, which you're getting all three meters. Um, it should be over £47. It's 5 99 a half metre. You need to check out. So, that's all of these. You're getting all of these fabrics, 35 89 Amazing price. So, I think it does go, you know, because look, you've got your lilacs. Hannah's... Uh, you've got the greens, goes with the trees, slightly different shade of orange, but it, you know, it still works, doesn't it? So, Hannah's saying, do you know what, I don't care, I'm discounting it anyway, because it, it doesn't work as well as she wanted it to work. It does, it works. I'm telling you here, I can see with my own eyes in front of me the colours, I'll show you as well. Problem is, I know we're going to have people missing out on that big Dina design bundle. Look, that looks lovely with those. If you can, grab yourself your complementing bundle. The complementing colours, we never discount Rose and Hubble fabrics necessarily because they're always on the website. There are flagship, you know, staple solid fabrics today discounted to 9 dollars 
great one for your stash anyway great one for your stash and uh, you don't need to get that to go with the dean designs but it does it does work <laughs> i was like Do you know what it actually does work doesn't it yeah, yes it does 9.99 grab it whilst you can that's another great stash builder remember these are all half meters what colors have you put in here then that looks like chartreuse yeah, chartreuse, light lilac, and this one's called salmon. Very, very nice. All these, all three half meters, less than ten pounds today. Look, it goes really well. It does. How does that? I'm really regretting crashing it. I didn't need to crash it, did I? I just thought the orange was different, but no, it works. Even with the blue light, it looks nice. Really nice. <laughs> Dina Design Bundle does go with it. Does go if you want it. It's normally 47, where it should be 47. These are brand new in today and out today by the looks of things. £35.89. All of you beautiful fabrics. There's lots of these that are now very, very limited individually. So it's the only time that you're going to be able to make the most of it. Right, we're going to get Sarah on with the uh, apron. Can I just remind you of one of the most amazing deals today? Um, Hayley, lovely Hayley Bryant has um, given away a huge bundle. It's going off the screen, it's so big. You've got over £100 worth of goodies today with the 680 plus. If you're umming and ahhing about it, I understand it's not something that you may just do, you know, uh, a purchase willy-nilly on this if you haven't already done your research, but you've seen this machine day in, day out. You'll see it in the next hour with Sarah. Um, if you've got any questions about it, of course we can answer them. That's your free bundle today. And remember, you're also getting your 680 sewing machine, 680 plus, with your split payments. Five split payments, just £249.80. pence. That's until midnight tonight. Absolutely make the most of that staff takeover. Um, this is the machine that we're going to be using in the demo with Sarah after the break. It's the apron that I'm wearing. It's the apron that's on the mannequin to the side of me. We're going to meet lovely Sarah, who's the designer of the pattern, and we're going to talk through some of these key techniques to make your cross back apron. Plus, we've got the most amazing denim bundles. Stay where you are. Even if you're a bag maker, these are going to be brilliant stash builders. We are back with Sarah right after this. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes, all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. 
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Um, just so you know, we left the graphics live during the break. There's quite a few of you who've got it in your basket. I'm so pleased you're making the most of this deal. Um, the machine deal is available. Sarah's going to be using it during the hour. To be fair, I've, I, I've used this machine and known this machine for the last... How many years? Good few years, about four or five years. So it's been like the flagship machine for myself and John, those of you that were with us the days of sewing quarter. It's always one of the most famous machines. So fingers crossed I'll be able to answer any questions that you have. If there is something that I don't know, then I can find out for you. So if you're umming and ahhing about it today or humming and hawing about it today, then please, please, please make the most of it whilst you're getting your hundred pounds worth of goodies. And it's really it is good goodies as well you've got fabrics you've got patterns you've got tools you've got spools you've got all sorts in there someone did message saying it is humming and hawing <gasps> my life is changed today Bruce is saying don't be swayed so easily he still thinks it's something in our ring right that is the deal from Hayley it's only for today or while stocks last until midnight tonight we can offer over 100 pounds worth of goodies with it so if you were thinking about getting that machine anyway <laughs> humming and hawing go for it right this is gorgeous. I know how popular this is going to be. The quality of these patterns from Made and Making is amazing. There are fantastic photography. There are video tutorials um, along the way as well. And I love how this is presented because how many times do you have a pattern that then doesn't quite go back in its packet? It ends up all crumpled up. You end up being like, what on earth is this? I'm never gonna use it again. So the fact that this is all, look, it's got the lovely little Pack it so you can keep all your packaging in, uh, all your patterns in, your instructions all nice and neatly. You can make one for your sewing room, you can make one for your gardening, you can make one for your kitchen, for your cooking, you can make ones for friends. And those of you that are dressmakers or starting dressmaking, I think it's really daunting the whole thing of getting something to fit somebody or fit yourself I'm forever fluctuating in size so it's nice to be able to make something you know that you're going to keep and you're going to be able to wear and you don't need to worry about it being particularly fitted um, it would look really really nice actually I've just put it on and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a pinny or an apron does it because it doesn't have any fastenings either it's simply over your head and crossed at the back 
um, and it's got a good crossover at the back as well it's a bum cover up um, but if you do want to give it a little flash like Sarah here woohoo you have got fancy lining so Hannah was envisioning this with a stripy top exactly like the model there um, so yeah there you go perfect with the stripy top pair of tights or leggings you obviously do remember to, to put clothes on under it it's not a dress it is you do need to put clothes on not like Bruce who's deciding to do his gardening with uh, in the nude with just his crossback apron the neighbours have seen some sights of our Bruce. Right, um, so in your instructions, in your pack, remember you get it all in this lovely folder so you can keep all your patterns lovely and neat for, for when you're coming to reuse it. You've got step by step, full instructions, diagrams, photographs as well. Now there's lots of different options of fabrics that you can use and we'll talk to Sarah about different options because I like the idea, check. That looks really nice, really, really nice. Um, you're going to need two metres of your outer fabric and two metres of your lining fabric. And then your pattern is on really lovely quality pattern paper. It's all there, look, different dash lines for different sizes as well. So you can make them for friends, you can make them for gifts as well. Uh, they're all there on one big pattern piece small, medium, large and extra large so you are going to be able to make them for everybody. It isn't just our video obviously that we, pre we, we record all of our shows, there are lots of also online help and content from Sarah with made and making and all of her social medias uh, are there. Um, those of you that haven't met Sarah before, you're going to love her, you're going to love her and she's such a fantastic teacher and obviously she's the designer of this, this pattern so if you've got any questions for how I get them in. I like a pattern that, you know, it's nice when we actually meet the designer and get to see exactly how, how she's, she's put it together. Um, so it all comes really nice and neatly in the folder and look at how easy. I am the worst at putting packaging back together, as you all know. So, so to be able to, to keep this all nice and neat and keep it nice and safe for when you come to use it again year upon year. Right, now, can we get to these denim bundles as well? They are already going on the website. So, there are some lovely um, patterned ones as well, but we'll start with the light blue. So this is obviously for the outer, and then you've got two meters of any of your fabrics that you have at home. We've got Liberty options. We saw some beautiful Dina designs. We also were thinking about patchworking. You can get really creative with your lining. You could put your contrasting fabric on the outer pockets if you want, however you wish to do it. So two meters of your lighter denim, like the one that I'm wearing today. If you love this one, um, I've got the different one, haven't I? Oh, in fact, actually, yes, it's correct. Yeah, 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 it's correct. Sorry. Um, right, so this is as close as we've got to the one that I'm wearing. So if you love that light blue, this is your four ounce washed, uh, washed denim, two meters, so four units continuous. There is a lot of denim there as well because these are wide. Um, whether you're using it for this apron or whether you are stash building whenever we get denim bundles in i know bag makers particularly um, go crazy uh, it's going to be a bit difficult but i will try and show you <laughs> how much fabric you have here cat you might need to give me a hand folding this one back up but look ah oh, two meters Sometimes it's a bit deceiving when it's all folded up. It's loads of fabric. Take advantage when we get these fabric bundles in because there are now less than 20 of these now. It's $22.99. There are oodles and oodles of your lightweight denim fabric. Um, enough for the outside of your crossover apron. Uh, or any other project, any other project, remember? You need to get your pattern separately anyway. So if you've got this in mind, there are now less than 15 of those. They're gonna be really, really popular. Sorry, cat, my folding's really bad. I'm just going to pass it over. Thank you, my darling. Um, I've got medium colour as well, which ends in 71, am I right? Um, really nice. Your medium blue, again, it is still your four ounce medium blue. It's £22.99. See, I like this. I really like this. I think this is going to look really nice with some of those Dina design fabrics that we had. Or let me just flash up a bit of Liberty. Ooh! Lining potential. 
Remember, you need two meters for the outside and two meters for your lining. Um, this is two meters, by the way. We've already bundled it for you, so you don't need to worry about adding more units to your order. This is enough to be able to make the extra large size, which, just so you know, is bust measurement 40 to 42 inches. So your size is your smaller 34 to 36 inches bust. Um, medium 36 to 38, large 38 to 40, and extra large is 40 to 42. We'll talk about sizing as well because it's a, it's, it is a loose fitting, it is a loose fitting. Okay, so I've also got a final plain one which is your dark blue. All 100% cotton, all denim, denim, true denim. Um, I was trying to think of uh, the way to say that, true denim, not just denim denim, as opposed to the colour denim, it is true denim. This would be nice. You, I'm thinking now of loads of different personalising you can do. I know some of our viewers who have got real fancy embroidery machines. Or just doing some hand stitching. You could do some um, red work on this, couldn't you? Or sashko on it. You could do some hand stitching on top of it. Amazing. I think this would be really, really nice. Some uh, red, maybe some fancy Christmas fabrics like um, you could do a fancy Christmas apron, couldn't you? Maybe with some Liberty. Uh, add some trim onto it. I mean, th this is what's great about it. It's kind of like the skeleton. If you want to then embellish it however you want, I think it's an apron that you're going to make many of. Nice one to wear for a craft fair or maybe you do classes. You're always covered in threads and things, aren't you? But then if you do need to uh, nip out or if you need to nip to the shop, if you do lots of cooking as well, perfect. Right. Sorry, we will get through all these. Don't worry, we'll give Sarah all the time that she needs. I just want to make sure everybody is aware of these denim bundles as whenever we get them in, very popular. Quarter of the stock of this has already gone on pre-order. Um, hang on, why is this 14.99? <gasps> oh, I tell you what, I'm not surprised so many of you spotted these on pre-order. That is a bargain. Can I show you how much fabric you're getting for $14.99? They're a lightweight denim, four ounce denim. This is going to look lovely, printed with that check on the top. Children's clothes making, adult clothes making. That is a lot of denim. Weekend bag, handbag. That is so good. You wouldn't need to worry about putting, uh, changing your needle for this either, I don't think. It's, it's lightweight, it's, it's gonna be really, it's gonna be really easy to sew with. Um, but that's lovely, isn't it? And the check, that's gonna look really fab. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. I'd stock up on that whilst you can. Whether you're making your crossover apron or whether you've got, um, you know, lots of bag patterns, or other dressmaking patterns in your stash. Grab that whilst you can, that is a bargain. Um, I don't know whether <laughs> any other of the bundles will be 14 99 just so you know. That surprised us all. Ah, gosh, make the most of that. Something, I don't know whether that is, yeah. Thank you, Kat, she's like, don't worry, I'm here, I'm here. This one's floral, is it this one with the boot? Mm -hmm. Little roses. This one, perfect. Right, we're just gonna roll with this. Um, it's also 14.99. It is also 14.99, definitely make the most of that. Love this. Uh, there are now, how many bundles left? Loads have gone. Just doing a stock update once everybody's checked out, literally a couple left. Oh no, I think there's about 20 people missing out at the moment. If you, if you have got it in your basket, please don't wait to see the rest of them. Just grab what you can. Grab what you can. It's worth keeping your eye on the website this hour, seeing if anything becomes available and grabbing what you can. They are really lovely. It's the first time I've even seen this. This print. I've never even seen. I think sometimes I've done a few shows where they've been on the trolley and um, Kat or whoever's on, uh, on floor says, oh, there's no point even bringing them out because they've already sold out before they've come to air. So grab them. This one has got little white flowers. They'll all be perfect for this crossover apron. All be perfect. If you want to make a few of them, 
definitely get yourself a few bundles because look at the price again. This is another one that's $14.99. No wonder these are always so popular. Is this normally the price? Gosh, that is really good. Really good. Problem is, I never even get uh, a look in at prices. So we look at designs and then Hannah sort of tells me they're sold out. So grab them. We've got really good quantity of these today. Finally, we've stashed up, we've stocked up on our stash. <laughs> $14.99, lovely little daisy print. Very nice, very nice. They're all gonna go, it's a matter of who gets them. I've got one with really big white flowers. I just want to make you familiar with what we've got and then fill your boots, fill your boots, then we'll be over to Sarah. This one is really nice. Oh, I can't make up my mind which one I want now. It's gonna be a matter of what's available, isn't it? Grab what you can, this has got the large flowers. They're all lovely quality. They're all gonna work really well for the apron. Um, cotton, lightweight denim, linen, needle cord. Hello, that's gonna look nice in needle cord as well, isn't it? Have a look through your stash, see what you've got. Um, definitely make the most of your denim. Sorry, I know how busy it is. I can't even give you stock updates, it's constantly changing. Uh, let's do, this one has got uh, light blue flowers on. This is the penultimate one, by the way. We're nearly done, we've got through. This is my worry. We've got big quantities, we had loads of bundles, and yet still, I think that we're gonna see people missing out on denim bundles today. This one's never even been to air. It's brand new in today. We've honored the price of the other bundles for you. Remember, you're getting four units in that big bundle for $14.99, enough to be able to make the extra large crossover apron size. So if you're making the small one, bearing in mind this is wide, this is a lot of fabric here, um, you, you might even have some left over to make some little accessories to go with. Hair scrunchies. Backpack, little bag, purses. I mean that's a lot of fabric there for $14.99 isn't it? Oodles, oodles and oodles. Final one. This is really fun. Nothing else quite like this. It's denim again. It's your two meter bundle but this time it has got your lovely bright floral prints. <gasps> this is this is going to fly out. Look at that. Oh, half the stock went on pre-order. You already found it. Uh, these bundles are for the outside of your apron. You'll need a further two meters for the lining. We're talking about using your stash. Um, I mean, you could patch together if you want. You need two meters. So you could use your quilting weight cottons, two meters for the outside, two meters for the inside, all for $14.99. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant for all that fabric. There are some liberties on the website. I'm really conscious of the time. I really want to uh, to speak to Sarah uh, because I love this apron. There's there's an option as well. You can see in the middle there it, how it looks in linen and it's beautiful. I think this is going to be one of the most used patterns in your workroom. I'm just going to shimmy this iron slightly across. Sarah, it's so lovely to meet you. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Morning, Sorry <laughs> that this is taking so long to get through, but I just wanted to make that clear because they're well, really good value. Gorgeous denims. I'm loving that rosewood. One. that dark dark blue on the lighter nice. background very nice very very nice yes. and the pan itself well, you can use lots of different fabrics can't you yeah so this all started out because um, basically you get loads of threads on you when you're in your sewing room so yeah. how do you stop yeah. that you make yourself an apron and you whip it off so um, beautiful in denims, beautiful in linens, and actually linens layered over some big dresses, mm. chunky boots in the winter, mm -hmm. thick tights, that can look really nice. Uh, needle cords look really good, but don't wear it when you're in the sewing room. Oh no, that is good. <laughs> that's just feel like, yeah, like a magnet for those threads. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it just works with everything. And it's really lovely to have that cheeky lining yes. showing through on the inside. And, and could I put it on the outside of the pockets if I wish? Yeah, absolutely. You've got it so as a cheeky lining. Aligned, these pockets are lined oh, nice. and you could flip it over. Um, you could also, if you didn't have enough in your sash to do the hole on one, you could maybe have the centre front, you know, the front on one fabric and then join the two sides for the back, line it in oh. a different fabric, put all your favourites in there. It's like wearing nice underwear. You know what's in there, but others don't. Oh, you could do all patchwork. Yeah, the, all could. the front could just yeah. be all big patchwork. 
Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. I'm into really patchwork jackets at the moment. So this would be really cool as a patchwork apron. Um, can I talk to you about sizing? Yeah. So small to extra large. It does have... It's got loads of ease room. in it. Yeah. It's got a one and a half centimetre seam allowance. So there's okay. quite a little, there's a bit of extra gain from it in that. And the fact that it crosses over at the back mm -hmm. means that it's got extra give in it as well. And so, it does cross over yeah. really nicely, doesn't it? You can so you've see got that. a nice crossover, which but it gives you a little bit more ease and a bit more movement room as mm -hmm. well. I love it. It looks gorgeous in the linen, and it's it's just so easy to wear. Um, you know, if you've if you are in, in a if you're in a, in a job where you're moving around a lot, this is so comfortable to wear, isn't it? I still look and feels quite smart in yeah. it actually. Yeah, yeah, it's got it's got done away yeah. with the pinny feel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fabulous. And doesn't have all of the the, the difficult fastenings and things. You don't need to worry about D rings or ties or things. Talking about um, the patterns. Yes. So obviously you're a sewer yourself yes. so you know what it is that we need and what's useful as yeah. a sewer yeah. i love the fact that it's in a folder thank you it's, it's perfect because I, i'm guessing that is the reason the amount of times you get a dressmaking pattern that's just shoved into well, a I'm packet i'm always keeping you know like when you get i don't know if i can say amazon but you get all your cardboard things come yeah. through i keep them all and store my patterns in them yeah because you want something chunky but the thing about this pattern is that because i come from a teaching background this is really covering off it's explained in my vocabulary yeah. not a dressmaking pattern vocabulary right so if you're an absolute beginner i think it's much more user friendly sometimes than a traditional pattern might be and if you aren't a beginner you're going to whiz through this in absolutely moments to be honest it's such a simple make but it's brilliant for a beginner brilliant perfect and it's one you're going to use again and again and again and inside so you've got your full instructions which you say you've got really fantastic um got the photos yeah. to really help explain uh, when we come to do the strap bit so it's a lot easier to see than just a black and white drawing mm -hmm. Um, and we've also recorded on the trickiest bit, which is the straps. We've recorded a little video, um, which we've posted on oh, YouTube, great. and there's a link to it in the pattern as well. So if that bit really gets you. Um, but people can email me if they get stuck with anything. I'll reply. I love an email. You're on social media as well, aren't on you? On social media as well, so they can, yeah, get through to us that way as well. Fantastic. All the details will be on the pattern uh, of how to contact Sarah as well. So it's, it's amazing, isn't it? I love this pattern. I think it's going to be one of those that you can use again and again. We'll get going, but we can talk to Sarah and get to know her a bit more as we go through. So what elements are you going to show us okay. today? So because it is so beginner friendly, what I wanted to get across was you've got your big paper pattern um, that has got all your sizes on it. And as you've alluded to, you can make loads of these. Yeah. But that's going to be the best gift for Christmas type yeah. thing. So um, if you don't want to cut up your paper pattern, tape it up to your patio doors. You have got a natural light box, tape it up, trace it off, and then you don't have to cut up and re-stick back together your paper pattern. So uh, if you don't print it off at home and you buy one, using your bifold doors or whatever doors you've got, big door, big window in your house as a natural light box is an absolute win. Yeah, so that's, the first oh, that's thing. a good idea. Um, there is very little in the way of um, anatomy on this pattern, but what we have got to remember, um, if you're a beginner, is really pay attention to things like grain lines and lining it up on your fabric. Okay. Um, so um, if I just take that one off. The top. So when you say anatomy, you mean like I mean like all of the notches um, and yeah, things like that, different that, notes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All those little bits of um, yeah, it might be the wrong word, anatomy. People but, but transfer what is on. There. Yes, exactly. Okay. So when you're pinning your pattern onto your fabric, you've got these things called grain lines, and they need to go with the straight of the fabric. And if you pop your pins there as a beginner first, rather than going around the outside, you will, straight, you will stay true to your fabric grain. Okay. And you want to do that because when you have your fabric, you want to make sure you've got the, the taut bit, which is the length of the fabric going down the pattern. That's your right. veins. Okay. So make sure you pin that first. And I mean, these are techniques that are transferable. That like this is something you should get used to doing anyway. Oh, this is like you like fundamentals. Yeah. But because it's such a beginner's pattern, beginners uh, might not know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I've cut various bits and bobs out to show you. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to show you was about the pocket. So, if I just um, take this pattern. These are finished beautifully, by the way. They're finished in the seam. It's professional exactly. things like this, which I'm going to say, I had a, a pattern on a few weeks ago with Adam Brooks, and it was a beautiful book, but he made it and he said, they didn't, I don't know why, they patched the pockets on and didn't finish them in the seam. So he was saying, it's such uh, a simple thing to do and it gives you a beautiful finish, doesn't it? Makes life a lot easier as well. Really? Yeah. 
Amazing. <laughs> so it isn't going to make it more difficult to do this? No, 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 no. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. So when you cut your pattern pieces out for your pocket, you're going to notice you've got these curves going on. And what can happen with a curve is you can get a bit of stretch because you've cut across basically the bias of the fabric. So when you come to sew your pocket together, my top tip is always to start in this point up here, which on this turned through one I've got here, you can see, so this one's the right way out. And so this is the, as you're gonna sew it, wrong, right sides together. So you're gonna start up here and you're gonna sew around here first, and then you'll flip it over and you're gonna sew from this corner point and come down to here. Okay. okay, won't matter that you've stitched it from different sides. The most important thing is that you've kept your corner point really nice. And sometimes when the fabrics don't line up or you stitch them together, you get a little bit of slippage. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that that's gonna go down to this side, which is gonna get trapped into the side seam of the garment. And you're not gonna end up with any puckering going on around here. Oh, nice. Because the fabric's moved. So if you start up in the top corner, come down to the side and come round and down to the side, you'll end up with a lot better finish. Brilliant. Um, and then when you've turned it through and you've got this, um, we want to add a nice little bit of top stitch and we want to give it a nice finish. We want to stop the fabric rolling out. So we're going to top stitch along the top edge. And um, what you're going to do is you're not going to reverse. Okay. So if you're a beginner, you might just always instinctively think, I've uh -huh. got to do every seam with a reverse mm -hmm. at the beginning and at the end. But on a top stitch, you don't want to do that. You want to get a really nice finish. It could look messy, couldn't yeah. it, if you, if you go back and forth. Especially, I mean, you've used a, a coordinating thread with denim. You could use, like, one of those gold, you know, like, <gasps> on your jeans, your yeah. traditional gold, uh, like yellow, yellow weight. Yes. Or top a stitching red, thread. Like you were saying <gasps> that's a chico. Red would be lush. Yes. Red adornment. Especially lovely. with that, um, the colourful denim as well. That but as a beginner, really practice your top stitching just with a matching thread. Yes, yeah, just use a matching thread. Don't highlight it. Highlight okay. it when you, you know, when yeah. you're there. But when you start, just make sure you've got long threads at the start and whip them both through to the back of the pocket. Right. Use a sewing needle, just yeah. put them both through to the back and tie them off like they, like they would in the olden days, yeah. you know? And then you're not going to have any bulk or any business that you don't really want to see on okay. the top. And remember when you're stitching with a top stitch that um, to get that lovely stitched look, you want a slightly longer stitch length. Right, what do you lengthen it to? So most machines, um, so if it's computerized and it's got the old digital thing, it'll be like maybe 2.2, 2.5. Um, I tend to go up to about a three, three and a half. Mm -hmm. But just do a little practice on your machine and see what looks really nice with the thread you've got, basically. Well, you could do some of the decorative stitching, couldn't you? You could. I hadn't even thought of that. Because on the 680 this Plus, I think there's a little spool and a little scissors, isn't yes. there? So you could could do like your spool and scissor decorative design remember there's the deal on the 680 plus just to remind you yeah mm. and that, i've just been using that outside and it's a very lush machine oh, i like nice. that a lot um, yeah so you could definitely do a lovely decorative stitch yeah um so yeah so nice bit of top stitching across the top of the pocket and then what we're going to do flapping lots of bits of paper around is you're going to start stitching your garment together but you're going to put the pocket on first so if I just lay this out in front of me. Now this is something where we give a measurement in the pattern, but I really would suggest that you pin it on and kind of hang it up and just make sure that you really like it because our arms are all different lengths. Yeah. So we suggest that you have your pocket at about, I think it's 36 centimetres. Yeah, 36 centimetres down from um, the bottom of the um, the shoulder point there. This is right. This is rather. about right. This is yeah. Just, yeah. So it's good for me, but I might have longer arms than somebody else. So what I would suggest you do is just pin that pocket on where you think it should go according to the pattern, and then just hold it up to yourself and just think, is that where I want yeah. it? Yeah. Some people like the pockets a bit higher up because uh -huh. they want to put things in that they're going to get. Some people just want to rest their hands in them. Yeah. And you know, so everyone's different. But the lovely thing is, is you're going to pop the pocket exactly where you want it. You've top stitched around the, the top edge. So you haven't top stitched around the curve bit yet, because that's what you're going to do to actually sew it onto the front of your um, apron. Right. OK. So when you're top stitching, you only go across the top edge and then you're going to stitch it on coming down here right um, and that's yeah and then that edge all goes off into the side seam of the garment. Is so this still really classed neat. as a patch pocket or not then? No. Well, it's like an inseam patch it, pocket. Yeah. yeah. Really I don't know clever. What, You're learning some lovely techniques as well with this pattern. As a beginner, you're still getting some real 
great sort of skill yeah. building techniques. Yes, yeah. and I mean, we've had loads of people make this in our classes and they all turn out amazing. It's really nice that everyone can achieve a really good finish. So, yeah. Hannah's decided, by the way, that you're going to be the technique queen here yeah. at Sewing <laughs> Street. I just love sharing all the things that, you know, like, you know when you make something for the first time and then you know the next time you make it is going to be better because you learn along the way. <sighs> I want to try and give as much of that back out because then everyone gets a better finish straight away. And that's what oh. you do in a class. So this is like a class online. Yeah, well, you've got your quilting. Baffa, isn't it amazing? She says, I love that quilt behind you, Vic. Um, that's coming up at 12 o'clock. We've got the quilting, we've got dressmaking, we've got loads of techniques to learn for Sarah. Brilliant. Right, so what you would do is you would stitch your pockets on and then you're just going to basically join all of your front panel pieces together and all of your lining panel pieces together. Hannah so. really likes you. <laughs> she keeps saying in my ear, and it's sounding a little bit creepy now. Hannah. A little bit creepy. So she's like, I really like Sarah. She says, Oh, I'm, I'm now going to. I think Sarah's going to be scared of me now. Oh, by the way, if you do want pattern paper, this is back in stock. We'll do it in a second. That's really lovely pattern paper as well. That's oh, really, yeah. Right. Okay. So when you've, um, I'm not going to show you how to sew the side seams because I think that's relatively straightforward. But um, when you've sewn it all, both bits together, you're going to lay it down right sides together. So maybe this is the kind of project that if you've got a slightly larger dining table might be quite advantageous, yeah. but it doesn't matter if you haven't got one. Um, and then literally we're just going to match them right sides together. So this is obviously, you can see here the scoop of the front. And then mm -hmm. if I just bring this around here, you get a bit of a funky shape going on. So we've got this going on. Okay, I'll just show you one sort of one and a half bits of it. So at this stage, we're going to sew it together, but we're not going to sew the top of the straps. Okay. okay. Because we want to um, be able to cross it over. This is the funky technique. So when you sew it together at this stage, you're going you're going to leave the top of all the straps not stitched. Okay. So where okay. do you start then? So if Where I was coming from this direction, yeah. I'd be coming about from about here yeah. all the way around and just up here. And there's a lovely picture in the pattern. Of where to start and stop. How to go around the corner. Okay. Okay. And so you've come around here and then you're going to restart here and just go around the bottom of the neckline. Right. And then you'll carry on and do exactly the same on the other side. At the edges, if I bring this up. Do you over, pin all this in place? Would you pin this as a beginner? I would definitely pin as a yeah. beginner. Yeah. yeah. I'm very lazy now as a slightly more competent yeah. sewer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just give yourself the best chance. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Well, it's a big piece of fabric, isn't it? It is a big piece of fabric. Um, so yeah, and so um, you're just going to leave the top 10 centimetres of the straps okay. unstitched. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I'm with right. you. I'm following. Right. So you need to do a little bit of talking for a minute while I do a teeny bit of sewing. <gasps> okay. Well, should we do this? Fabulous pattern paper then. I've never seen this before. Is this new to us? Dress making pattern paper. How much do you get? 10 metres. And it's a metre width as well. So um, let me unwrap a bit because I want to... Have we got an open one here? Cat? I've opened it. I'm sorry. So, oh, this is lovely quality. I want you to be able to see. Um, maybe if... If I show you. So... You can trace this through without using a tracing wheel, which is brilliant. So if I get the, I'm going to pinch your pattern, if that's okay. Thank you. I just want to lay it on top. So if you're making, if you're doing yourself a bit of a production line, <gasps> Hannah, this is what I should have used. Remember when I was doing my production line of aprons? Because they were all fiddly with funny ties, whereas this would be absolutely brilliant. Anybody who's starting out, you'll get a bit addicted to making these. So the pattern paper is 10 metres, you'll be able to make loads of aprons. It's difficult to see, but it's because I haven't got an overhead here. Let me um, swing this to the side. Mm, I can see really, really clearly that I can see all of my markings. There you go. Um, so to trace it out without a tracing wheel, it's really, really lovely quality pattern paper. So if you're going to do the different sizes, Sarah, I know you're sewing, but yeah. um, why was it that you said you like this paper? Because it's um, it's quite tough. It feels like tissue paper, yeah. but it actually feel, it works a bit stronger. Yeah. It's not like the, the tissue paper that you get in the dressmaking patterns where it feels like it rips, rips. the whole time. It's got strength, but it's got the trans... Is it translucent where you can see, see through? through. Not good with words. I'm good with sewing, I'm not good with <laughs> words. 
but they it does it is really really strong actually so it isn't gonna rip when you're you, you, you're drawing on it and you're uh, you're pulling it about but if you are doing different sizes I would recommend getting this definitely because even if you're thinking oh well I'm gonna make it just for myself um, I would still get hold of this and draw it out for the sake of $8.99 it's also covered in our one post and packaging so if you've bought the pattern already add it to your order you're not gonna pay any more for the fact that you know it's a bit of an awkward shape to post isn't it uh, you won't pay any more for that um, it's all under one PMP hundreds of these have gone in the past we have got them back in but we don't have quite as many have we oh we got a good quantity good, good, really good quantity there's lots of you who've got these in your basket um, if you want one grab them whilst you can you've got a 10 meter roll uh, 10 meter, 10 meter roll, £8.99. I do think it's worth doing that and not cutting up your pattern. Absolutely. Patterns are quite expensive, but they're expensive for a reason because there's a lot of work that goes into them. But if you, you know, like you say, if everyone fluctuates their shape or want to make it for other people, you know, it's just nice to trace it off. It doesn't take that long. No, absolutely. And then you can keep them all in your folder. There's room in there. Keep them all in there. Mark on them, you know, your different sizes. And you can absolutely um, keep them all in your nice folder all ready to go. £8.99, you'll be able to do loads of patterns with that roll. It's not just for this pattern, though. Think about books. If you've got um, a, a bag, a bag book, for example, that's got all of the patterns in it, you need to trace out your, your templates, your designs. That's a really good one to do for bag makers as well. Um, everybody who's got them in the basket, please do make sure you're checking out. Please make sure you're checking out. I'll mention that again in a bit. Just so you know, also, the all the patterned denims have now gone. The plain denims are available, so if you like the one that I'm wearing, don't forget, you can, you can jazz it up if you want. You could add some hand embroidery onto it. Maybe you've got an embroidery machine. Use your fancy stitches on your 680 plus. Um, of course, you could do fancy lining if you want. You could do lots of different things. Sorry, yeah, there. I was going to show you my fancy lining. And I was like, what were you about to do then? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, back to Sarah. How are you getting up with the sewing? I'm almost there. Did you say it's a, a centimetre and a half seam allowance? Centimetre and a half seam allowance. Just got to whiz down the outside. Oh, it's a good speedy machine, this one is. I think it's about 1,200 stitches per minute. Don't quote me on that one, but... Certainly yeah. speedy, but we like speed. Speed is good because we can show you the important bits. Um, have you ever heard that you remind anybody of Sally Geeson? Who's she? Should She's from um, Christine. Christine says, "Morning, Vicky and Sarah. I love this April apron and the floral denim. Uh, I've I've been watching Sarah and trying to think of who she reminds me of. It's finally came to me. Sally Geeson from Leicester's House TV program, probably before your time, though, Vicky. She's an actress. I'm going to be googling." I've got no idea. I do sometimes get compared to um, when I had shorter hair, somebody out of Greece. What's the one with the short yes! curly hair? Yes, Rizzo. That's it. Yes, you yeah. do look like I her. I have been told that before now, but not Sally Geeson. That's a new one to look up. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and I have got to say hello. Can I say hello? Mm -hmm. There's a lovely lady I met last week on retreat called Heather Vickers. And um, she was telling me what a fan of Sewing Street she is. And I was like, I'm oh. on there next week, I'll say hello. Oh, really? Where did you meet her, did you say? So we had a quilting retreat. We run retreats, oh, we take brilliant. people away. And um, we were at the Spa Hotel in Tunbridge Wells, which if you've <gasps> never been, is a glorious hotel. And um, yeah, she was there with us. And um, she was a big fan of Sewing Street. So oh, I said, give her a shout out. But I was there with loads of other people, lovely Trisha was there as well and my sidekick the chuckle buddy that is Louise was there as well Fabulous. so all of my team were there it was very good oh right. I like the sound of that a sewing retreat in a lovely spa hotel yeah, of course very nice Jackie said morning Sarah and Vicks long time no see I know I've not been here for a week and I'm not here till next Wednesday either it's been ages lovely to see you on sewing street Sarah I hope you're having fun I Jackie. am having fun I always think it's fun and I get a little cheeky night away when I come up here as well. yeah well you live quite far away you're down near Brighton yeah, we're down near Brighton and it's way too stressful to come up on the morning of the show. So I come up the night before. But well, it's very early, so at least you have your nice little hotel. Yeah, have a nice little hotel around the corner. Little cheeky night of peace and quiet. Lovely. Right, so 
this isn't pressed, viewers, but you can bear with me, can't you? Oh, look, we had a lovely message as well that just said, you are a brilliant teacher and more Sarah, please. OK. That was Nicola. Thank you very much, Nicola. So this is the inside, mm -hmm. OK, and I've got that lovely checker one on the nice. outside. I've only part sewn this, ladies, so at this stage, you would have left um, a hole in the bottom of your outside stitching all the way around and you would have bagged it, turned it through that way. But for speed to show you the important bits, um, part of mine isn't yet sewn, but the important bit is. So we've got these funky straps. Okay, I love this already, the funky straps. I wanna learn this technique. Yeah. Uh, so this has got extra videos as well for anybody. So there's a video, yeah, a YouTube, I think, oh, I can't talk, a link to a YouTube video, okay. which we took in class of me demonstrating this exact bit. Um, I think as creative people, we're very visual learners, aren't we? So yeah. things like this that might be a little bit more tricky. Obviously you've got the demo here on the show, which you can jot down today's date and watch back. Yeah. So, okay. This isn't pressed, but I'm just laying it out exactly like you would expect it to look. And it's up to you on the back, which way you have it going over, it really doesn't matter. As long as it no. crosses over, that's absolutely fine. So let's think about this because we're right sides together, okay? Mm -hmm. When we stitch things. So at the moment, my linings are right sides together. Yeah. Yeah, so I can pin those together. I think this is a really good way of what of doing it is how do you want it to look when it's finished isn't I, it yeah I all so when I teach invisible zips I teach it exactly the same way because when it's a little bit of a headbender um, you've got to think about what's it supposed to look, look like at the end so that's one strap that's the lining right sides together and then I'm just gonna pop over to the other side and I'm gonna do exactly the same going to bring some pins into play. See, I do pin sometimes. <laughs> so, lining, straps, right sides right together, together, pinned, and you would stitch. Fab. Okay. So now we've got to get the outside right sides together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold Oh, where is the other strap? There it is. I'm going to take that one down out of the way. You'll have already sewn that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to bring these two right sides together. So you've got to twist them. Okay. okay. But you've got to make sure that you twist them so that they work in the same direction. Okay. So this one's going to get twisted out. And at the moment, that one's like that. So that one's going to get twisted Twist out. out. Yeah. And the best thing to do... On oh, I'm this pleased you've done a video on that, yes, because yeah. that's difficult to photograph, isn't it? Yeah, that's why in the pictures that it's a contrasty... You mentioned about the lovely check. We did a check and a stripe to try and make it really clear. But it's still a little bit tricky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see that you folded it outwards. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just do... If I just bring... I've pinned that one in place. So I twisted it out. So now, if I bring that back as if it was sewn where it's pinned, you can see that it just goes over the top as it should. So I'll just show you that again on the other side. Tuck that one down out of the way because that one would be done. We've got the right side of the back panel and we've got the right side of the front panel. And I'm going to twist that one out and I'm going to twist that one out so that the right bits are matching. And then... I'm just going to pin that together. And I do think with this, if you pin, you kind of can't go wrong. And then if I fold it out, you'll see it's going to sit really nice mm. and flat. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so that's, like you said, it's just demystifying it. It's, it's no, nothing difficult sewing-wise. Nothing wise. difficult at all. No. It's just a bit of a, did you call it a? Headbend. A headbender. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so you would stitch those in place. And then you're just going to have the gaps that you've got around the top of your um, strap and you just tuck those in and make them match. So you're just going to press your seam allowance in. And then at that stage, you're just going to loop one long top stitch all the way around the outside of the garment. So it feels like you go on forever because you yeah, just keep going. Yeah, yeah. And you'll sew together the hole at the bottom that you use for turning through. Yeah. And then it's done. Oh, my word. So, so actually, really it doesn't simple. take that long. No, yeah. it doesn't. No. Um, Christine said that she's done the boho handbag straps that way before. It's really good technique. Sarah, uh, Marilyn says, hi, Vixen Sarah. Can this be reversible? 
Does okay. the pattern include finished sizes? Loving the demo. Right. So if you put pockets on the inside as well as the outside, it yeah. could be complete reversible. Or if you didn't do pockets. Yeah. But yeah, it is reversible. <gasps> completely uh -huh. reversible you just got to think about your pocket thing going on oh that's why you got to do patchwork oh have a go at doing patchwork imagine if you've got a 10 inch charm pack for example or all of these sort of scrappy fabrics patchwork together you line in and then you know sometimes you just want to be just a solid with your uh with your denim and then flip it over when you're ready with your bright capes maybe Ah, a cave apron, that'd be so yeah, cool. Yeah, but it is, yeah, and you can have that dual personality thing, you know, yeah. the sombre, the happy. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. That's yeah, but so it works good. really well as a reversible. But just think about the pockets and whether, because sometimes there's a lot of bulk if you put two sets of pockets on. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, you would just trap them into the lining seam just like you've trapped them into yeah. the seam on the outside. Brilliant. Yeah. Or maybe you could even do like a kangaroo, like you could go freestyle and kangaroo pocket one side and patch pocket the other side. Yeah. Do you know what oh I mean by gosh. kangaroo, like on a sweatshirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. brilliant. Uh, yeah. What size is the apron suitable for, please? So you've got it as small, medium, large and extra large. Yeah, I hate sizing. Okay. Um, so it's, um, it's kind of basic sizing that has worked every time you've run it in the studio. Yeah. Um, if you were a little bit bigger... You Have could you done lots of workshops and classes with this? So this yeah. is tried and tested yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, if you were a bit bigger, you could add a bit into the side here. If you needed to add a bit of extra, that could, it could go in there without being too complicated. If you want me to go into the technical sizing, it says here, you've done it on the largest, obviously, yeah. on the bust size. So it's in inches, the small is 34 to 36 inches. Medium is 36 to 38 inches, large 38 to 40, and extra large is 40 to 42 inches. Not worried too much about the hips because, of course, you've got the opening down here. Yeah. So it can, you know, it can fall or spread as much as it needs to. Um, the one thing I did want to mention for beginners when you're sewing with dressmaking, it's really good idea as well to always sew down your garment. So mm -hmm. when you're attaching your side back panels to your front, so you're doing these kind of side seams here, um, really important that always try to start here and carry down. Oh really? Uh, Why's yeah. that? Well, it means that if there's any kind of, um, kind of movement in the fabric or things don't quite line up, You've got solid lines up here to work from where you really want it. And then if there's any discrepancy, it sits at the hem and then you can just smooth it out with a, with a quick scissor cut. Makes sense. So, Love it. Yeah. If your cutting's not great or you know that you're not good at cutting, always work from the top down and then you can smooth any adjustments out at the bottom. Really good tip. Really good. Yeah. Uh, lots of lovely messages for you. Uh, hi, Sarah. Loved the retreat last week. This is Heather. Oh, 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 I love your sewing <laughs> Love your sewing <laughs> Heather, can you tell us? So it was really <laughs> exciting. You watch it. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yeah, no, it was really good fun last week. And I, you know, it's worked for me, but I have an absolute ball. So, oh, how yeah. do we book onto your retreats? Uh, just head to the Made and Making website. <gasps> oh. Or Sarah Brangwin Retreats, of course. Oh, my that word. Just rolls off the oh, I fancy that. <laughs> uh, hi to you both. Lovely to see Sarah back on Sewing Street. Her tips and demos are great. Did she make her top? If so, what pattern is it, please? No, I knew someone was going to ask that. It's my new favourite top, but I didn't make it. <laughs> oh! Where's it from? Um, a really lovely little boutique shop down in Whitstable. I had a few days away with a friend. Oh, nice. And, um, yeah. It is lovely. Yeah. It is lovely. Lots of compliments. And also another message from Joanne. I reckon that this apron would make a good dog grooming apron. Oh, wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Lots of hair, I imagine. And yeah. if you want to do your pockets, you can, of course, make them in different, you yep. can make different channels as well to put your yep. combs you and things in, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good Absolutely. idea. Oh, it's so versatile. So, so versatile. We were saying gardening one. We were saying like a, a crafty one, obviously for your sewing room. One for, at the moment, my, eight, well, she's 18 months. She's really into having tea parties and I'm constantly having to get changed because she's covered me in tea, water yeah. or whatever. Um, so, yeah, she won't just do imaginary tea. It's like, no, we need more water and just pours it down. This is great fun, isn't it? If you, if you, you know, work with kids and doing crafty things, going to play groups, you always get covered in Play-Doh. And Perfect there isn't any reason why you couldn't add a bit of decorative stitching around Lovely. the neck. Yeah. Um, do some implique onto it, you know, some nice shapes and, you know, because it's a really blank canvas. Yeah. Especially when it's like, a, you know, a, like a nice linen or a nice denim. 
So yeah, there's loads you can do with it. It's just a good base. Definitely get yourself the pattern because as you say, it is a great base. I think this is a must for your sewing room, for your pattern stash. Um, all the patterned denims have sold out. There are some solid denims on the website. It's worth having a look through our, our web catalogue. So you might find some lovely linens in there. Oh yeah, a hairdresser's one. This is going to be great. Hairdressers as well. Perfect. $17.99. I think we're all thinking of different people that we're going to be able to make these for now for Christmas. $17.99. And the great thing that you're getting all the different sizes get yourself the pattern paper as well to trace out if you're making for more people right I'm only four foot ten I'm sure will I be able to shorten this says yes, Dillys you will so on the bottom if I lay this one out on the table in front of me on the bottom you've got this nice curve going on round here so what I would um, probably encourage you to do is um, think about how much you want to shorten it by and just measure up at regular intervals because it's not fitted in any way you don't have to worry about shortening it in certain places like if you're making a shift dress or yeah. something you've got to sh shorten it in certain places with this it's really straightforward so i would literally just get my measuring tape that i've got in my pocket oh my gosh as if by magic and say you want to shorten it by three inches just measure up three and do a little mark a little mark a little mark a little mark and then just freehand them together with any fabric marker pen you've got or even a pencil because ultimately you're going to cut across it and mm. just shorten it that way perfect but yeah, i'd make it full size or just have a look at the pattern first because sometimes actually when we try things on you kind of like go actually it looked like it was going to be a bit long but maybe it's quite nice at that length. yeah well i'm only short i'm five foot three and um actually this this sits just below just, just, just to yeah. my knee and it's actually really nice yeah really nice yeah as well but yeah really easy to shorten and again if you wanted it a bit longer same principles apply just make sure you come out on your curve I'm, I'm, I'm not actually technically small Hannah because I think five foot three is actually average height yeah Hannah says that she yeah I, I always I always think I'm taller than I am and then I measure myself and I'm like oh no I'm still five foot three <laughs> we're gonna grow uh, over yeah. now uh, so, the pattern, available at $17.99. Don't forget, you've got fantastic instructions. For anybody who's been a bit daunted getting into the dressmaking world for different jargons, different patterns that presume you know everything, you don't need to worry about darts. You don't need to worry about, you know, it fitting perfectly. This is a really great beginner's pattern. If you are a seasoned pro, you'll blitz through this and you get yourself a bit of a production line um, ready for Christmas. I've ordered the pattern and the denim. I can't wait to get sewing, says Jackie. Oh, brilliant. Don't forget, you need two metres of denim for the yeah. outside and, and you two metres. spare left over. They're massive, those bits of denim. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're, they're really wide. Yeah, yeah. And then you need two metres for the lining. Now, you used some lovely Liberty, yeah. haven't you? We've got some Liberties underneath. That blue one's gorgeous. If you do want some of our Liberty, these are quilting weight cotton fabrics, two metres. So four units is what you'll need to line it. Um, now, the pattern paper, just to remind you, as, as we are getting lots of ideas, different professions, different people that might want one of these aprons don't just cut out your size don't just cut it out because this is going to be great to be able to have all those different sizes it's £8.99 it's prim so it's really lovely quality pattern paper it looks like tissue paper it's not it's not I like that it's this width as well so you're going to be able to you know draw out all of your larger pattern pieces with it um, but it's really really durable so it's not going to tear it's not going to rip oh I did do that really hard. <laughs> it will tear a rib if you tear or rip it, but I was just showing you how strong it is. Much more durable than normal pattern And paper. you can vouch for I me. Can. That's what yeah. I needed to say. I didn't need to show you how much strength you need to rip it. Uh, <laughs> how funny. That's going on my show reel. Um, eight pounds nine I do work out you see I do I'm very strong it's a 10 meter roll and it is sturdy I'm thinking for other things other sewing uh, related projects those, those of you that are bag makers as well if you've got a book that's got lots of patterns that you might need to transfer um, you can also see through you're going to be able to transfer all your lines without a tracing wheel so that is brilliant we are definitely going to have to keep this one now Kat aren't we this is our sample um, 8 99 you've got 10 meters on there though that's loads yeah it is loads that's going to be brilliant to do all of you because you're going to want to trace all the sizes for all of your family for christmas you can all have matching ones at christmas couldn't you your christmas aprons everybody has to get involved in the cooking then 
What do you mean you don't want to come over to mine at Christmas then? I'll get you do the washing up. Here's an apron as you walk in the door. Get in the kitchen. Personalise it. You know, then they oh, have I think that's a nice they? idea. Yeah. You do a bit of crafting at Christmas. Put Perfect. like a funky felt applique shape on it, couldn't you? Yeah, that's someone's name. Yeah, yeah. love it. Um, what else did I want to mention? Oh, some of the other patterns from Sarah. So made a making. Um, we also have, oh, let's do these patterns first. So we have here the Seminole patchwork. Now I haven't physically got the, is this, um, we is made this a lovely cushion. Cushion. So is this technique? So as opposed to a project it was a yeah but it was a really it's got a how to finish off a really professional finish to the back of your cushion oh lovely with a zip on it if people can't remember what seminar was um that was one of the other samples i had which is a laptop case so you've demonstrated this on the show demonstrated this last time i was on yeah um and it's yeah it's again it's a, it's a bit of a head bend what is seminal is it a, a, a sort of a quilting technique it's the technique where you get this kind of border effect yeah. going through it so sometimes you might just have like a black in the middle and then reds and then whites coming yeah. out from it yeah um, i think well i think it originates from america i can't quite remember all the history but it's a lovely one it's stripped sewing them together and then slicing them back up right um so jelly roll friendly uh, we had some really lovely panels actually <gasps> Nice. Yeah, it's worth having a look back on the uh, the website to, to, to watch the show back. What date was it, Tana? Uh, can you remember when you were here? End of June, because I was on holiday the week later. End of June. Yeah. End of June. If you want to have a look on the website, I'm sure if you type in "made and making" on YouTube, as Sarah's only done one previous show before, it will be on there. You'll find it really easily. If you want to learn more about the seminal patchwork, they are your instructions. Um, it was the 27th of June. 27th of June on YouTube. Then we've also got the stack and whack. I love <gasps> this technique. <gasps> we always get asked about stack and whack. Do you? Yeah. <gasps> Whenever we have, um, you know, charm packs on or anything like that, then this is a brilliant technique, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just playing with fabric, getting the repeats, and then just creating. I just think of it's like those things that you look through when you're a kid. Yeah, magic, the kaleidoscope. Yeah. Yes. And again, you can have the same fabric but it's just been cut in a slightly different place. So you mm -hmm. can have two meters of the same fabric and you're gonna get a completely different quilt each time. Oh, this is gonna be a really, another really great technique to have in your, in your workroom, in your stash. Just get the pattern, the amount of times that we get asked about um, stack and whack definitely get hold of your pattern it's nine pounds 99 you also have here um, a binding tutorial as well is that a, a video link so um there is, is a really brilliant detailed handout of my <gasps> favorite binding technique oh fantastic yeah fantastic that's on the back of the pattern as well the, the link to find that uh nine pounds 99 Hi everybody, really enjoyed Sarah's demo. Don't forget she's back in the next hour. I'll tell you what she's doing in a minute. Very clever exp uh, explanations and lots more ideas. More please, that's love, Belinda. Oh, thank you, Belinda. 12 o'clock, the quilt behind both of us, in fact, actually. Yeah. Solids, scrap busting, monochrome cushion, <laughs> pattern on its own, curvy, curves scare quilters, don't they? I know, that's why I've done it. There's, you've just got to break through the pain barrier, but it doesn't Because you want to scare people. Well, no, <laughs> I just hate it when people don't try stuff because they're really nervous about it. So that's how to this all came it. about. Yeah. To I'll mystify. tell you more later. Um, Creative Grid Ruler as well on the website. Um, going to help you out with that one. So, <laughs> yeah, that should be that should be a book, shouldn't it? Techniques that scare people. Let's scare <laughs> everyone for Halloween. A Halloween show. There you go. Don't worry. We are going to demystify it. It's no longer going to be scary. Um, with Sarah in an hour. I can't believe it's 11 o'clock already. We're, you, you, were, you were worried that it was going to be 11 o'clock. I think somewhere it was scheduled that it was going to be 11 o'clock. Yeah. So don't panic. Go and have a cup of tea. We're back <laughs> in an hour. Thank you so, so much, Sarah. That was amazing, wasn't it? I love it. Keep checking out on the pattern. Um, the, the apron is still available. Have a look and see what denims are there, if there are any, any liberties that you might want. But the pattern is available and the pattern paper. Okay, um, friction pens, bonder web. There's loads of back in stocks, in fact, actually. So stay where you are. I, I haven't seen the Millwood um, pressing, the, 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 the wall pressing mats yet either, so I'm really excited about those. Stay tuned, all coming up right after this. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24 seven. 
full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I have no idea where time has gone this morning. It's been lovely to be back with you. Thank you for your company. Uh, Hayley came on at eight o'clock today. Our Hayley Bryant, who is our brand and content coordinator. She does lots of marketing to do with the brand. She does lots of the online content, graphics, uh, events, shows, all sorts. Across all of the channels, I mean, across all of Gemporia Craft, so jewellery maker, hobby maker, and for us, she has lots of important things. She's always very, very busy when I go and see her in the office, um, always in lots of meetings. And she actually had an hour with us at 8 o'clock this morning for a takeover show, and she bought on a deal of her very own machine. Now, she's got the 680, 80 plus, and um, absolutely loves it, thoroughly recommends it, but wanted to do a bit of a special... A, a special deal for people. Now, this isn't a machine that we can discount. I mean, it's just, it's just not, it's, it's the flagship machine. So instead, she's done a giveaway. Today, not only are you getting the machine, you are getting a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds worth of goodies. Seen here earlier on. So you've got all the different patterns, you've got some storage, you've got loads of fabric, you've got threads, you've got scissors, you've got um, little uh, a little pin tin. There's loads of things there all over £100 worth of goodies. Still on split pay, still available on split pay, five split payments, uh, interest free, free split payments, and it is an amazing machine. I mean, it's got the thread cutter, it's got the needle up down, it's got your locking stitch, your reverse, it's got your start stop button on the front here, your variable speed control. You can see that you've also got a really well lit throat space. So these LED lights would light up not only obviously the, the, the needle bed, but also the throat space. So you can see exactly what's going on. You can use this, you can see at the bottom there with a knee lift. Um, you've got extra storage for your feet this obviously opens up at the front like normal as well so you've got all of the feet that come as standard as well as over a hundred pounds worth of goodies it comes with a, um, a straight stitch needle plate so if you're a patch worker you will get that accurate quarter of an inch perfect seam without it chewing up at the bottom of it and making the bird's nest underneath your fabric there are so many amazing reasons why we love this machine why john scott owns this why joe carter has this there's lots of our guest designers that have chosen the alna 680 plus and why our team owe this? I mean, it is a really, really user-friendly machine, but one that you can grow with. So if you want to have a go at some quilting, it comes with a, a walking foot. You don't need to pay an extra 50 pounds to buy a walking foot. You've got one included. It comes with a free motion foot. You can drop your feed dogs. You can do free motion quilting. And if you are doing it on a larger project, um, it has the extension table, which you just take the free arm off and, and, and slot your extension table in. Um, some some brands and machines you have to pay extra for a, an extension table. You have to buy one that's cut to your machine. Whereas this comes with a great sturdy extension table. You can see it here. Um, it's got measurements on the front. You don't have to have it on, but if you've got the space, I just leave that on all the time. Leave it on all the time, especially if you do dressmaking or if you quilt a lot. Uh, split pay five split payments, two hundred and forty nine pounds and 80 pence, no credit checks, um, no interest. It is all just win, 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 just through us. It's all, um, of course, for you. Ring up, say you want split pay. Pay one payment today and you'll get it home. Uh, it's really user friendly. I love that you've got this uh, LCD screen, which it will tell you as you select through all of the hundreds of stitches uh, what foot to use. It will automatically default to your recommended stitch width and stitch length, which you can override. It's got a memory on here as well. So I talked about the thread cutter. If I press this button here, let me just have a look around to the front while I'm pressing. So, it comes with a little stylus as well. If I press that um, little button here, which has got a picture of a thread cutter and a locking stitch, if you press the thread cutter, then it will automatically cut your threads at the end of stitch, every stitch sequence. You can quickly override that if you want to take it off by, by pressing it again. But you've got that one and you can choose whether you're going to do the locking stitch or your thread cutter. It's also got, um, oh, bleeped at me. That's what I like about it as well, is it won't let you do anything wrong. So if, if it's your first time using a computerized machine, don't be daunted by that word computerized it's actually there to help you um, all the technical features and functions are on the website in fact I can talk you through very quickly now 
the machine's weight is 10 kilograms, so it's a big machine, it's a weighty machine. It's not impossible to pack away, I don't know if Hayley has hers out all the time, but it is a big machine, it comes with a lovely big cover as well. Um, it's got that free arm and that flatbed, um, that flatbed available, it's also got your LCD screen, you control touch panel. The throat space, I think, let me measure it for you. Let me find a tape measure. Whilst you're just having a look at the technical features, I can measure the throat space for our viewer. Uh, does it say 100 and 170 stitches? It goes up to a 9mm stitch width and a 5mm stitch length. It's got 10 different buttonholes available. You've got alphabets on here. You've got really lovely pictorial stitches as well. So the throat space from the needle across to here is nine inches nine inches across so it's a great size throat space I mean it's there are huge obviously some of the more uh, industrial style machines that are big but this is a, a domestic machine this is one that if you are taking that next leap maybe from your first machine it's brilliant Loads of accessories that come as standard. As I say, it does come with a walking foot and a free motion foot, blind 10 foot, quarter of an inch foot, straight stitch needle plate, which is really easy to interchange. Um, you've got that extra lift as well. So if you are doing uh, larger projects, big quilts, chunkier fabrics, they're all the standard accessories. But remember today, only for today, you're getting a bundle with over a hundred pounds worth of goodies. Use your split payment whilst it's there. Of course, this is only while stocks last or for today and today only, midnight tonight. If you're watching on a replay, call the call centre, ask if there's anything available um, as there is only a limited number that we can offer with this £100 worth of goodies. There's already lots of you have checked out on this this morning. Enjoy your new machine. I mean, it's such an exciting day, isn't it? It's an exciting bit of post when you get a machine, especially the 680 Plus. This has been our flagship machine from day one. We love it, absolutely love it. Any questions that you've got, please get them in. There's so many uh, amazing features. I've only gone through a handful of them, but here you can see as well, you've got your, almost like your speed dial buttons, which are all touch sensitive. So you can see how the needle was moving across then as I go to quarter of an inch, it moves the needle for you. You've also got a zigzag stitch there. You've got a buttonhole stitch. You've also got a locking button. So you can just lock that if you've got any, um, you know, paws or hands or anything, you can lock it in place if you're changing onto your walking foot. You can elongate some stitches, you can do mirror image on stitches, loads that you can do. It's brilliant. Love, love, love this machine. Any questions, get them in. Now, we have got back in stock friction pens. So friction pens are exciting for lots of different reasons. I think anything that you adopt as a, a I'm just going to unplug this so I can move it out of the way slightly. Um, I'm just going to pop it down. So, it is a heat erasable marker. It wasn't actually designed for sewers, um, but we as crafters have adopted it. It's brilliant because it was traditionally used on paper, but we've realised on fabric, oh, it's amazing. So, this pack is back in stock. They are brilliant value. I think we've only had friction pens in stock singularly recently. We haven't had this pack for ages. It's your pack of four. Uh, the value for money is fantastic. I've been into stationery shops when you're looking about four pounds a friction pen. Uh, 4.50, maybe closer to five pounds. Uh, we sell them at 3.99 which is brilliant, singularly. Uh, you're getting them in a nice little pack that stands up like this. Ooh! If you buy them in this pack, that makes them £2.74 each. And you get the little holder. It's not a little throwaway packet, it's one that you can use, and look, it stands up on your desk. So this is the lid that comes off. I love this. How nifty. It's the first time I've seen that the lid does this. It clips on between those two little stands, and look, it stands up. How cool is that? Now, there is a price comparison with our own website. So if you go to Sewing Street, you can buy the black friction pen here for £3.99. It's this very, very one. It's got lots of great five-star reviews. You may only need one. The 
is, is $3.99. What I love about this is that in the pack, you've got all the different colors. So depending on what fabrics you're using, you can have the right fabric for the job. And it means it works out at £2.74 a pen. No brainer. In here, you've got the black, you've got green, you've got red, and you've got blue. For anybody who's not used or seen a friction pen before, one where have you been? This is my favorite marking tool. Now, we all have lots of different marking tools. Different ones are different ones are great for different jobs. Um, but dressmakers, for example, we were talking about if you're shorter and we're going to shorten the, the apron that's behind me, go around with a marking tool. You can go around with chalk. I find chalk a little bit messy, personally. We all have different personal preferences. I find it a bit messy. Sometimes if you've got, you know, those triangle ones, they could just crumble in your pencil case. Um, it, you might have to damp a cloth or wash it and, uh, and remove markings that way. These are brilliant. They have not been in stock since June, so we've all been waiting for these. We've only just, been, we've only just managed to get these back in. So I first purchased these personally when I was writing my uh, wedding invitations. Now obviously you think of um, different documents or different things that need to be in black ballpoint pen. I am notoriously awful at writing forms. Writing my wedding uh, invitations, I was thinking I'm going to make mistakes. These are brilliant because you can use these like an ordinary ballpoint pen. So, hello, Hannah, ignore my awful writing. Good morning. So you can use it like a normal pen and it is literally like a biro. And on the end, you have got your eraser. So look, instantly you can rub it out. But it looks like you have been a grown up and not made mistakes on different forms. Maybe you're doing measurements for somebody. Maybe you're planning out a new quilt design. You're trying it out and you want to rub it out. If you're doing uh, a bit of a, a, a tidy, a redecorating, and you want to be able to erase it. So you've got all of these different colors which work as ballpoint pens. We've got red, you've got black as well. You've got packs that are all different colors. Obviously, it's good as a, a, a crafter to have all different colors because um, you want to be able to see them on different fabrics. But anybody who loves a bit of stationery, I used to be obsessed with the week before going back to school and getting new stationery, new fancy color gel pens, fountain pens, all of that. But being a left-hander, I was used to smudge them. So these are really nice and clean. They've got a really lovely soft grip here as well if you're doing lots of continuous marking. These are your points. 7 nib just so you know which is I think your medium um, and you've got all four colors so as we see you can use these as normal pens maybe you're pattern designing maybe you're you're marking out things on your dressmaking patterns themselves you're reminding yourself of um, you're reminding yourself of, of, of different sizes you found useful or different points that you found useful maybe you've got those comet boards you write in how much fabric you've got on each one then you can reuse them you can reuse them so that's them on paper this is the exciting bit so, if you are marking on your fabric, I've just got some grey fabric here, let me have a go. Now, I always say this with every marking tool anyway, just check that you're happy with how it erases. Sometimes it may leave a slight ghost line. I always will say, check all marking tools, check that you are happy with how it erases before you go in there including hero markers, including chalks. I mean, hero markers, you're not physically putting, uh, you know, a pen or anything on it. So sometimes fabrics just don't agree with different, um, you know, different tools. So it's worth testing on a sample that you're happy with how it raises. So this is a gray. Um, now, if you are marking out any notches, if you're doing any, um, placements for applique designs if you're doing toy making you want to note where the eyes are and then reposition them look at how easy and quick this is so I'm going to show you all these colors on here I'm just going to do some little wiggling lines I should do maybe do uh, if you want to just play a bit of noughts and crosses so all of these different colors are going to come in the pack you've got red in there as well now 
I've got this lovely wall push, uh, pressing mat, which I'll talk about in a moment. This is the magic, Bruce. You've got to stay exactly there because this is going to be quick. You have got with the press of your iron and how often do we all press our work at the end of a project obviously be careful be aware if you don't want the lines to erase as you're pressing don't use a friction pen but at the end of your projects you literally one sweep of the iron and they disappear how good is that there's no ghost lines on this there's no uh, th there is nothing to suggest that I've had any marking tool on there at all. Obviously, because that's still warm, I'm not going to draw straight back on it because it might start to disappear. Um, a couple of um, <laughs> disclaimers. If you put your homework through a laminator and you've used a friction pen, the heat will erase all of your homework. So if you want a good excuse instead of the dog at your homework this time, just say you used a friction pen and you laminated it and it erased it all, but you did do it all. Um, <laughs> you will also have to hand in an empty piece of paper that's been laminated, but. So for example, the red isn't showing up as well on my gray fabric with this one. So I would go for a different one. It's good to have the options, isn't it? I see the blue standing out best for me here. It's, it's up to you, maybe embroidery designs. It's good that you've got the choice of all these different colors, or these could all mean different things. If you want to do oh, my, my um, front side of, because uh, there's a universal notch, isn't there? Is it two sides for the front of an arm and the back's one? Or the side Something like that. So if you are, you know, you struggle with things like that, you could say, right, the front of my arm is in red, the back of it is in, in, in blue, and you can literally physically do different colours. Notes on paper. Oh yeah, Hannah says things always change during the show. If you work in live TV and you need to make notes, <laughs> um, meetings or calendars, if things change and you don't want scribbles all over your calendar, I've got a family calendar and it's all tiny little, you only have a little line per day and things change, plans get cancelled or moved around, ends up just being scribbles and you forget what you're actually doing, you're trying to read over what you've scribbled over. So yes, these are brilliant. If you've got a diary changing plans, this is perfect. So again, your four colours on the fabric, are we ready Bruce? As soon as you put your iron over it, it will disappear. Anyone who's learning handwriting, these are great for that, aren't they? So, as I said, a laminator, the heat will erase it, but it in, in extreme, and I mean extreme, <laughs> extreme cold conditions, your pens will come back. Now, I'm not talking, oh, a little bit of a chilly day. I'm thinking if you put this into the freezer, if you put this into the hold of a plane, um, that's not the air con bit in the plane, that's in the hold, in the suitcase, where it's really, really, really cold, um, your markings may come back, just to let you know. As I say, just think about what it is that you're using for. These are the go-to in our studio. These are the go-to marking tool for bag making, dress making, quilting embroidery if you buy the set from us you would pay more if you bought these singularly the fact that you're getting all four of these and i love it's the first time that I, I loved it that it came in the little case but i love that you can stand the case up so look at how easy that is to access now if it's on your work desk if you've got that um separately on our work on our website on our own website is 3.99 a pen if you go to WH Smith, other stationery shops are available. You can get a pack of three for nine ninety nine. Three for nine ninety nine. That makes it three pound thirty three a pen. Great value. Today, not only are you getting the pens, you're also getting the nifty, funky little um, pack. This isn't one that you throw away. This is one that you'll keep, and they're all ten ninety nine. $10.99, amazing. I love that they come in the case. That has the stand available as well. Um, forgetting the case, we're now at £2.74 a pen. If you've heard of designers talking about heat erasable pens, this is one they're talking about probably. Yeah, well it is, yeah. Um, 
there's a lot of people who absolutely love a Frick Champagne, our Avon Macatamini always uses them. Lots of our guests um, ask for these as soon as they come in or they've got them already in their pencil case. It will come to you like this. Don't think that that is just, if you see the picture of it, it just looks like a, you know, a flimsy plastic packet, whereas actually you'll keep this, you'll keep this and be able to use it. Um, just to remind you of how the lid works, because I think it took John Scott a while to, to work it out. <laughs> it took me a while to work it out, but Kat showed me, and look how quick and easy that is, it just clicks in. Just clicks in, there's two little notches here, and the lid just clips in between the two of them, John. And that leans like that on your desk. It looks smart as well, doesn't it then? <laughs> uh, just £10.99. Have a minute in stock since June. Um, definitely make the most of those whilst you can. It's October now. Hasn't been available since June. Gosh, it doesn't feel like it's... I can't even remember. What were we doing in June? <gasps> £10.99 feels a long time ago, doesn't it? Now just thinking about pumpkin picking. Right. All four of those. Are you not planning your pumpkin picking? Yeah, so's cat. I'm not the only one. Hannah laughed at me. Will you do pumpkin carving with Steph this year though? Oh, that'd be so cute. Do it, do it, do it. The only thing is, is it's very messy. You have to have the right tools. I broke uh, quite a few different um, knives in my drawer. Do you then make a pumpkin soup? Then you have to make pumpkin pile, pumpkin soup. Do you know what I made? A brilliant pear and apple crumble over the weekend. But um, I used a soft, soft butter and it looked like cauliflower cheese on the top. It was like I did, you know, if you've ever watched Friends, when Rachel mixes up the classic cottage pie with the trifle. That was what my, cottage, my um, crumble looked like. Crumble with topping of cauliflower cheese. <laughs> um, tastes great though. So... Just to let you know, they're back in stock. Please, can we talk about this? This is brilliant. Have I got two different sizes? I've got the bigger one and I've got the square one. So these are brilliant. They are brilliant. You have got a really compressed wool cutting mat. One, so lightweight, easily portable, but it isn't the reason to buy them. The reason to buy them is you get the crispest seams possible. They are brilliant if you're a quilter. Um, now they're the same price. You need to make a decision which size is going to suit you better. The rectangular one looks like this, the square one looks like this. Get the rectangular one. Surely get the rectangular one. It's the same width and everything. It's the same price. They're both really good prices by the way. To get them both under £40, each of them uh, under 40 is fantastic. It's an exclusive Sewing Street launch of Millwood's wool pressing mats. Now obviously we've seen wool pressing mats in the past that are more expensive, they're more considered. I've always still recommended them and said if you can afford to do it, get them in your stash. Set yourself up your little, um, your, your, um, your little section of sewing so you've got your sewing machine you've got your cutting mat your pressing mat all there it's all handy ready to go the benefit of using it if you're pressing fabric the steam comes back or the heat comes back draws back up from the wall pressing mat and gives you a really really beautiful flat seam so if you are opening seams if you're ironing um, stubborn creases this is really going to help it gets very very hot obviously this wall is pressing it back at you so it's it, it they are, I know, um, I mean, some of the biggest quilters that I've worked with over the last few years have all recommended wall pressing mats. $39.99 for the square, $39.99 for the rectangle. It's up to you which one you choose to use. There are so many videos, lots of great advice using these on, um, on the internet as well. So have a bit of research. Do your own research in terms of pricing as well because these are the most affordable wall pressing mats I think I've seen that we've had. Um, especially for the quality as well they're they're, they're quite dense they're they're um 30 these are th that's the 30.5 how deep are these let's have a measure okay they are half an inch deep 
half an inch deep so they're really substantial pressed wool mat 39.99 just to let you know they are there speaking of back in stock they're very very limited but I've got to mention, I'm not even going to open this, it's in all its packaging because this is going to go to somebody today. If you're a lover of our Delphine, if you love a plique, get yourself the Bonderweb on a roll. This isn't just Bonderweb on a roll. This is Bonderweb on a roll. This is 30 metres of Bonderweb. The thing is, if you use a lot of it, one, it's space saving than having lots of Bonderwebs on a roll. Two, you're not going to need to keep purchasing, paying, posting packaging if you know you're going to use it. It is slightly better value getting the big box getting the big roll but what I also love is it's got this sort of dispenser on it so you keep it in the box you can keep it all nice and neat um, it's on split pay as well I don't think we normally do split pay on um, on bond web on a roll so it is the big one this is normally by the way what shops sell you get loads of leaflets when you get it it's because they're supposed to give them out to the customers so this isn't something that you necessarily purchase, you know, as a crafter. This is what they sell at shops and they might sell you a metre of it. Um, so you might get a metre of it and then they, uh, they, they give you a leaflet that tells you the instructions of how to adhere it. So it is brilliant if you are doing lots of crafting. I mean, we need it here, don't we, at Sewing Street. Um, lots of our guest designers use this in the bundle. It needs to be in Delphine's sewing rooms for sure doesn't it 58.99 on split pay as well i understand it's considered a purchase but if you are of course if you are using lots of bond web it's a no-brainer brilliant you look very professional as well don't you so we've got two new packs of orophil these were brand new in last week we've got the gray and we've got black and white so oh i like this it says here your morning begins with a brisk walk through the city, down a series of narrowed cobblestone streets, the noise of trams and weaving vespers giving way to the morning bustle. The streets are bursting with smartly dressed people soaking up the morning sun, sipping fresh coffee and drinking the daily paper. The sweet smell of jasmine lingers in the air and a day begins in Milan. I love it. Well, I want to frame that. Um, <laughs> You've also got here your greys. Now, how good are these for things like English paper piecing? For any of your piecing, really, because sometimes I find that if you are using um, a white or a black, you can see it on different fabrics. If you're using lots of different colours, grey tends to mix in, hence why it's good for EPP, but it tends to mix in with lots of different coloured fabrics. And what a great price. Wow. 1,300 meters on each spool. Now these are your 50 weights. These are your 50 weights. Three different shades of gray. 50 weight, your most universal. Sew all thread, use it in your bobbin, the top of your machine. You can use it for your hand sewing. You could use it for piecing, for quilting. Gray's great if you're mixing colors on a quilt. You could use it for, it's that sort of neutral, isn't it? It blends between all of them. This is really popular, by the way. If you've already got it on pre-order, well done. If you bought it when we launched it last week, we're now last of stock. Limited quantity if you want the last few of those. There's literally eight, eight of those remaining. That'd be a really nice gift for somebody. If you know someone that sews, grey's so useful. I think it's probably the most useful colour. Um, if you do want your black and white, I mean, you know what you use. You know what you use the most of. Uh, in fact, actually, this is really good. If you're a dressmaker, this is black, white and grey. It's nice that you've got, look, it's got a picture of like your tumbling blocks on the front of it because it's great if you are doing light, medium and dark. Um, yes, 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 yes. Let me open them up because you've got here, still 50 weight, 1,300 meters. So when I talk about 100% cotton um, threads, a lot of people presume maybe they won't be as strong as polyester, but they really, really are. These are specialist cotton threads, extremely famous, top dog quality. Lots of quilters love to, to match in. If they're using cotton fabric, use cotton thread. Um, Orophil won't get fluffy or, or under your needle. It doesn't, um, it, it won't break anywhere near as easily as, as you know, maybe 
um, I was going to say the word cheaper, but do you know what I mean? Cheaper cotton threads. But what is great about this as well is actually the value for money, if you break it down, your regular sewal threads are normally about £1.70 for 100 metres. Hundred, uh, there's 1,300 meters. If you do the math, honestly, this is brilliant value for money. Ah, just thinking, if you are loving the quilts behind me, we haven't shown you this. Those of you that are loving Sarah, we all are, we all are. This is another option of the same quilt. If you spin the block and do monochrome, how cool is this? And how useful are these three colour threads going to be? Grey, black and white, anything monochrome. The cushion you can see behind me. But that quilt's amazing. Coming up in half an hour, less than half an hour. If you like to use a dark background on a quilt, you want to make sure that you've got black thread in your stash, yeah, this is a really good bundle. Just $28.99. Fantastic price as well for how much thread you're getting there. Um, it means you're not having to constantly change uh, your thread. If you're doing a big quilt, get yourself these big spools and you're not going to run out, are you? Okay. There your Aurifils. What else have we got, Hannah? I've got so many goodies. Oh, I've got the seams. The reason I'm thinking about seams, oh, and I've got the big rotating cutting mat, the 18 inch in the pink. We've got 18 inch in the pink and then we've also got green available as well. So this one is your 360 degree spin. So look at this, you have got here, um, you have got the locking position as well. Sorry, I was trying to think about what I was trying to say then. Um, listen to Hannah as well. You've got your square locking rotating cutting mat. Here it is open. I can show you that locking mechanism on the back. So you've got that four way point, which you literally just clip in like that. So you can have it as a statin cutting mat if you want. If you clip all of those in, it's got that foamy background so it adheres to your surface. It's not going to slip and slide around your table. And then you've got that full 360. If you've got the space to do it, this is brilliant because you're going to be able to do really big blocks. The other size that we have is 12 inch square. Great size still to have if you're doing smaller blocks, but we always say get the biggest cutting mat your space will allow. Um, so if you are just getting yourself this one, as you can use it as a static cutting mat as well, then this is probably the one that we'd recommend. 32.99 and it looks pretty. It looks really pretty in pink. Pink not for you. We've got green as well. The green is the same size, once again, sorry, I don't burn myself. Um, it's got those four locks at the back and then you've also got the ability, of course, to, to spin it a full 360. One of the most important things, well, I'd say the most important thing when you're talking about cutting with a rotary cutter is your safety. They are very, very sharp always cut away from yourself. So to avoid having to, one, cut towards yourself or be at a funny angle, if you're wanting to keep your fabrics in a certain position, maybe you've just got a square and you want to cut it into four smaller squares, you can easily cut the first cut, spin it round without your fabrics moving and make that second cut without um, cutting towards yourself or cutting at a weird angle for your body. Um, they are really useful, really, really useful. They're the big ones. Literally only came in in the last couple of months. I've never seen them before. Now I have the 12 inch ones as well. So we've got pink and green. Oh no, green sold out. Only way of getting your 12 inch one is pink. These are great gift ideas for people as well. We will get them back in, but I just don't know when. Don't know when. They've also got useful angles on them. So you've got your 60 degree, your 45 degree and your 30 degree angle. Inch increments um, are on there as well, which as quilters is what we sort of generally use, isn't it? It's our inches. 16.99. It is just so useful that you have that ability to lock in position if you need, but then have that full rotation. I find that this size, personally, is going to be a little bit easier or if you're working with a smaller space of cutting because when you're 
spinning an 18 inch mat you've got to make sure you've got all the room around you whereas this um, doesn't take up much room at all in your workroom and if you do already have a larger cutting mat that you're going to be doing your main cutting this is more sub cutting maybe go with this one try it out 16.99 if you've never used a rotating cutting mat before fab okay right now last week um I wasn't here. We were supposed to be launching this. Um, let me bring it over. So, sorry, cat. Sorry, 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 cat. So, we have got uh, something which I know a lot of people have been asking for. If you have been waiting, our team have been amazing. Uh, uh, and this is only down to everybody who has messaged in, who, of course, has said that they want to make some really special pieces in memory of Her Majesty the Queen. And I mean, this is something that is, of course, very, very special for us, but I understand as well that not everybody might be ready to do that. So if you want to keep hold of this, bring it back in, uh, you know, next year, if you want to just keep it as it is. I know some people who have uh, bought during this week a couple of these and have made one and have kept one. Um, I was, when we were all watching the funeral, I was looking at Maisie and I thought, oh my gosh, like I'd love something that then she can have that I can tell her that you you were one, you were as, as a keepsake, as as a memory, and to remember all the good times as well. It's got such beautiful imagery on here. It's got the dates, of course, it's got the corgis, it's got beautiful flowers. Now there are so many possibilities of what you want to make. Obviously, it's going to be very sort of personal if you want to make bags or cushions to commemorate our queen. Um, we thought obviously we've been here over the last couple of years celebrating her birthday, her jubilee, and we thought it was only right that we design, of course, uh, a, um, a commemorative panel as well, her memorial panel. So you do have those two 19 inch squares, whether you're choosing to, to cut this into different pieces to put with or onto a quilt, if you want to make, um, as I say, a bag, it would be beautiful, wall hangings, gorgeous just you know in memory and as a commemorative piece this isn't something that we're going to be reprinting this is just a one-off this is just as so many people have asked um, have asked us for so yes I hope you make uh, and send in lots of beautiful pictures for us to see because we'd love to all share in it um, 19 inch square isn't that gorgeous I mean that has to be a cushion front I think you could embroider over the top of it. It would look so beautiful. Embroidery over the top. Adding your personal emotions into it as well. I think sewing is such a meditative um, uh, thing, isn't it? A lot of people sew uh, when they're happy, sew when they're sad, sew when they're anxious. So it, it, you, you project all those emotions into it. So if you've got all those lovely memories, then um, I think it's a lovely thing to do. A great way of commemorating and remembering our queen. Just $14.99 as well for something that's exclusive to us. So this only launched last week. Hundreds of you have already bought those. I, I love that and I think this is something that we've all shared over the last um, month. That it's something that we've all been, um, of course, a part of. Uh, so and something we've all found extremely difficult. So if you are at that point where you're thinking, right, I want to make something beautiful to remember our queen, then that's something really special. And so exclusive, isn't it? It's limited. Right, just thought I'd mention and let you know that this is available for anybody who's there. Oh, speaking of something I want to mention, I have also not seen the advent calendar. That only launched last week again with Ian. Thousands of you have bought it. And I must say, I didn't know whether I'd get a look at it. Oh, can I have a look? Because I haven't actually seen it in the flesh. <gasps> Hannah say, don't open all the doors. Don't open all the doors. That's what I'd normally do and then close them, eat the chocolates out. This hasn't got chockies in. This has got sewing related treats. Um, luxury sewing calendar, not sewing. Luxury advent calendars 
can be really expensive. If you buy any luxury uh, advent calendars that have got beauty things in or drinks or specialist things, I've never seen a sewing one, never seen a sewing one. We had them back in the day of sewing quarter. Uh, we had a couple of them and there were so many people that asked us if we could do it. And so we've done it, especially, look at the brand. I just love that it's got sewing street on here. The front of it is lovely. Have this up on the mantelpiece. You're going to have it up in the, ha in the house on the mantelpiece. Uh, I'd put it out now till Christmas. And um, you've got all of the numbers obviously behind big doors. Number 12. I want to know what's behind number 12. <gasps> and 22. <gasps> 16. Now I believe on Christmas Eve you're going to get a special treat. Am I allowed to tell everybody what you get on Christmas Eve? Now there's a gift in there. Plus... You also have a £10 voucher to spend at Sewing Street. So there you go, $39.99. I thought this was going to be so much more expensive. I swear they used to be, you know. It's absolutely brilliant. You've got all of your sewing related um, bits and bobs in there. It's going to be sent to you, of course, with our one poster and packaging. Um, is there a wait until you get this then? Are you? I didn't know whether this is like a pre-order. So this isn't a pre-order. This is buy now and they're made and they're going out. As soon as they're, they're, they're going out, then we can. There's boxes ready to go. Um, there's boxes ready for these so they don't get crushed as well. They're in special boxes. They'll come to you all safely delivered. 39.99 is brilliant because I know, you know, quite a bit of the contents as well. It's something special. Share with us this Christmas. I'm sure everybody's going to be talking on 1st of December what they got behind door one and, and sharing that all together. So please, please do um, make the most of this year's Sewing Street official advent calendar, 39.99. I thought that this was going to be coming in uh, around 50, 60 pounds. I know the value of the products that are in here and the work that has gone into putting it together. So Ian's very, 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 very proud of this. Um, just 39.99. Thousands of you I know have already got it. Look at the gold. Ooh. Um, lots of you I know have already got it. Maybe you've got one and you're now thinking, oh, do you know what? I'm going to treat my friend from the sewing group. She's had a bit of a bad week or something. I'm going to treat her. Or if you want to, to purchase one for a loved one, go for it. Maybe you've already got yours and you've, you've opened it. And you thought, that's such good value. I'm going to have another one and I'm going to save it for Christmas this time save it i find it so difficult i am one of these people that open the doors and then close them and hope i forget <laughs> what's in there just have a peek have a peek behind number 13. um right just thought i'd let you know just in case what everyone's talking about on the Facebook page, this is it. I haven't been here all week. Maybe you've been off all week as well. Uh, we had the Queen Memorial uh, panel and we launched the advent calendar as well. 39. 99. Okay. We've got 10 minutes before Sarah comes back. Don't forget the quilts behind me. I've got the June Taylor binding tool. I've never seen this before. We don't have any in stock. It's two and a half inches, right. Quickly cuts, bias or straight of grain and binding strips. Um, unique two color printing and easing. Do you tell it was here? Right, watch it back. Don't listen to me just reading off the label. Um, have a watch back of the show. See this in action, how she used this. It was on the 16th of August, back on August. I think this was for the uh, festival week, wasn't it? It sold out during that show, so if you want one, Grab one now whilst they're available, $24.99, in fact, single figures. This is your binding buddy. Um, all of your little instructions will come, of course, in your, um, in your leaflet, but watch the demo back. Oh, I'll have to watch that. Uh, the dressmaking paper from the last hour that we, uh, we launched, I've never seen this before. It's really good quality. Don't get me wrong, it's not invincible. <laughs> As I, uh, as I found out, it's a lot sturdier than the tissue paper that you get in dressmaking packets that can easily tear. Hundreds and hundreds of these have gone since we launched it. Um, you get 10 metres on the roll, it will come to you packaged beautifully as well, so it's all uh, ready to, to use and to transfer any of your patterns for bag making. Obviously for dressmaking, we were talking about the apron behind me in the last hour. Ideal to cut out different sizes for presents for Christmas or loved ones. Um, but it is great that you can still see through it. So even though 
even though it's st it's strong and sturdier than your ordinary dressmaking tissue paper you can still see through it so if you're if you're doing any markings from a dressmaking pattern let me just get the, the in fact actually I'll show you on the overhead this time you can still see through so without having to to get a tracing wheel you can still see markings through it if you are transferring from a dressmaking pattern it's still really nice and clear that's 10 meters as well from books if you've got lots of um, bag making books that have got patterns or templates that you need to transfer not just dressmaking that's definitely worth having in your stash and Sarah recommended that one actually um, anything in your workroom that yeah looks like you'd have it in a shop ready to go at all times the big bond women are all this on a roll you feel like you're in a bit of a shop don't you you're very professional nothing's stopping you there's no excuses to just start because you've got all your dressmaking pattern paper there um, that one it's only just come back into stock today and it's eight pounds 99 loads of you've got that in your basket a couple more things before we go on to Sarah because we want to make sure that we give her the whole hour as we're going to just mystify curves today um, I've got so many goodies. I've got the seams, bundles, I've got the roll and press. I've got the June Taylor stripology. I can't see the stripology. Thank you, Kat. Um, I've got stripology squared, it's back. Da -da -da -da. Stripology squared is back. Um, this one is really useful we're going to talk about creative grids in the next hour and, and how they you know designed by sewers designed by quilters especially for for, for for quilters so we're going to use the curved version of this later on but this one is for cutting your strips i say that strips obviously can be sub cut into squares diamonds triangles hexes whatever you want um, but the, the the benefit of using this stripology squared is that they have combined uh, creative grids have combined two of their most popular rulers into one so the XL uh, and the squared has now got all of your markings that you would see normally in your your XL but you've also got all of your squaring up blocks as well so you've got right from four and a half inches to twelve and a half and then so that's the white markings here these black solid lines are all your full inch increments so right Right from four inches, well three inches, sorry, three inches, four, five, six, seven, eight, right up to twelve inch increments. There are little grooves at every half inch increment for your rotary cutter to fit through. So if you do struggle with wobbling or accurate cutting, you know you're going to get the precision, you know you're going to get the accuracy. And it says here, um, oh, was it on the other packaging? That it, it reduces your cutting time by about 80%. Honestly, it stops having to... I always thought when I first saw these, that looks very complicated. It looks like we're doing lots of maths, but we're not. It's actually eliminating that. Even to the point that they've got a key here for one and a half and two and a half inch cuts which are two very very popular um, cuts for, for quilters and you can follow that key without having to work out another two and a half inches another two and a half inches uh, there are loads of demos online there's a QR code there that takes you straight to the creative grids YouTube channel they are really really good at, at giving you lots of online content of what you can make with your stripology rulers love creative grids we'll talk about them more in the 12 o'clock hour with Sarah Good to remind you, this one is here. We will see the same type of ruler about how you get your rotary cutter into a groove when we're cutting curves with Sarah, but this is your stripology squared. Roll and press. If you don't want to be um, pressing your seams all the time with an iron, don't get me wrong, it won't make your iron completely redundant, but it's a lot, uh, how do I word this? It's a lot better, it's, it does a better, it's better than it looks. It, it does the job better than you thought. I think if I saw this in a shop, I'd walk past it and think, well, how, how well is that going to actually press my seams? But it's clover. It's ergonomically designed. It's got this tapered wheel, which when you put your pressure onto it, it directs the pressure onto that seam. So it actually, it's really, really good. If you're opening out seams, if you're doing foundation paper piecing, if you can't put your iron onto something and you really want to get a good crease on leather maybe, or PU or vinyl, ideal. If you're doing English paper piecing, you're folding over your edges over your paper. Lots of people love this. Folding back constantly for FPP, genius. If you don't want to keep your iron on all the time, 
we're very aware with you know appliances running in your home if you don't want to keep your iron on all the time if you want to open out seams before you go in there with your iron if you're on the move you're on a train you're on a plane you're doing different projects that you don't have electricity um, it's only 15 pounds 99 and it's one of those that trust me if you didn't know you needed it use it and you won't know how you got on without it it's one of those tools it is one of those tools i love it love it love it if you are doing a patchwork block you know you're thinking about keeping your iron on aren't you are you going to um, bother getting the iron out why don't you just use the roll and press i think i would give it a good press at the end you still need to as it's not going to to make your iron redundant but maybe if you just want to do a little bit you got half an hour before you've got to walk the dog or before the dinner's ready. This is a nice little handy tool to keep in your pencil cases for classes as well. If you've got a communal line at a class, there's a single figures of the roll and press. It's one of those, whenever a guest designer comes in and uses it, they sell out. So if you're seeing them in a tool show like this, treat yourself, treat yourself. <gasps> Talking about sellouts next hour oh my word right we've got bundles we've got one to make the bundle the colorway that's behind me this lovely bright color with the solids um we'll talk about finished size and what you can make but the pattern on its own oh no right it's gonna sell out grab it on pre-order uh, during the break if i were you the bundles have also got the pattern in so don't panic too much but the pattern on its own is going to sell out um right hannah's playing it through now so you know the code you know what you're looking for we're oversubscribed on the pattern on its own but um have a look at the bundles because they're lovely as well both the bundles have stock of the pattern so don't panic too much but we're going to learn how to do curves this beautiful quilt design and of course we'll learn so much more because we've got sarah here she's amazing at techniques and teaching so stay with us sarah's going to be joining me with that amazing pattern right after this Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I am so excited for this hour because Sarah is back. Um, Maiden making was, oh, brilliant in the first hour, so I'm very, very exciting. Uh, to learn more techniques this time, the quilt behind me, this is brilliant. Sarah, now this is done with scrappy, isn't it? That one is completely scrappy, yeah, that's <sighs> my sash. Now, you've done it with solids. We've got a solid bundle to show you, but you can make it in this size, am I right? Yes, yeah. so on the back of the pattern, yeah. you've got two sizes of quilt. Okay. And on the front, you've got two sizes of quilt showing as well. Right. So that's like the smaller version. Which is 46 by 46 inches. It might be slightly smaller than that, actually, because I think I put a smaller border on it. But it's the three <laughs> by three main block. Okay. Yeah. And then that's the bigger version. Which is 72 inches by 58 inches. So you've got the pattern here um, to be able to do... I um, mean, this, this is going to be really, really fun to make. The only way, I knew, I called it just before the break, the only way now to get the pattern is in the bundles. And I must say, even if you want to do scrappy, get the bundle because this is going to be an amazing stash builder anyway. So, I've got two bundles. I've got this one, which is the first bundle, which is your blues, your pinks and your greens. As I said, how lovely is this bundle? anyway to have in your stash 59.99 you get 20 fat quarters we never cut fat quarters well very very rarely in house so definitely get those plus you're getting two and a half meters of your cream and you're getting your instructions now that is the only way of getting the pattern now just because look we're very aware how busy it is how many people want this pattern we should not be doing this our warehouse are not going to be happy as i know how much time they've spent uh there you go five pound off they've spent a lot of time cutting those fat quarters for you make the most of it another five pound off 54.99 for a massive quilt that's really that good such a nice stash of fat quarters as well exactly <laughs> Exactly. So even if you're thinking, oh, do you know what? I've seen this. I, I've seen this and I really want to do it in the monochrome. Get the fabrics anyway, because look, you are getting 20 fat quarters in this bundle. All of the different shades of green. I mean, this is going to take us ages to be able to cut this again. Supplement it with your stash as well. Make yeah. it even bigger. Mix it in. Pick your colours out. Don't use all the colours if you don't want. It's, an, it's like having that amazing palette of colours as an artist to play with, isn't it? Having all the different shades. Having four different shades. In fact, actually, one, two, four, five. Is it six different shades yeah. in here? Six different shades of each colour. Oh, my word. We'll talk about how we're going to be able to use those to create, of course, the beautiful shapes that are behind us. Now, quarter of the stock's behind, uh, in baskets already. Um, if you do EPP, think of your scraps. 
Think of all of the scraps that you're going to be at. But the fat quarters, they're great sizes still. Remember, these are half of your half metre. Now, I can't promise that we can honour that five pound saving again. That's only while stocks last. This is something I don't think we're going to be able to repeat once they're gone, as we have had to cut all of these fat quarters in house. So, um, absolutely make the most of that. We weren't supposed to discount it. There are now less than 50. It sounds a lot. There is not. At 54.99, you're getting 20 fat quarters, 20 fat quarters, two and a half meters of your fabric, plus your happy curves quilt. You've got two, oh, well, you've got an alternative layout diagram as well, haven't you? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. There's a lot to talk about because for anybody who thinks, right, this isn't for me, it's curves, I'm scared. This is exactly the sort of person that you want to buy exactly this. Exactly <laughs> the sort of person that I want to buy this. This is for you. <laughs> anybody who's always been daunted by curves, get this pattern, get this instruction set. Oh, by the way, there's less than 40 now. There are less than 40 now. Sorry, did the camera just shake with excitement then? <laughs> or is it the fear of the curves then? Oh, curves. Instantly down to 25 now. Right, 25. That is enough to be able to do the quilt the size behind me as well which is by the way 72 inches by 58 inches did you say we've got a question the colorway behind Sarah let me show you so you've got we said there's um, six or five different shades of each color yeah so what's really lovely is that when you come to do a green or a blue or a pink or a purple there's more than four shades of each colour in there, so mm -hmm. you can mix up. So you, you won't always have the same four greens, mm. so you can really blend it around a bit and play. Mm. So oh, I love it, it. It's a really lovely picked bundle for this project. <gasps> so well done to the picker, because I didn't pick the, yeah. It's a pattern you're going to use time and time again as well, isn't it? Um, cushions as well. Cushions. The cushion behind. Don't have to do a big quilt if you don't want. Uh, there are now fewer than 20 of that bundle, and the pattern on its own is sold out. Shall we do one of the bundle? Now, this is again really nice. You haven't seen I this one. I, know, I can see a bit of yellow. I'm quite excited. This one is really <gasps> nice. Oh, the excitement. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Black Ooh. background. Oh, my word. We need to stop playing with these. Oh my word, these are gonna look. <gasps> That's really nice. That is a beautiful <laughs> bundle, whether you make this quilt or not. It's already been spotted on the website. Loads of you are already getting this. <gasps> oh my word, is that um, silver? You've got some beautiful look at colours those in tears there. And those oranges and the rust. Do you like this? Yeah, I really like that. That's more my palette than the other one, to be honest. That's this, very exciting. This is gonna look stunning <gasps> in this quilt. I want to make it again now. Oh, do it, do it again. <laughs> 59.99, All Those together, how autumnal is that? Well, and that's really masculine. Like that would make yeah. it a lovely male, it's really hard yeah. to choose male quilt fabric sometimes. You're right, yeah. You're perfect. <gasps> Look at all of these. These are all included. They're cut for you. That is a stunning colour palette. That is. Whoever, again, has put those together. Got good a good job. eye, very good eye. Plus you're getting two and a half metres for your background. Um, definitely make the most of this whilst you can. There are two different options um, in terms of uh, sizes as well, if you want to make the smaller one or the standard size. The, the standard one is the big one, by the way. You've got enough fabric in there to be able to do that standard size, which is 72 inches by 58. Um, Hannah, what are you saying? She said, I'm doing it. I don't want to, she says, and I really shouldn't with this, but I'm taking money off again. You're peeing pee off. And a bit more back in your pocket. <gasps> I mean, look, Shall I, can you put these out on the overhead camera so of we course. can have a look at some of these colours together? And maybe if I lay this out onto the dark background. They will just pop. This is going to look gorgeous. <gasps> oh, all of them, 54 99 That is too good. Look too good. This. Look at this. I'm so excited by this bundle. Look at that orange. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, thank you, Sarah. 54 I found a new in life. I'm so bad at putting colours together. See, if I, uh, this is why I like our team putting together bundles like this, because I think that this would really, um, I mean, yes, we've all got a Look, stash. That's so clever, sorry. Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, but that little pop of yellow in there ties all together. It, yeah, it just, yeah. Works, doesn't it? Yeah. It really works. Um, I'm really bad at putting colours together. I wouldn't know where to start. And if you're going through your stash, this is so good that it's all done for you. That's absolutely. The colour choice can be so daunting. 
so mm-hmm. daunting. We do a whole workshop on it because people spend, like you bring them into a workshop and you say, choose your stuff and they just That's, take too long. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, we now teach them how to choose. That was me. When I did my first quilting class, I spent so long picking my fabrics and I just didn't have anywhere near enough time to make the project. Uh, this is the one, remember, with the dark background. It's going to be a, a completely different dramatic finish, isn't it? Oh, it's just lush. They just pop against the dark so much more than they will against the white. Yeah, yeah. good choice. I like that a lot. And we've discounted it. Five pounds off, 54.99. Don't worry, you get your pattern. You get your instructions. Uh, we're going to demystify it for you. We also have the Creative Grid um, Circle Savvy Ruler as well, which we'll talk about in a moment because that's going to be really, really helpful with this. You've got a colouring page. Yes. Oh, I like that. So if you're making it again, once you, obviously you've done it in this bundle, I think you're going to want to make it in lots of different, different um, colours. So you've got a colouring page. Try it out. Create different patterns. You've got your colouring pages there. Now you do have templates in here. Is it essential to get yourself the, the ruler? Okay, so when you're looking at a big quilt like this, part of the, the joy of this quilt is that it is going to teach you how to sew curves and there's a lot of cutting. Okay. So the ruler makes your life a lot easier, but it isn't essential. You could yep. do it from templates and that'd yep. be absolutely fine. It's just gonna take you longer. Okay. So if you're a little bit like me and you love rushing to get to the end or you're a bit time poor, those rulers are a massive investment that is, they will just pay off. Are you gonna use this in the demo yes. today? Yes. Perfect. Um, this is the ruler that you're gonna see in action. If you've got a stripology, it's kind of a similar thing that you put your rotary cutter into those Absolutely, little grooves. Yeah. So we're gonna see this in action and you can do curves from um, three inch right up to, to 15 inches on this one. Uh, in fact, 15 and a half, you've got your full inch increments and you've got your half inch and it circles semicircles and um, is this the shape that we're going to be looking at then? Yeah, I call it like a drunkard's path, it's a quarter, yeah. yeah. Perfect, 41.99. As I said, we're going to see this in action, maybe then make up your mind where you're thinking, yeah, I'm going to go for it, I'm going to be making a few of these, it might be worth investing. Um, so, now you say there's an alternative as well, you've made it in monochrome. I have. So, and this is also, it's the same design. Okay. So if you look here, you've got like this egg shape. Yeah. And if you look here, you've got this pinwheel. Yeah. So it just depends where you put the colors right. together. So that's got the egg shape and the pinwheel visible in it. Oh, But can so you clever. see however you lay the block out, it becomes a pinwheel. Yeah. Or it becomes an egg shape. It's, it's one of those that you look at it and then you see something different. Yeah. And then you look at it again and you see something different. What are your eyes drawn to? Is it more the egg shape or the pinwheel? Because I was more the egg shape, but now I'm looking at it, I can see more well, of the pinwheel. This is because this corner over yeah. here starts on the pinwheel. Right. Whereas the one behind us starts on the egg shape. Yeah, I can't even see the pinwheel on that one. It's crazy, isn't it? When, oh, a, yes, I can. can I can see, see one, one here. Yeah, yeah, I can see one here. Yeah. <gasps> so clever. <laughs> it is so clever. <laughs> um, it's another one of those that's a bit of um, a headbanger. Headbender. Headbender, not a headbanger. That's the song, isn't it? <laughs> so, curves. Why is it when people come into your classes that they say, oh, I'm drawn to buy curves? What is it that's so scary? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, so, I've got like the dressmaking and the patchwork background. And um, dressmaking, you're always setting sleeves and things like that. That's curves. Patchwork, people just, I think because everything's so straight to yeah. start with, like a lot of beginner projects are, and beginner workshops are all based around very much half square triangles and straight yeah. edges, that you get to a curve and people freak. What it is for me is that it's convex, concave, and the easing, and I don't want puckers, I want to get it as smooth as possible, I want it to fit, and it doesn't look like it's ever going to fit when you see the pieces you've cut out. No, and if I just put these two bits down on the table, we know that they're going to live like that together happily in unison, but to sew them together, we right start side, off like yeah. that. Yeah, no. and that's the headbender. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I'm always trying to find ways of making people kind of become more f comfortable with the harder techniques. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you create a quilt that is full of it, and it's just continual practice. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you quick ways to cut it out because there's a lot of cutting out in patchwork and that puts people off sometimes. Um, so that's why they like the pre-cuts and stuff, but that really restricts your choice. Yeah. 
So quick ways to cut out. And then because you are doing curves, you are going to, by the end of this quilt, you will not be ever worried about a curve again. That's it. And I've got two techniques to show you. I like something that's methodical and something that you can just, you know, keep doing. And by the end of it, you will have nailed it without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Right, go on then, dive okay. in. Where are we starting? Right, so. we're starting with cutting our fabric. So when I've got a project like this and I'm going to be cutting a lot of the same shape, um, I don't want to be having to take ages to do it because it gets boring, it gets monotonous. So my top tip is I've actually got four layers of fabric okay. here together. Okay. Um, and what I do is I match up all the salvages because we know that they are completely straight, but we know that the fat quarters, it's really hard, even, you know, they're never going to be perfectly lined up. So you match up your salvages. I'm just going to flip that over because the pin's on the other side. And then I've already taken a cut off of this. I'm trying to work out which side it is. Cut off of it on this side over here. Mm -hmm. So for this uh, pattern, we're going to need a seven inch strip, mm -hmm. okay? And again, if you're new to patchwork, this is a really good project for you, but you might not be familiar. You might have a sort of a six by 24 or six, five and a half or whatever ruler, and you might not go, well, how do I cut a long seven yeah. inch strip off my fat quarters? Okay, yeah, the six by 24 half is the, always the one that I'd recommend to someone yeah, who's doing the best the ruler, one. Yeah. like your go-to, but it's not wide enough for a seven right. inch strip. Okay. So you just need another little cheeky ruler. Doesn't matter how big it is. So right. this ruler is actually a six and a half. And I need a seven inch strip. So I'm going to steal half an inch from this ruler. So they aren't quite perfectly lined up because I've been messing around with them, but that's better. And now I'm going to take half an inch from that ruler. Put it onto on that edge. side. Ah. And now this one, which is six and a half, is half an inch in and now I could cut my fabric. Oh, that's really good. So you're not having to worry about thinking, oh, I haven't got the right tools of the job. Just pinch something. Yeah, like we've all yeah. got these little rulers, haven't we? Yeah. Um, and don't use your mat because it's really best if you don't use your mat because really you want to be using your ruler. Okay. Because mats change a bit and they have different size lines on them. So always stick with your same ruler. So I'm just going to slide that up a little bit and just show you exactly what I would do. So I'm stealing half an inch from that small ruler and I will just slide that up and down just to make sure that I've got, because like, it's small, uh -huh. you want to make sure you've got your half inch at the top and your half inch at the bottom. And then I'm going to slice down there. And so you can do this layered up, you've got four yeah. layers of fabric there. Four layers of fabric. You just need to make sure that you've got a nice sharp blade in your rotary cutter. Yeah. Because this is a shorter mat, I'm just going to slide that down. And I'm just going to take that pin out now. So now I'm not going to touch Let's it or move it because that pin's been removed. And I'm just going to put that somewhere safe because I trod on a pin when I was quite young. And that <gasps> Ouch. hurts. Yeah. So now, yeah, you've learned. <laughs> I know I've learned. Just going to check that I've still got my half an inch. There we go. So you can cut three to four layers. It depends how much strength you've got in your arm. Okay. You know, so if you, if you know you find cutting a bit tricky, that might not work for you. But if you've got a nice strong arm mm -hmm. and you've got a nice sharp blade, mm -hmm. you can cut through more than one layer at once. And then I'm just gonna do um, square off the end. So are you just lining that up on the lines of your mat there to square it off, yeah? Uh, I'm using my ruler again. Yeah. So I'm taking the horizontal lines on my ruler along uh -huh. the top of my fabric and I've just straightened all those edges off. And then this is actually a twisty mat. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to twist the mat. It's very exciting. Might as well. I haven't got one this big at home. No, I, I didn't even realise there's four it. of those little notches so you have to pull them all in, that's it. There we go. Now I can twist. So now I want to come back this way because I want to do my seven inch. So I'm stealing half again. And there I have got my seven inch square. So all of the pieces are cut from a seven inch square, the white corners and the colored segments. Okay. And then this is this ruler. So again, you can leave these beautifully stacked on top of each other. Yeah. If you've got to put your work away, just put a pin through them and bring them back and just take the pin up before you do the next step. Now, the templates are in the pattern, but on this ruler, which is the Creative Grids Circle Savvy, what we're gonna do is we've got two options of placing in the corner. Okay. Um, and you want to make sure that you're placing on the one that says a quarter inch seam allowance. Right. Because you could cut something on the fold to get a half, half circle or yep. a full circle. Yeah. 
So you want one with the seam allowance for this? You get your seam allowance right down in the corner. Right. And then line up your edges going that way and your edges going that way. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to cut on the 12 and a half inch line. Mm -hmm. And now, can you do this with a normal rotary cutter? You've got quite a big rotary cutter there. So I've got my demon one. I think it actually might need a new blade in it. But if I was going to use a ruler with a curve on it like this, yeah. I would either use my 45 yeah. or I would smaller. actually go down to a slightly smaller one. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Just because it's going to work with the curve better because mm -hmm. it's not as long. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So there's norm different size rotary cutters on the website. Yeah. So I'm just going to find the 12 and a half, put my rotary cutter inside and just glide around. And because that blade is new, that is a lot easier. Lift that off. Oh, oh, there we go. She said, she said, oh, because my blade is sharper. But that's a good thing that you can then line it back up. Line it back up. Know where it is. Exactly. Give it a bit of welly. Yeah. It's a really tall table. Oh, it still hasn't cut it. Right, well, we'll just display it with the ones below. So there is my segment. So they were cut on the 12 and a half, yeah. lining up at the quarter of an inch. I've then got to do the same with the cream. So I'm just going to quickly trim off the end and then do my I like this tip about, I've never seen anybody show us that. If you haven't got the big, uh, a ruler that's wide enough, big enough, seven inches, use your six inch and just grab an inch from another, grab an from inch. another ruler. Because you've always got another ruler if you're a patchworker. Um, right, so these, so that was the corner segment that was cut on the 12 and a half. For the white uh, part, we're going to cut on the 11 and a half. Okay, so I'm just coming around there. I love creative rulers. They're really, really useful, aren't they? I think this is another one that you, I think you do use more than you think you are. Um, there are lots of instructions that I thought was just like a leaflet, pamphlet thing, but it's actually instructions that, yeah. that come with the rulers. So what you find when you've cut the two bits out, and this is what should happen, yeah. is that there's an overlap. So if I was to... Oh, so don't panic, you haven't cut that one a bit... No. That I was to put this down on the mat in the seven inch corner down here. There's our seven inch. And if I put that on seven inch as well, you can see that there's an overlap. And that's, yeah. we want that because we want that for our seam. Okay. Okay. So that's all good. So that ruler, if you had a really nice sharp blade, you could probably <laughs> cut four layers right. at a time. Perfect. Um, so it's going to just save you loads of time because basically you've got four layers in one of these. So you're going to be heaps quicker. Yeah. So you don't need it, you can make yourself a template. So in the pattern, there's the template at the back. And yeah. what I would recommend is um, photocopy it off so you don't have to cut it up. Stick it onto a nice bit of really thick card. Mm -hmm. um, template plastic. Template plastic. Yeah, we've got some of that. Yeah, whatever you've got. Um, and make yourself a template from that. And it'll just take a little bit longer. That's yeah, all. perfect. Yeah, but works just as well. And all the seam allowance included, yeah, everything yeah. is on there, yeah. fab. The bundle that we're working with, just so you know, is the one with the cream, the, the one that's behind uh, Sarah. Just be aware, once everybody's checked out, we're oversubscribed. We're now in single figures. Um, I'm going to tell you, there's seven left, seven kits left. Bear in <gasps> mind, we started with loads of these, and your patterns are solid on the right. Everyone's loving it. Just so you know. Your bundle will make the size behind me as well, the big size, which is 72 by 58 inches. Uh, well, you're going to want to make it again with scraps, aren't you? So get yourself the ruler as well. All those fat quarters, what a beautiful stash. This is, um, remember, where well, you get two and a half metres of Ukraine, and then you also get a pack of 20 rainbow, Rose and Hubble, beautiful fat quarters, lovely quality, all for 54.99. <gasps> I love it. Plus, you will get the all-important pattern, which is sold out individually. The only way of getting it is with your bundles. Um, okay. Um, are there any videos that you've done for these? Obviously, this video will go onto YouTube. So, but I have done a video of the bit that I'm going to demo about cool. sewing the curves together. So, nice. again, yeah, you can go to the YouTube channel, 
uh, search for Duncan's Path and that video is there for you to see. Nice, I, I love how there's so much support for you, especially as a beginner. I feel it's daunting, isn't it? It's daunting, so I'm pleased that you've done all that support. Right, sorry, back to you. Where are we, Sarah? So we've cut our bits, yeah. we now need to make a block. Yeah. So, and when I say a block, I'm just gonna talk about a little bit of a bigger uh -huh. block. So there's two ways with curves. Let's talk about the first way. The first way is to do marking and pinning. So I'm just going to finger press this because it's lovely crisp fabric to work with. And I've got my segment piece and I've just done a, a, a half fold. And then you're going to mark in your quarter folds. Just again with the finger press. Just finger press, yeah. Let's just not keep, I mean, it's nice to move around in the sewing room, but we don't have to do loads of moving around. Well, we're talking about not having to have your iron on all the time, plugging yes, in appliances. Exactly. More aware of it. So we've got um, those quarter marks in the corner, and then I'm just going to do it on the white piece as well. So all you do is just place the curve on top of itself, finger press in, and then fold it back. So finger press there, and a finger press back here. Okay, and if we look at that, we can see that they're more or less lining up, which is what we would expect. Mm -hmm. So, obviously there's no obvious right and wrong side to this fabric, but I'm gonna put my right sides together. Okay, so if you are working with a patterned fabric yeah. when you're doing your scraps. Patterns together. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to match up, let me just twist this around, it'll be easier to pin. I'm going to match up those centre folds. Ah, oh, this is really, I, I'm liking it this way. Okay, so that's one there. Yeah. Then I'm going to match up the edges. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring this edge down to here. So that's the curve that I've got to match with the curve. And we want to have a nice straight edge going along here, which means that that edge has got to sit... If I pop a pin in it, a bit, I can move my fingers away. That white edge has got to sit as flush as possible with that pink edge there. That's why you do it that way. If you start yeah. going to those middle bits, you're probably going to end up... Yeah. You want to do the middle and the edges first and then do yeah. the rest. So then I'm just going to swing this one round. I'm just going to twist it so it's easier for me to get the pin in. Is this the technique that you've used in the instructions? Yeah. Yeah. You say there's a couple of ways of doing it, but this is the way that you've, you've yeah, addressed. Yeah, I'm going to freak everyone out with the other way because okay. it involves not, no pins. Right. Okay. So I've got my two edges and I've got my centre. And then I'm just going to match up that other pressed fold that I did. So that other quarter point. Now, some people might put in a lot more pins. I've seen... People pinning in to every inch of its life yes. doing a curve. And I find that a bit difficult when you get to the sewing machine because yes. I don't like to sew over pins. No. So, you know, so we, we're all different and there is no right and there is no wrong way to do it. The best way to do it is the way that works for you. Right. So if you want to do loads of pins, do. But I don't believe you need to. Okay. I think you just need to learn how to manage the fabric, which right. is what this is all about. And Sarah, I mean, you've just done this automatically, but the way that you've pinned is important as well, isn't it? Because yes. when I went to my first class, I spent ages pinning them all along the edge, like in the direction of the, the fabric. Whereas actually, they were all in the way then. So yeah. just point them towards Nearly the always dressmaking, patchwork, it's all perpendicular pinning. Yeah. Um, if you did go over it, your needle might miss it, so that would be even better. But it means that I could put it in the machine that way or that way and I can get it out. And also the fabric can't slip down the pin because the pin is in perpendicular to the seam. Yeah. If the pin was in the other way, you could slip the fabric down the pin. Right. Okay? Yeah. Right. So that's gonna go through the machine with a quarter inch seam. Okay. Okay. Right, let me just check I've got this set up right. 06, quarter yeah, inch Yeah, there is stitch. a quarter and inch stitch on this machine. You have a quarter and inch foot, but it does actually move the needle across for you. Lots of machines, you know, you have different settings or you can physically move the needle over if you need to. You can with this one actually, just obviously changing your stitch width on a straight stitch, you can move your needle over, but it does have a quarter of an inch setting. Okay, so I've put it into the machine and I've literally just put the needle down to anchor the fabric, because okay. that means I can take that first pin out. Now, get myself on the foot pedal, get in control. 
I'm just going to go slow. So people in Patra are used to saying quite fast, I think. Mm -hmm. And with a curve, you just have to go a little bit slower. So I'm just going to go a little bit slower than some people might want to sew, but actually it will all be good. So I'm just feeding that round. And as you start to get to a pleat in your fabric, it's just like dressmaking, just pull it out to the left. So rather than pushing it down in the direction that you're stitching, just pull it out to the left and it will disappear away from where you're stitching. And don't be scared to stop either. You've got the needle down position there, haven't you? So have you can start machine, yeah, and stop. Brilliant. So I'm approaching another pleat, so I'm just pulling it out to the left. And approaching another pin. Something that I find difficult when I'm doing curve is keeping an accurate quarter of an inch seam allowance without it being too slim or go, going a bit of wonky. What's a good tip for that? Just look at the front of the foot. Okay. So the bit that's closest to you, because as the fabric's going through, you need to have one consistent reference point. So I always look at the front of the foot. I'm not really overly paying attention to what's going on with the needle, um, especially on this machine, because it's freaking mm -hmm. me out because it's off-centered because it's a quarter inch stitch. <laughs> and I'm just going round and keeping those pleats away from the seam allowance. Just take the last pin out and there's one little more pleat. Oops. And you can use a, like an unpicker or a pokey tool at the end if you want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I left a pin in. And if I just give that a press. I think pressing as well can be quite forgiving, actually. If you do find that you've got any little pucker bits, giving it a good press can iron it out. Yes. Um, the other thing is to scrape your finger along the seam. Right. Um, so if you did have a pucker in your stitch, just scrape a little bit with your fingernail mm -hmm. and it just allows the weave yeah. out a little bit. Any particular way you need to press these? So um, keep the corner segment, the colour, flat and press it sitting behind the white one. Okay. Okay. People might instinctively want to press it behind the colour because you darker press behind side. the darker. But you're going to end up on a, on a quilt like this, you are going to end up with some white showing mm -hmm. otherwise you're going to have your seams going too bulky in certain places so the trick with that is that because if you're using a white background go for a white bleached wadding okay so on this one behind you you can't see this bit That's here so this line, yeah, yeah this hasn't that been hasn't quilted, quilted yet yeah. to show you that you can see that but once you put white wadding behind it, right. it completely disappears oh that is a good tip yeah if yeah. you use natural that unbleached which is lovely it's going to show that line. Right. So okay. just go for a white wadding. Fab. Okay, so that corner's gone in. And I have to say, pretty happy. happy that. Pretty happy. Yeah. These are all going to get cut down to a six inch oh, block. Oh, okay, perfect. So it is beginner friendly whilst you're mastering your curves. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. okay, then technique two without pins. Without pins. Now, this sounds, yeah. Yeah. Terrifying. It might be. <laughs> so you could, if you wanted to, mark the halfway point yeah. by folding it like I did a moment ago on this one. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you it's completely possible without even marking it. Right. OK. All eyes. So what's going to be really important is that when I put this into the machine, the top looks exactly like that. Mm -hmm. So it's completely flat across the top. And this edge there is completely flush with the curve underneath it. OK. OK. Glasses on. Are you going straight into the machine? Yeah. Do you know what I thought you were going to do? I thought you were going to get a sew line glue pen out and glue it or something. No, we're sewing. What are you on about? Sewing street. Oh my it's word! Not glue street. This right. is yeah. Okay. Okay. So still quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Yeah. Actually, that's not right on the edge of the presser foot. So now, this machine, it defaults your stitch to a 1.8, which is a smaller stitch than you sort of yeah, would it is. admit. You would you would think. So. Good lead in there. On a, when you're sewing curves, you want a shorter stitch. Right. Because the longer the stitch, the harder it is to get around a smooth curve. Well, someone said to me, uh, a curve is a sequence of straight lines still. You're still sewing straight, yes. aren't you? Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Series yeah. Of straight so lines. So just keep them nice and short. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to start off in exactly the same way, but I'm just going to gently hold my fabric. So I'm not stretching it because it's cut on the curve. It would be really easy, if I show you with this one here, to stretch it and to pull it out. Uh, okay. I'm not doing that. 
No, I'm just literally holding it on top. So where's the foot pedal gone? There we go. So I'm just gonna do a few stitches and then I'm just gonna move my fabric round to the left. So this is the white fabric. I'm just moving it round to the left, letting it rest on top of the pink. And every three or four stitches, maybe a few more because they're shorter, I'm just stopping and repositioning the fabric. And I'm gonna go really quiet because I'm concentrating. I was gonna say, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> I'll ask questions, I will breathe afterwards. Right, so when I've got about halfway, I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna bring that down so it looks exactly like how I started at the top. Mm -hmm. So making it all nice and flush. Okay. And then I know how much I've got to fit in to wear. Oh, so you're going to just do all that with your fingers without? Yeah. Okay. So my fingers are just holding the fabric exactly where it needs to be. I think this is where your speed control is invaluable, actually. Great machine for it because you have got that slow um, speed variation control. You've got your, your, your um, needle down as well. Yeah. So no matter you know Oops. where you point, stop, your needles will hold in position. And you've got a thread cutter. I like oh, a thread game cutter. changer. Right. Are you confident? I'm feeling okay-ish. I haven't ever done it stood up with a funny pedal on the floor. Just is it <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to ping that back. Now there's a few creases in this fabric, but they aren't creases in the seam. I'm just going to press it. And the only reason that I can do this is because I've practiced. So by the end of it, definitely start with your pinning and then by the end of it, you may find. Yeah. So if I just put those next to each other. There you go. Yeah. So identical. When you pin, you take Very time good. to pin and that's great. And you take time for precision and then you put it into the machine. But when you've learned how to handle the fabric, mm -hmm. you don't need to do the pinning. You just go a little bit slower and you'll still be quicker than pinning and stitching. So do you find a lot of it sort of muscle memory? Yeah, it's yeah. exactly that. Yeah. And I can know without marking now roughly how far through the curve I am just because of how it's looking under the machine. There you go. So, so. I mean, you're going to have plenty of practice because you said yeah, you're going to yeah. need to practice. Gonna you're going to have loads of practice. Yeah. But this is, this is how people learn stuff. That's, that's how they get good. They just practice. And so just think of this as a practice quilt, but yeah. you're going to end up with this amazing quilt. Beautiful, at the end of really beautiful. Remember, by the way, the bundles make the size that's behind me. So this is another thing, is that a lot of people who are scared of curves, who might not think of investing 150 pound in a quilt kit, because they're thinking, well, I don't know if I'm going to be any good at it. Whereas actually for a full quilt of this size, for $54.99, bearing in mind, Hannah is also trying to encourage everybody to have a go at curves as well. I mean, that is a brilliant uh, demonstration that you can stop and watch at any point when you get this home as well. Hannah's taken another five pounds off for you. It's $54.99 today. So you've got all 20 fat quarters cut in house. It should be $59.99. We've taken five pounds off. Plus you're getting your two and a half meters of fabric and you're getting uh, your maiden making uh, instructions. The only way of getting the instructions are in the kit. Uh, for $54.99. Now this is the colourway that is behind behind Sarah. So it is this lovely bright rainbow colour with the lighter background. Don't forget there is also the one with the darker background as well. Um, in terms of just, you know, building up your stash, this is a great stash builder. You've got loads of, of fabric. I mean, this is a pattern as well. There's a great stash buster. So it's a win-win both. Even if you're thinking, right, I'm gonna have a go and, and intermingle some of my favorite designer fabrics as well, just using the pinks or just using the blues and interchanging different colors. We saw the monochrome version, it looks great. So have a play around with color and fabrics and yeah, practice your curves. Brilliant. Um, this one is now extremely limited. I just want to encourage you to check out. No excuse now, we've seen those. Um, remember, you are getting all of these colors. Don't forget, even if it's just for your stash, you're getting more than four shades of each color. For the greens, you're getting one, two, three, four, five different shades of green. One, two, three, four, five shades of blue as well. Five of the, the, the purple, all these beautiful different shades. I mean, this is virtually everything that we have in our, in our um, warehouse. So to be able to recut 
something like this would be very, very difficult to get all of these different shades, especially now they know as well that Hannah's reduced it. Five pounds off. They're not going to be very happy, are they? Um, five different shades of pink also. Uh, and the only way of getting your instructions is in the kit. £54.99. Uh, you saw us cutting using the Creative Grid Ruler. Don't panic if you haven't got that. It's available on the website or you have got another option of making your own templates using, well obviously you've got your templates here, but just cut them out, put them onto template plastic or or, um, or you know a good cardboard um, template, however you want to do it. $41.99 for your ruler. Um, it is creative grid. You can cut circles, semicircles, and your quarter circles as well. All available. Oh, sorry. And then also, just very quickly before we go back to Sarah, the other bundle that we have. This is with the dark background. It's going to look amazing. Every time I see it, it's like, oh, this is so exciting. And it's got the gold in there. It's got all of those lovely greens. It makes the massive size. Look at these. Don't let this one pass you by. I know that we're not demonstrating with it, but I think that this is beautiful. Should be $59.99. We've dropped the price again. You do get two and a half meters of your black, and you also get your instructions plus all of these gorgeous, gorgeous colorways. I can't say it enough. Both of these baskets are absolutely wild. And now I understand, can I say, I completely understand that when Sarah is demonstrating, we are all eyes. I mean, I'm barely even talking, I'm just in awe watching. So we're learning a lot, I understand that. But please don't wait to check out because there's gonna be people missing out. There will be people disappointed by one o'clock. Both of these bundles will sell out. So there are loads of you who want them. Just to quickly give you a reminder. Uh, Glennis, hi girls, could listen to Sarah all day with her clear instructions and tips. I know. Oh, she is an absolute you. gem. What an amazing uh, addition to the Sony Street family. Honestly, yes. We're absolutely thrilled. Um, okay, I just wanted to remind you, this, remember, has got the black two and a half meters. It is there on your screen. Uh, it's got your instructions, your fabric, your fabric quarters. Yeah, everything's right on the graphics, just £54.99. Right, what else are you gonna show us? How to square them up? I'm gonna tell you how to square them up, but I'm also just gonna say yeah. that if curves aren't your thing, or it feels a bit nervy, because there's a lot of curves in it, if you look at this block here, this one, and this one could be a solid square and you would still get your eyelet. You just wouldn't get the white bit in the middle. Right. Okay, so I'm encouraging you to embrace your curve, but if you fancied <laughs> it, <laughs> or you're a bit bored of cutting curves, or you're, you know, you could have complete squares there and it would still work. Oh, there's another possibility. Yeah, sorry, I like to throw them out there. Love so it. we have cut seven inch blocks. We've cut them down. We've cut our segmenty bits out. We're gonna make these six inch now, mm -hmm. okay? So the reason we're going to cut them down is just so that if anything did go a little bit awry with your curves, you don't have to worry, you can just trim it down. So I'm just going to slice this down now to a six inch, glasses on Sarah, glasses on, six mm -hmm. inch block. No, I'm not. I'm going to slice it down to a seven inch block. What am I talking about? You will have the instructions. Yes. Don't worry. Yeah, Do yeah. as Sarah says. Yes. Not as she does. <laughs> so you should end up, no it is a six, six and a half inch, there we go, because you should end up, if you can see this here, with a quarter inch beyond your segment. Okay. Oh, of course, because they want, that's when you want to make sure you still keep that lovely point. Yes. So that will sit in your seam. Yeah. So I'm just lining this up and I'm going to cut that one. So we're cutting them to six and a half inch, so they become six inch. There we go. I think my early start has got to... Um, it's finally got to me. I need a cup of tea. Right, so two six and a half inch blocks. How are we doing for time? We're okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 we're fine. Right, so that is part of our block, which is this bit here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to sew those together. And you'll notice when you flip it over that we've kept that quarter of an inch on our two white bits. So we can use this line here as a guide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I switch it around this way, it'll work just as well. Um, but it'll be easier to feed into the machine and for you to make sense. So I'm going to stitch my quarter inch seam down the edge here, but I know that I should be starting more or less on top of that stitching there. Right, that gives you a starting point. Yeah. Perfect. So pop it under the machine. And I suppose when you, you know, you're making this quilt, maybe for the second time, or 
as the first time, if you're more confident, you can really get yourself a bit of a production line with this, can't you? Would you yeah, still absolutely. recommend making a block up first? So making those four together to see how it's constructed. I always think that you've got to do a little bit first yeah. just to understand the process. Yeah. Um, so that then when you come to the others, you know all the four, like I'm trying to share those bits with you. Yeah. But there's nothing like doing it yourself on your machine yeah. and in your environment. Yeah. yeah. So make up a block first or a yeah. few blocks first and then, but you could absolutely get chain pieces. Yeah. And, yeah. and do you know what? If you sat there and sewed curves for 15 minutes solid, the last one would be better than the first one. Yeah. But then go make yourself a cup of tea and get busy. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, otherwise your last curve will be horrid because you'll have been doing it for too long. What came first for you, dressmaking or quilting? What were they doing first? What what came first for you, yeah? Uh, dressmaking. Dressmaking, yeah. you started dressmaking. Yeah, because you do that at school, don't you, in textiles? You know, you make garments. Yeah. And then the patchwork is my love of colour coming out, basically. Right. Because I love colour, but you can't wear all the colours you love. Like, no. that mustard would look hideous on me, but I love it as a colour. Yeah. So, yeah, patchwork just allows you to play with colour. So my natural is to go for stuff that's really bright, mm -hmm. although I do like that grey and white one I've done. I just like that, find that really peaceful. So sorry, I need to press this. <laughs> Losing track. But you love yellow, Hannah. Hella is all around your home. She can't wear yellow. We were talking about it this morning. Our um, lovely friend bought in a big bag of clothes because what we do here is we like to do clothes swaps all the yeah. time. <laughs> I think it's really good actually. You know, yeah. instead of going out buying new clothes, we just swap between our clothes. So Katz, she bought me a huge big bag of clothes. And Hannah, I said, oh, Hannah, do you like this? No, can't wear yellow, can't wear yellow. But she's got yellow all over her home. Yeah, and not a lot of us can wear yellow. So, um... right, so I've just joined those together. And what you should be looking for is this bit up here. Okay. So you're losing that white at the very edge. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just do that all the way around. So everywhere that you're joining, you should be losing the white. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to make your blocks and then you're going to just join your blocks together. Right. All so using a quarter inch seam. All constructed in rows. I mean, like you said, it's that one block repeated, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then when you've made all your blocks, you're going to put your border onto your sides and then you'll put your border onto the bottom. Do you talk about colour placement in your instructions? Because obviously this one's all scrappy. You've just gone for it anyway. Yeah. Doesn't, there's no... Well, actually, there is. This is what I think with quilters is they're not very good at doing like completely random. Even though this is scrappy, this is still in order, isn't it? It's still the greens, still the pinks. You've still got three sh the yeah. four different shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. still try and stick with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still sitting with the colours in the, in the yeah. curves, mm -hmm. but the placement of the colour. So what you have to do, and this might depend on how many of the darks that you've used in your quilt, is squint at it. Okay. And then you'll see the darks and the lights coming forward. And what you yeah. want to make sure is that you've spread out lots of the darks so that they're patterned through the quilt and that the lights are spread out as well. So depending on how you've constructed these and which shades you've used would determine the pattern placement right. because it's random. If I had given you set fat quarters and the set, what this one has to be that one and that one and that one, then you would follow a colour placement in mm -hmm. a pattern. But with something like this, just stand back, lay it out how you think it might look quite mm -hmm. good. This one's actually got this going through it. Mm -hmm. That really irks me because I'm just not naturally that organised with mm -hmm. my colours. Mm -hmm. So that's more me just being a bit random. Yeah. But stand back and just squint and just make sure you've got distribution of darks. And I hoped that I had a fair bit down here and a fair bit up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a really good tip. Yeah. Someone said about taking a picture of it. Let them all like take a picture and put it on like a um, mono. Grayscale. Yeah, yeah, the grayscale. Use your filters on your phone and just flick along till it's black and white and you'll see exactly the same thing. Yeah. Brilliant. Any yeah. more, anything else that you wanted to mention, Sarah? Is there anything else? No, you want? just it's an amazing quilt and I think you should make it. Absolutely. I think <laughs> loads of people have been inspired to have a go at curves. Isn't it amazing? Um, thank you ever so much. We've got loads that we can recap, don't worry. It's been amazing having you. When thank are you, you back with us? Uh, December, I think. Not till December. Oh, we have to make the most of these days that we have, Sarah, here. We need more of you. <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much. That's Do you know what you're going to be bringing us next time? Um, it's yeah, it's not agreed yet, but um, I've got ideas. So, oh, yeah. fabulous! And of course, don't forget find Sarah on social media. All the social media is all on the uh, the back of uh, all of her instructions. Made and making uk, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter. You're on the lot. Yeah, brilliant. Um, okay. Buddles, thank you ever so much. It's been lovely to meet you as well. Lovely to work with you. And you, thank you for having me. Um, okay, so quick recap. 
I feel like I'm getting really annoying that I keep saying this, but we are so oversubscribed. The baskets are ridiculous. Those of you who've got um, the only way of getting the pattern, remember, is in your bundles. It does not mean it is yours. It is not uh, the amount of times that we say this. It doesn't mean it's yours until you've checked out. So please, please, please don't wait. Remember, it's only one PMP. There's a five pound saving today on these bundles. You're getting two and a half meters of your cream, two and a half, uh, sorry, 20 fat quarters, which have been cut in house for you of all of these different shades. So you don't need to go sorting through your stash looking for four different shades of green. Here you've got four, in fact, you've got five different shades of green. So you've got plenty of choice of where to place them and they won't all be the same. All of your blocks won't be the same. You've then also got five shades of pink. I mean, this is just a great selection of fabrics anyway. Can't remember the last time we had a bundle like this, especially for under 55 pounds. Fat quarters as well. All those shades of beautiful purple, plus five different shades of blue as well. Your two and a half meters of cream and your all important instructions for 54 pounds and 99 pence. That is all included in there. They are gorgeous. I can only keep, you know, I, I, it's all right. I don't want to pressure or to rush anybody because I don't know, you know, there's different circumstances. But those of you that have got it in your basket and you know you want it, now is the time to check out because we are way, way, way oversubscribed. Just to re reiterate, it's got in here all of your fabric requirements. The small size, which you can see on the wall, is the 46 inch square. And then the one behind me, which you've got enough for in your fabric bundle, is to make the 72 inch by 58. But because it's a repeated look, there's nothing to say that you can't make it larger. There's nothing to say that you can't make it smaller. You could make, you know, get four of these blocks and, and make it into a cushion. We did, you did make a cushion actually didn't you and this yeah. was with the monochrome so that was just um, using so that could be your practice block yeah make a practice block and then just border it up and actually having a couple of matching cushions on top of a quilt looks quite nice absolutely yeah absolutely and if you uh you, there was a lovely instruction from the seminal quilting earlier on that had some great instructions on how to construct your cushions yeah um 54 pounds 99 loads of different options in terms of color placement and ideas as well Okay, we're going to have to leave it with you, but please check out. Now, there is the dark background. I love it. Does everybody love this as much as we do? Because honestly, there is so much love for this in the studio. <laughs> Every time I bring it on, Cat on Cameras is like, yes, this is amazing. Um, oh, my word. Right. There are way over, we're way oversubscribed again. There are over 40 of you who have got to check out on this. Isn't it? beautiful cat. Cat from Hobby Maker has just walked in saying, did you make this bundle? This is beautiful. Look, you've got all your oranges, your sort of paprika tones, all your teals, your greens, your gold in there. The black dark background is going to look amazing against these colours. It's going to really, really pop. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Plus, you're also going to get your instructions as well. What's that? Love it, isn't it? Everybody loves this. Everybody loves this. Thank you. Fifty-four pounds, Nigel. I can't take credit for this. I didn't put this bundle together. Isn't it? It's really nice. They're all fat quarters. Everyone's watching it in the office, all complimenting. It's really nice. Thank you for the coffee, cat. Fifty-four ninety-nine. She bought in coffee for us today. How lovely! Fancy coffee as well. Right. They are your options. Instructions on their own. Gone. I think in December we're going to need more of these, please. Okie dokie. Yes, please. And more of these. Don't forget from earlier on we had the apron as well. Um, it's lovely because it comes in the lovely packet so you can keep your pattern pieces if you're cutting out um, different sizes. Oh, Bruce has called it best apron ever, he's just said. There's different sizes. You've got small, medium, large and extra large. Th uh, you can see here 34 to 36 is the bust on the small. 36 to 38, 38 to 40 is your large, and 40 to 42 is your extra large. Uh, Laurie, to answer your question from earlier, sorry, I've just seen it. It says, does the apron pad still need two meters material or more for the large size? Yes, that's for the largest size, isn't it? You'll yeah. need two meters for the outside and two meters for the lining as well. It looks great in denim, but it also looks really, really lovely in linen. It's gonna be really beautiful to, to do a patchwork one we were deciding earlier on. We've decided. It's a very bougie apron. It's got inseam so uh, sockets, pockets, uh, inseam pockets. 
You could do a big um, kangaroo star pocket if you want. It's then completely reversible. Bruce is getting really into. Oh, he's getting very excited about all the different aprons he's going to be making. I think he did a little weird thigh rub, apparently, but it was what he could put in the pockets. Okay. <laughs> 17 99. Right, earlier on, just to remind you, those of you that missed us at 8 o'clock this morning, we started off uh, the show with the our staff takeover. It was Haley's turn this time. Ben tomorrow. I know that Hannah's been helping Ben with his. You insisted on helping. Producers together take over, so you helped him out. So there's some goodies in there. There's some goodies from Hannah. Um, Hayley did bring us a deal on the 680 plus, which is only available today. You've got over a hundred pounds worth of goodies. They're all on the front of the desk. Um, there's loads of you who've got these in your baskets for us. Have a serious think about it. It's only till midnight tonight. Um, yes, I know the Fiskars guillotine. Tomorrow, eight o'clock, takeover show. Takeover show with producer Ben. He's so lovely as well. Show him your support. We love him. At eight o'clock, the team takeover, producer Ben. Is, uh, it's his day tomorrow. He's going to be on Tele with John Scott between eight and nine. He was on about, did you ever see his takeover Instagram? He's got photos of John, him and John Scott and everything. That he's, I think he's going to frame them and bring them in. He was going to wear a top with him and John. So it's just worth tuning in to find out what he's wearing. At nine o'clock, um, Cara Ackerman's going to be here with the lovely Sunflower Fabric uh, Collection. You've got bag making supplies at 10, 11 o'clock embroidery kits and sewing machines at 12, but you won't have that deal on the 680 with all of those goodies. Keep checking out. Carry on watching, of course. You've got more crafting coming up with Hobby Maker, uh, Hobby Maker and Creative Dynamics. Um, all coming up right after this. <laughs>